Hasta la vista, baby. Get away from her, you bitch! What is going on, everybody? Ryan O'Toole here, and welcome to the third decade tournament on my channel. And it is for the best movies of the 90s decade. I'm Ryan O'Toole. Welcome back yet again, guys. Thank you so much for making these decade tournaments what they are. And guys, I'm so excited to dive into the 90s decade because this is by far my favorite decade of cinema. And there's a hundred movies in this tournament but there can only be one winner. And guys, if you're new to this channel, please hit that like button, subscribe button for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. And if you are a returning subscriber and excited for this, get in that chat right now and start the conversation. But most importantly, guys, I'm very excited to introduce my panel this year for this tournament. They're all amazing content creators, guys. Their channel links are in the description below. I'm gonna introduce them one by one. Our first panelist right here is a YouTube movie reviewer I met this year through the Suit Up Geeks podcast. Shout out to them through their movie drafts that they do every single month. He's got a great channel. He does great reviews, and he has a high energy to him. I'm excited to have on Zach Goler. Zach, welcome, man. Thanks for What's agreeing up? to take part. What's up, Ryan? Um, I am absolutely thrilled to be here uh, talking about the 90s. It's one of the best decades in cinema. I'm right there with you. Um, yeah, I do have a YouTube channel. Um, obviously, those of you who are familiar with my channel, you'll know this is not my usual setup because I am actually on vacation as we speak right now. Well-deserved vacation, I guess, but... Uh, yeah, no, super excited to have this window here, and uh, let's have some fun. And just a reminder, this is actually going to be scientifically proven correct opinions, so um, it really does not matter um, what you think the best movie of the 90s is, because there's only one, and you're going to find out what that is later. Yes, as he said, guys, there's only one. Uh, thank you, Zach, so much, man, for taking part in this, man. Totally. It's going to be thank a you for blast. Having me. Yeah, no problem, man. And for my next panelist, guys, I've known him throughout the years. I've done some collabs with him. He's also a fantastic movie reviewer. He does a lot of great stuff over on his channel. I'm excited to have on Austin Putnam. Austin, welcome, man. Thanks for agreeing to take part. What the hell am I? Oh, hi, guys. Uh, thank you so much, Ryan, for having me on, Zach. It's finally a pleasure to meet you after so many years or after... I don't know how long it's been, honestly, at this point. But, guys, thank you so much for having me on. 92, baby, here. This is going to be fucking hard. Oh, God, profanity. Sorry. Um, It's going to be really hard to choose <laughs> these movies. But, honestly, I'm so excited to do this. I have a couple things coming up very soon. But, otherwise, and the words of a wise man, here we go. Boom. Dude, yeah, dude, cue the dark night. I mean, yes, uh, Austin, it's such a blast to have you on, man. Oh, I'm yeah. excited to get your takes on these films. And now I got to introduce a guy I've known as well for quite some years, done some collabs with him as well. Love his channel, love his takes on the Saw franchise. You know who he is from Australia, Patrick Burrow. Patrick, what's up, man? Good morning. <laughs> 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 Thank, you <for> having me. <laughs> <Fox viral. laughs> Thank you guys for having me. Thank you, Ryan, for inviting me on. Will, uh, I was meant to be on last year, but I couldn't join last year. So it, thank you for inviting me on once again. Um, it's way too early in the morning. Um, why do time zones? Yep. Um, but I'm excited to talk about all these movies with all of you to just go on what Austin said before. I don't like the Dark Knight. So now you know what my opinions are going to be like through this entire stream. <laughs> So, yeah, this is going to be a fun time. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm excited to <laughs> do this with Austin and Austin, Zach. And Austin, do you know what? That's a, good payback for the, that's a good payback for the spiral. I'll take it. Okay. Austin, yeah. Austin, Welcome. do you need a hug? Yes, I want some hot <laughs> takes tonight. Really that's lot. why we got you on, Patrick. Welcome, man. It's Yes, like he said, I was supposed to have him on last year. I'm happy you're able to take part this year, man. And last but not least is a great YouTuber. I've never done a collab with him before. I've wanted to for such a while. Great opportunity to bring him on. He's got great reviews over on his channel. 
That is John Burns from Burns Reviews. John, welcome to the channel. Hey, man. How's it going? Thanks for having me on the uh, 90s bracket. Um, I heard from Patrick that you guys were doing like a 90s thing. And I'm like, I have to, for one, Patrick has never seen any of these 90s movies. And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, I have to be a part of this because I know 90s movies. I love 90s movies. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, all my socials are Burns Reviews. You can find me. I do ND Explained videos. I do early movie reviews. I'm seeing Scream on Tuesday. I can't wait to talk about that. And yeah, man, I'm excited. Let's talk 90s because <laughs> I am old and I know 90s. Fuck yeah. Ben, I'm old too. Going. Yeah, 90s. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you yeah, are escaping us. All right. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, John, thank you so much for taking part in this, man. I'm excited you guys are here as well. Uh, Cody is behind the computer. He'll be moderating the chat and reading the matchups. Cody, what's up? Everyone, what's going on? Great to see you all in here. I'm going to put up my favorite comment I've seen so far. As I want to say hi to the chat, I've got my Pringles, my peanut M&Ms, and my Mountain Dew ready for this stream. Disney nerd, we love to hear that. Chat, Disney it's nerd. good to see you. We got a lot of people in here. I see Geekly Goods in here. Leo! What's up, Leo? Ponto, Christian Leo. Knight. I see Max. I see James. I see pretty much everyone here. And you know, the Disney nerd coming in with a super chat. What is going Disney on? Disney nerd. Oh, boy. Wow. Wow. This is Ryan's <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, man. Hell what yeah. Best of the decade tournament. No, this is Patrick Burrow. No, this oh, is that's Patrick. a SpongeBob right Oh, this is Patrick. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. No, this is Patrick. No, Christian Krebs. I wonder. We got a great chat tonight. All right, Ryan, Ryan, I wonder which movie the Disney nerd wants to win. Yeah, yeah, just look at his profile that says it. I'm alone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, guys, this is, we're we're having a blast already, guys. We're going to have an even bigger blast tonight going through this decade tournament. If you are new to this, don't worry. We'll explain how tonight is going to go for all of you. But if you are returning, you know what's going down. But here's how it's going to do. Uh, I can't speak already. Right there. Here's how it's going to go down. Uh, there's a hundred movies in this decade tournament. They will be in the description box on a letterbox list down there for you guys. How we broke up the 100 movies, we broke them up into four brackets, 25 movies in each bracket, and there's four number one seeds in each bracket. Those get by weeks until the last to round four of each bracket. And 24 movies will face off in 1v1 matchups, and that'll shrink to 12. And then that'll shrink to six movies. And then that'll shrink to three movies. But wait, three movies can't face off. That's when the number one seed comes in. Then that'll shrink to two. And then whoever wins that one will represent that seed. And then we'll do this three other times until we have four movies remaining. And then those will face off. Then we'll have two left. And the winner of that will be the movie we have chosen as the best film of the 90s decade. Scientifically, and, by the way. Yeah, that's, scientifically that's proven. Yes, that's yep, the mono. Yeah. And then uh, how the voting is going to work, us panelists will vote for whatever movie we think deserves to move on. Uh, if there is a panelist that hasn't seen a movie in a matchup, their vote won't count for this round. They'll have to wait for the next matchup. Um, if we do come to a tie, uh, the chat comes in as a deciding vote. Um, we've seen a majority of the film, so we'll see what matchups come to be. Um, is, did I explain everything? And all the matchups are randomly picked. Yeah, they're and randomized. They're yeah. all randomized, so no, uh, no biasy towards. Yeah, it. there's it no like bias. Love life. Yeah. In the, yeah, in the words of Patrick, it's just like Tinder. All the matches are random. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's exactly like Tinder. Fucking um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're having a blast. Um, Cody, any chat comments before we get started? I mean, just a lot of people saying what they want to win. I see a lot of love for Saving Private yeah. Ryan. I see a lot of love for some Disney movies in here. Uh, I see some love for Back to the Future 3. I mean, hey. Oh, hey. Really? 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 Heat, Back to the Future we have some heat. Hey. We have some Matrix. I mean, this is going to be really hard, guys. This Good is this is going to be the toughest it's one by far. Yeah. We're going to have our hearts popular. broken tonight. <laughs> for sure. Everyone's hearts are going to get broken I tonight. Get to finally turn John's heart apart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. All righty. I'm ready to go. You guys are ready to go. Are the chat ready to go? There's, I think let's just get right ready. into this madness, guys. Let's rock so, and roll. <laughs> let's <laughs> do it, gentlemen. Good luck to all of you. And uh, let's 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 start this thing, shall we? Let's do it. So, let's in go. the first bracket, bracket number one, 
the number one seed is 1990s Goodfellas. Ooh. All right, 1990s Goodfellas okay. automatically of moves on to is. the final four of this mm-hmm. bracket. That's but gentlemen, good. we're going to start you off with the very first matchup here in this bracket. We have 1993's Groundhog Day versus oh. 1998's The Truman Show. You oh. had to stop, oh. Oh. I told you, man, this is going to be tough. <laughs> Cody, Cody why, oh. starting with Ryan. Cody, why to did make you it do easier, this? How? To make it easier for you guys, I'll start this one off. Um, <laughs> oh. All right, and show y'all go. So, uh, both great movies. Um, the Groundhog Day is just a beloved classic you can watch on Groundhog Day. Bill Murray's performance is fantastic in it. And The Truman Show, it was a recent first watch for me. I thought it was fantastic. And if you know mm-hmm. my hot takes, I don't love Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. But I love Jim Carrey in this movie. I thought he was great. Uh, they're both rewatchable movies. For this one, I'm going to go with The Truman Show. I think it's the better film. Jim Carrey swept me away with his performance. So I'm going to go with uh, The Truman Show here. All right, Zach, let's go to you next. Uh, this is just based off of pure rewatchability factor because Cody is giving me such a crappy time with this matchup. <laughs> and I really love both of them. Um, because, I mean, okay, Truman Show is undoubtedly one of Jim Carrey's best performances to date. I think we can all agree on that wholeheartedly for sure. And I'm so shocked that uh, like a bunch of this panel had seen this movie for the first time like in preparation yeah. for this. I, I freaking love it. It's one of my favorites. Mm. But... Honestly, I think Groundhog Day is the stronger picture uh, just between these two. it's I have more fun watching it. Bill Murray is fantastic in it. It's a timeless <laughs> concept, which has been copied time after time again. Edge of Tomorrow, Happy Death Day often copies this, uh, you know, this idea, I guess, this concept rather. So I'm going to go Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day on this all, matchup. All right. Zach goes with Groundhog Day on this one. If I can English. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What's John, John, what about you, man? Uh, I'd have to agree. I feel like Groundhog Day is way more rewatchable than Truman Show. And it's also like apples and oranges because one's a comedy, one's a drama. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just, I, it's Bill Murray. You can't really touch Bill Murray. I like Jim Carrey, but I have watched Groundhog Day so many times. It's almost like once a year on Groundhog Day, even if that is cliche. It's it's a great movie. Um, I like Truman Show, but it doesn't it doesn't touch Groundhog Day. You can't touch Bill Murray. So Groundhog Day. I don't blame you, Unless man. you want a restraining order. I mean, <laughs> uh, John goes <laughs> <laughs> already Austin. What about you, man? First of all, I agree with you. I'm not a fan of eternal sunshine either. I find it overrated. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Somebody the only one. It, it feels like it's been, it's very romantic. Tread fun lightly, yeah. Austin. I'm Leo. sorry, Patrick. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, but uh, this is tough, man, because hot I, takes I, only. Because here's the thing I just saw Truman Show, like we mentioned off air, and I love Truman Show, but. Here's the thing. I have to go with rewatch value as well. And Groundhog Day is so damn it. And like I, Jim Carrey gives one of his best performances ever in Truman Show. But Groundhog Day is just it's not only a heart away, but it's just fucking hilarious, too. I mean, the whole yeah. Ned Wrightson bit. It's the really entire funny. time. <laughs> I mean, I have to again rewatch value for me. I have to go Groundhog Day only slightly over Truman Show, but it's close. All right, Groundhog Day does win, but uh, it gets Austin's vote. But Patrick, what about you? <laughs> In all honesty, for this one, this matchup, it just comes down to which one I appreciate more on the actor's perspective because they're all they're both very different. But I'm going to have to go with Truman Show for the reason of mm. I don't normally like Jim Carrey. I rarely like him in movies. I find him personally, well, not a bad actor. He's a good performer. I just find him very annoying, um, and I can't really stand it. But the thing is, his grounded uh, performance in this movie was just so personal. And I watched this before I saw Groundhog Day. And it just, I don't know, it just felt more personal to me growing up and everything. Especially when Jim Carrey realizes with his character that he's not really in a real sort of setting and everything. That it's, you know, sort of like, I don't know how to describe it, but it, it was just something I appreciated a whole lot more and i remember watching it in english class in high school for the first time actually and i found it honestly you know what even though it's not meant to be a comedy i found it funnier than um groundhog day 
it is a pretty fucking funny movie. It's really funny. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So he does vote for Truman Show. What's the chat going with? Though? Yeah, they're very mixed on it, just like you guys here. I mean, it was three two between you guys, but I think again, Slight Edge would go to Groundhog Day in the chat also. So. All right. Yeah, but Groundhog Day is moving on. Yes, Groundhog yeah. Day is moving one for on. One for one. Uh, Truman Show is going to have to, I guess, go find another show somewhere. Unfortunately, it's a, that was a our next matchup, one, gentlemen, yep. is 1997: The Fifth Element. Versus oh. 1998's American History X. This is so easy right here. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Pat, uh, Zach, let's start with you. Oh, geez. You have to start with me on this one? Oh, boy. <laughs> we're we're um, reversing the order. <laughs> listen. Um, listen. So here's the thing. I, re I watched American History X for the very first time. I want to say maybe a year and a half ago when I wow. first started my channel. Wow. Um, okay. And Dude. don't get me wrong. It's a great movie. And I put out a review like – years ago that you actually can't see anymore because I actually was kind of traumatized <laughs> by all the hate that I was getting for that video. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh. I, I, a lot of people were calling me two PC for it. Uh, oh, I was oh. like, yeah, I, I found it so hard to get behind Edward Norton in this as great as mm. he is. Like, it was very, very hard for me to forgive his actions. I was, that I was gonna means... say, like the neo-Nazis come out of the woodwork to, to come at you. <laughs> oh, that being said, oh, I do God. think they're gonna come brand your ass. <laughs> yeah, that being yeah, said, yeah. <laughs> that being I wasn't about to mention the curb stop right there. <laughs> yeah, but they, they don't know where I am. But here's the thing. Um, <laughs> I do think that it's a better made film than The Fifth Element. It's just not super memorable. So I'm going to have to go with American History X on this. All right. Zach is going American History X. Uh, let's go John. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, I, I find this pretty easy. Um, I think The Fifth Element for me is very much like a guilty pleasure, enjoyable, unintentionally funny kind of movie. Um, it's great. I love uh, Gary Oldman in that. I think he's kind of great in that. Bruce Willis is not um phoning it in uh but the american history x i mean I, i'm pretty sure ed norton got the oscar for that didn't he I and and he definitely it deserved it it's like he does such a transformation <laughs> from beginning to end so yeah. easily um american history x is, is such a great great film so that's my vote easily. all right american history x for john um austin i mean to put it simply american history x i mean don't get me wrong fifth element's a lot of fun but that. American History X is absorbing from start to finish, and Edward Norton, if he didn't win the Oscar, I'm hoping he did because he deserved that Oscar for that movie. I mean, that curb stomp scene alone just, oh, it's a great fucking scene, but geez, that movie itself is just, you. anyone who hasn't seen it, you need to see it. It's, it's, it's a must-see for anybody. All righty, Austin is going for American he, History X. Real quick, he did not win Best Actor. Oh, All right, my God. Okay. Good okay. fact check, yes. We need fact checkers. Um, Patrick? Uh, I'm going to have to agree with Zach on this one. I'm going to have to go Fifth Element because, again, just like Zach said, it's very hard to get behind Edward Norton in this movie. It's I know you're not technically meant to forgive his actions, but for that, I find it very hard to get connected with the story or the character for that reason. Whereas The Fifth Element, while it's very much so a very cheesy, campy sci-fi film, I think it's a lot more entertaining to see like Mila Jovovich not talk in a film. I think Bruce Willis, it's one of the last times he was actually good. Um, Gary Oldman and Chris Tucker are also very entertaining. In it. And I just think it's an all around more entertaining movie. It's an hour and 53 minutes that I can sit through without being like, all right, I need to take a break and just recollect my mind where American History X is just one of those movies that I don't want to watch again because of who the character is. And it's just very hard for that reason. Not saying that it's a bad film. I think Edward Norton is phenomenal in it. It's just hard to get behind. That's understandable, did, man. All right. You, uh, you did see the Patrick's ending, right? Patrick's going for... Hmm? You did see the okay. ending, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love America so much. So much. Yeah. Ed yeah. Norton. Uh, um, Patrick's just to, going for Fifth Element. Just to clarify, Ed Norton was nominated for Best Actor, and he did not win. Okay. okay. At least yeah. he was nominated, he but he win. shouldn't have won. He really should have. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So for me, I'm going American History X on this one. I love Edward Norton's performance. Shout out to <laughs> Edward Furlong. He was also fantastic as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, much I'm, promised. I'm yeah, I'm going to have to disagree with Patrick on Bruce Willis' his last good role. I think he's also great in Looper. Um, yeah. Uh, I, didn't, I haven't seen Looper, admittedly, so I can't. Oh, yeah. Patrick, oh, yeah. oh so Looper's good. freaking phenomenal <laughs> I, is what I, that I, is. I just yeah. haven't watched Looper's it. amazing. Uh, but, yeah, American History X for me. The Fifth Element is fine. I enjoy it. 
but I enjoy American History X more. All right, and yeah, the so, chat. Uh, American yeah, History X. Yeah, moves. a lot of people are going with Ameri American History X. A lot of people haven't seen The Fifth Element, actually. Really? Well, you, you, you should. It's great. It's, it's like always on TV. It's pretty so, fun. Uh, American History Chris Tucker X does is very move on. Yeah. Let's jump oh, to the yeah. next matchup. Oh, he is, yeah. Gentlemen, we have 1996's Bottle Rocket versus 1997's Boogie Nights, The Battle oh. of the Bees. <laughs> Battle, Battle of the, of the Bees. bees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. John, who wins the Battle of the Bees? <laughs> I think I think Boogie Nights wins that one. That movie has so many rewatchable scenes in it. Um, it, it it's so damn funny. Uh, I don't love all the PTA movies, but Boogie Nights is easily the the, the best, most rewatchable one. Um, Bottle Rocket is okay. Uh, you know, it's Wes Anderson. I think it's his first movie. It's okay. You got the Wilson brothers, but yeah, man, I don't I don't really have to put much thought into it. Easily Boogie Nights. You're a star. You're a star. Yeah. It's good yeah. stuff. <laughs> John votes for Boogie Nights. Um, Austin, this is this is easy Boogie Nights. I mean, it's not that I don't like Ball Rock. I think it's it's entertaining, but Boogie Nights, I think, is. I mean, some people might say there will be blood as the best uh, Paul Thomas Anderson film. For me, that's Boogie Nights. I mean, Mark Wahlberg that's in this me. film as Dirk fucking Diggler. Dirk I realize Diggler. I've been saying the profanity more than I expected, but still, uh, Boogie Nights, I mean, it's it's a very intriguing character study in a way, and it's just a great look into the industry back in those days. And plus that that whole uh, Jesse's Girl scene still gives me chills every time I see it. That's the uh, Afro Molina scene, right? Where the, yeah. Yeah, that scene yeah. is amazing. That scene alone oh, yeah. puts mm -hmm. it over the top. Austin uh, is Boogie Nights. Mm -hmm. uh, Patrick, what about you, man? Look, I'm going to have to go bottle rockets. I'm going to have to be in the minority again. Um, look, I love Boogie Nights. I think it's a great film. But the thing is, I'm a big sucker for just a fun, you know, movie. Like, it's got the Wilson brothers, as John mentioned. It has, uh, what's his name? Fucking Owen Wilson in it. So, wow. I just think... Oh, wow. I play Lightning McQueen. <laughs> wow. wow. I, um, I like to go crash it. weddings. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Um, my drink. I just yeah. I like a movie like Bottle Rocket that's just such a simple concept and it's just entertaining to watch. I think Boogie Nights is definitely that, but it, this one again is one of those ones that it's more or less which one do I have more fun watching and which one do I pop in more? Mm. I've seen Boogie Night once where I watch you know Bottle Rocket at least two times a year. Oh wow. I All just right. think it's entertaining. Patrick Stone Bottle Rocket on this one. When um, I say two times a year, I mean I watched it twice within one day this year on my first oh, time watch. Holy shit. Oh, wow, man. <laughs> Alrighty, nice. uh, for me, I'm definitely going Boogie Nights on this one uh, for all the reasons Austin said. Uh, Mark Wahlberg as Dirk Diggler, one of my favorite cinematic names ever. Um, Burt Reynolds, yeah. yeah. Don Cheadle. Um, I really enjoy Bottle Rocket, but it's like on my mid-tier of Wes Anderson. It's not one of my favorite films from him, um, but Boogie Nights absolutely is the better film. So that gets my vote. Uh, Zach? Boogie Nights. That's final. <laughs> There you go. Final answer, right, Boogie <laughs> All righty. So, yeah, that's the votes here. Boogie Nights. Yeah, a lot of people, again, are saying, what the heck is Bottle Rocket? <laughs> Never heard of you it. You need to do some homework. Yeah. It is. It is. It's a great West Anderson movie. Nights on this one. So, it's, Boogie Nights it's, does move on. Next matchup. Can I just might arguably clarify? might be the toughest one yet. I'm curious to see what you guys. Wait, what, what did you say, Zach? Sorry. Can I clarify real quick? Bottle Rocket yeah. is very mid tier Wes Anderson. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, so, what about you? Uh, this Carter? might be the toughest matchup yet. I'm curious to see what you guys oh, are going to go with here. Oh, boy. Oh, God. We have 1993's The Nightmare Before Christmas oh, this is versus dumb. Jurassic. <laughs> Right. Oh this no! Is this is easy. so easy for me. What this are you is, talking about? This I hate you guys. Yeah, <laughs> this is a tough. Um, oh. so we'll start with Austin. You son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, wrong. <laughs> wrong decade. <laughs> um. I love both these movies. Jurassic Park isn't my favorite Spielberg film, but I can't deny what it did for technology. Seeing. Uh, dinosaurs for the first time on screen. Never Before Christmas is one of my favorite. I mean, some people may not say it's a musical. I sure as hell say it is a musical. It's, a, it's my favorite musical of all time, actually. Thank you. Really? Yes, oh. it's a musical. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but 
But uh, yes, I love that song to this day. It's a Thanksgiving oh. movie because no one can decide on Christmas or Halloween. That's so true. <laughs> true. Yeah. Oh God, you're you speaking my language here. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna have to go with my instincts here. Jurassic Park. I have to do Jurassic Park. It kills because wow. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Halloween's my favorite holiday. It is. But Jurassic Park just gives me that holy shit factor every time I see it. And that's what beats it for me. Yeah. All right. Austin goes Jurassic Park. What about you, Patrick? That killed me. To quote the great, uh, what's his name from, hang on, I'm forgetting his name right now, Jeff Goldblum. Yes. To quote the great Jeff Jeff Goldblum, Goldblum, when I think of the Nightmare Before Christmas, I say- Dr. Ian Malcolm. That's one big pile of shit. (gasps) I said it. What? I said it. (laughs) How dare you? (laughs) I think that it's one of Tim Burton's worst movies. I know it's not done by him, and I know that's saying something. I find The Nightmare Before Christmas has good animation. That's it. I think the story is awful. I think the characters are just underdeveloped. I think that overall the music is fine. I think the story behind the actor and then um, what's his name actually singing the lines for Jack Skellington is very interesting. Mm. But the Nightmare Before Christmas, every time I watch it, I had a girlfriend who was obsessed with this movie, and every time she tried to get me to watch it, I got about 10 to 15 minutes in, and I just had to walk out of the room, and i say, <laughs> honey, you're by yourself Damn. tonight. Well. So it's Jurassic Park for me, thanks. <laughs> See, this is why I am happy we have Patrick on here, because he has a lot of hot takes. I, 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 love, hey, I love Patrick's hot takes. <laughs> love yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as as much right, as man. they pain you. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. No, uh, Jurassic <laughs> Park. Sorry. All right. For me, uh, this is a really tough matchup. I, even though I really like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, Henry Selleck's direction is amazing. I love Coraline as well. Just great music. Uh, Jack Skeleton, of course. But it's for me, it's Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is my favorite Spielberg movie of all time. I, I would just like Austin said, whenever you watch that movie, you're still blown away mm-hmm. that they achieved special effects like that back in the 90s. Steven Spielberg is the GOAT. Uh, Jeff Goldblum is Ian Malcolm, iconic. Sam Neill, Laura Dern, Richard Attenborough, rest in peace. He, Spielberg created something special with Jurassic Park. And so it's endlessly rewatchable. So for me, it's Jurassic Park. What about you, Zach? Well, Ryan, uh, your brother is really making this hard for me, having to eliminate Nightmare Before Christmas in round one. You need tissues. Um, <laughs> because, again, like I don't hate Nightmare Before Christmas as, nearly as much as Patrick does. I like it. Um, it's definitely uh, more of a Thanksgiving movie because you get the Halloween feel still, but it gets you ready for the holiday season. So either on Thanksgiving or right after is when I usually pop that in every year. But uh mm-hmm. Jurassic Park, I mean, that it has to be that one, right? It has to be, just because of how revolutionary it is. And it's still timeless. It's still timeless. It still yeah. holds up. So Spielberg mm-hmm. did something special there. It's one of it's I think it might be his best movie, all things considered. I think it's that okay. damn good. So Jurassic well, I Park, agree with easily. you. It's my favorite of his. So yes. Yeah. Jurassic Park. Uh John, what about you? Um, yeah, I mean it's Jurassic Park. It's like it's it's I think his best movie is Jaws, and much like yeah. Jaws, where it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah but it, it has that same quality. It's a where, like, if you stumble into the movie, you think you're gonna watch it for like two minutes, but then you just end up watching the whole damn movie because mm-hmm. it's that good every time. Um, I don't hate Nightmare Before Christmas. I like it quite a lot. It's just like I might watch that once a year, like you said, somewhere between Halloween and Christmas, and it's good. But Jurassic Park, I can watch all year round. I mean, the score in that movie alone, really just John Williams. We're going to get copyrighted. I've always thought it was (laughs) the moving (laughs) heroes. You know, (laughs) Stan Jackson's arm fucking fall down. And it's just, he's disappeared out of the movie. Shooter! Shooter! (laughs) But yeah, I think Jurassic Park has like a, a certain magical quality to it that you can't yeah. really yeah yeah jurassic park easy sweep what and about the there's... chat are they the same yeah most people are going jurassic park but jacoby b brings up a good point but jurassic park gave us fallen kingdom oh i mean don't, 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 kingdom don't, anyway. don't, don't go there that doesn't count <laughs> oh. i don't count that as a jurassic park movie uh, i'd rather watch jurassic park three on. so yeah it's a jurassic uh, world pile the uh there's a pile of shit the, the only thing i hated <laughs> about fallen kingdom was the ending matchup i should say all right what's the next one cody Yep, is 1994's The Crow 
versus 1991's Cape Fear. Oh, Ooh. interesting. Oh, Damn it, I can't vote on this. All right, Patrick, you start. Well, thank God, I'm not All right, I watched Cape Fear for the first time while leading up to this, Same. and I'll admit. I have forgotten the movie within the past week. Which- what? <laughs> How dare you? I kind of just you sat there and I was like, bitch. yeah, this is. <laughs> I just sat there and I'm watching it and I'm like, yeah, this, this is cool, I guess. <laughs> Admittedly, I'm like, I, I would buy this, but I wouldn't like pop it in. Mm. Like, I, I. It was three bucks to rent, and that's probably all I'm ever going to spend on it unless it's on cable TV. The Crow, on the other hand, is one that I watched at such a young age. It was one of the only things my dad and I watched together when I was oh. younger. So him and I don't get along, admittedly. So us having that there when I was younger, I kind of have a bias towards that movie anyway. Because it was something just so special together. So in all honesty, it's just a fun <laughs> film as well. It's so different as well. So I'm going to have to say The Crow without a fucking doubt. Alrighty, Patrick's going the crow in this matchup. I got to disagree with Patrick on the terms of forgettable for Cape Fear. I Sorry. also watched this for the first time leading up to this. Cape Fear is fantastic. I think this is Martin Scorsese's most underrated film. Uh, Robert wow. De Niro's performance is scary good. He is so terrifying in this film. I loved him in here. He was such a great villain. Uh, the Crow, I only watched once for the first time last year. I don't, I, I, I know why some people may love it. I think it's just fine. Brandon Lee is decent in it. But for me, this one's easily Cape Fear for me. Just Robert De Niro's performance, scary good. So this that's my vote. Uh, what about you, Zach? Uh, Ryan, you're saving my life here because I actually, Austin, you're really going to hate me for this. I have not seen The Crow. Um, that's just one I haven't gotten to yet. Um, so I'm I'm really hoping that Cape Fear pulls this one out because I definitely agree. It is not only one of the most underrated Scorsese films out there in his filmography, but the thing is, it's also one of the best remakes out there. Because you got to also remember, this was made back in, That's like, true. I want to say, like, 30 years prior to this, starring yeah. the late great Gregory Peck, who is one of the greatest mm. actors to ever live. And the fact that this is probably the more memorable version really speaks volumes. And Gregory Peck also does have a cameo in there, too. So um, if I did mm. see The Crow, I'd be going Cape Fear easily. So I'm hoping this is oh, what yeah. pulls it Zach out. Zach cannot vote. He has not seen The Crow. Chat, please help me with Thanks this. Oh. No, John. John? What about um, you, man? Well, you know, Cape Fear is like, you got that scene where he's like laughing in the movie theater. And when I think of Cape Fear, honestly, I think of that uh, Sideshow Bob episode where they basically do beat for beat. You ever see it? It's like the best Sideshow Bob on The Simpsons. Um, but like uh, Patrick kind of said, it's it's somewhat forgettable to me. Uh, mm-hmm. And I wow. love The Crow. Like I, I can watch The Crow all the time. You got Ernie Hudson in there. Um, you got that song by uh, Stone Temple Pilots, Big Empty. Um, mm. I like how dark and gothic it is. And it's just a good mm. revenge story. You got some great um, action in there. And yeah, it's got to be the crew. John and I, I, I find uh, Cape Fear kind of generically. On, on this one. I don't know. John so, and I Austin finally will... agree on something. Austin, what the about you, man? Slaps. I'm hoping. I'm pulling for you. So, Austin? Okay. Um, Cape Fear, I think, is very, very good. I think don't love it even though i still don't get Scorsese is a master he's one of the masters out there mm-hmm. but i gotta go with the crow here uh the crow the first time i saw it blew my damn mind especially mm-hmm. knowing the, the behind the scenes things that happened unfortunately with brandon lee knowing what they had to do afterwards i have to give it the slight edge but still nonetheless it's engrossing i love the like uh John was saying, uh, the gothic vibe to it, I absolutely love. Then again, I love gothic atmospheres to films. Cape Fear, I don't think it's like top tier score size. I think it's like mid tier for me, but a slight edge to, to the crow. I, crow's badass as it is. Yeah. All right, crow comes out on top on this matchup right here. Uh, what anything, is the chat anything Nick yeah, Nolte is like, people haven't seen, like yeah, Cape Fear mostly, but I think the chat would have gone with the crow as well. So, all righty, mm-hmm. uh, it was hard, man. Crow that was hard in this matchup. All righty, so now what's the next one? Ah, next well. matchup, we have 1995's Apollo 13 mm. versus oh, 1998's fuck off. Mulan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Again, yeah, this is getting really hard, guys. Yep. All right. Go. Oh, so yeah. uh, Apollo 13 is fantastic. Definitely one of my favorite Ron Howard movies. I think A Beautiful Mind's my favorite from Ron Howard. 
Mm. Um, but Mulan's my childhood. I watch Mulan so many times. I love I'll Make a Man Out of You. I love Reflection. Um, I just love the animation in that film. So, yeah, Mulan, I'm going to vote for... I actually enjoyed the remake. I'm, oh! <laughs> I, I'm with um, Ryan. I oh, enjoyed you the son remake. of a bitch. I thought it was fine. Yeah, I didn't like hate it. Um, it was so freaking I... boring. You're boring. <laughs> You're boring. <laughs> uh, but Apollo 13, yeah, I got to go with rewatch on this one. I rewatch Mulan a lot compared to Apollo 13. So this one, I'm going to go Mulan. Uh, Zach? God damn it. Um, <laughs> this is a tough one um, yeah. because, listen, I love Mulan. I, I really, really love Mulan. Apollo 13 is great also. Um, I mean, it is one of Ron Howard's best films, 100%. Houston, <laughs> we have a problem. I mean, I still hear people quoting that. Like, if there's a freaking problem on Fandango when I go and buy tickets, that's yes. that's the message. Houston, we have a problem. Houston, I mean, it's we have a problem. Timeless, <laughs> absolutely. Um, Mulan, I just feel like is the much more memorable film between the two. And I think I'm going to go with the rewatchability factor here with Groundhog Day. Um, I remember watching it in my AP world history class when I was in high school. Um, and you know, I, you know, was listening to, I'll make a man out of you on a loop. Um, and I would use that for auditions as well. Believe it or not, (laughs) I would pull that one out and they would be like, Hey, that's one we haven't heard in a while. So I think just for <laughs> sentimental reasons, I think I'm going to go with Mulan. But I mean, if mm-hmm. Apollo 13 is the one that moves on, I won't be upset in the slightest. So let's no. get down to business. Zach votes that's, for Mulan. That's freaking right. Okay. John, what's your vote? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Apollo 13. Uh, you get Gary okay. Sinise, Tom Cruise, Ashley Judd, um, Kevin Baker. You know, uh, it's it's just a great cast. Uh, I yeah, it's for me. It's it's not a hard choice. Apollo thirteen. All right, Apollo thirteen for John Austin. Do you agree? I do. Uh, Mulan, I think oh. is great. Uh, my buddy Gary is going to kill me for saying this. Uh, I do love Mulan. Do not get me wrong. I don't think it's the best animated Disney film for me. That's Hercules, but then again, I have a bias towards Greek mythology as it is. Ooh. But Apollo thirteen is just iconic in every sense of the word. I mean, Tom Hanks' performance, the as we mentioned earlier, the Houston, we have a problem. Uh, it's just, and that, not just a great cast, but it's a great drama at the same time. There are so many set pieces. Like, I saw this actually in eighth grade, I think. Blew me away when I first saw it. And ever since, that stuck with me. And I, it's not my favorite Ron Howard movie, but damn, it's right up there with my favorite Han- it, yeah. Ron it Howard. Sucks I can't speak yeah, yeah. <laughs> Austin votes for Apollo 13. It is tied 2 2. Patrick, Patrick the decided. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is so hot. These are two of my favorite movies. Of course movies he of all is. Time. I told this you, man. Is, I love this it. This is me choosing between my favorite Disney movie of all time, which I grew up watching, and then probably my favorite true story movie oh, ever. Oh, oh God. Oh, this is wow. like choosing Patrick. between my girlfriend the and my right arm. hand. <laughs> <laughs> the one who raised me and the one who helped me to come in. Boy. This is bullshit, I tell you. Quote Patrick Burrow, 2022. Oh God. In all honesty, in all honesty, it's gonna come down to the one that's more sentimental, the one that meant most to me, and the one that I feel actually changed things up from the formula for their respective genre. So for that, I'm going to have to go Milan. I'm going to have to kick okay. out Apollo 13. I wouldn't be upset if this movie went through because Apollo 13 is a just one. It's a perfect fucking film, in my opinion. It's perfect. Yeah. But Milan, on the other hand, was the movie that I went around, like, singing the lyrics around. Like, I'd walk down my street, walking home from school, going, let's get down to business. And I just <laughs> wouldn't give a shit. I'd, I learned to play that song on the violin, man. Like... <laughs> And yeah, <laughs> it's the, it's one of the most different Disney movies as well, and it's my favorite Disney film. This was a bullshit setup. Fuck all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Blame randomizer. <laughs> all right, uh, Patrick Blame votes Mulan. Mulan. Mulan moves on, but what's the chat saying? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are just singing in the chat. They're just quoting. Mulan. Let's get yeah. down. This was a hard to one. Honestly, it was fun to hard. the Huns. <laughs> Someone clip that quote uh, for me to and send it on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, that's Patrick twenty twenty two. Patrick Patrick sings. Let's get down to business to his right hand all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, <laughs> what's the next matchup, Cody? The oh, next god. matchup is going to be nineteen nineties 
Home Alone versus another Disney movie, Tarzan. No, oh, Damn. Damn. Easier. Easier. all righty. A little bit um, easier. Zach, what do you got, man? Yeah, this one's a little bit easier. I'm going Home Alone all the way on this. I'm not even hesitating. Tarzan, listen, it's very, very fun. But the thing that I think holds back Tarzan for a lot of people is the music, ironically enough. Like, it, I feel like what? there's... Okay, here, Phil Collins, he's good. He has some good music out there. Easy Lover, I can, you know, put that on repeat. But he's just singing the songs out of nowhere in Tarzan. And it's just like soundtrack oh, in the background. Here. Just make it a musical. Just make it a full-on musical if you want to have Phil Collins' music in there. But Home Alone... Masterpiece soundtrack. Home Alone, <laughs> I have to watch that every freaking year on Christmas time. You know, Kevin McAllister, Macaulay Culkin, however you want to refer to him, best child performance of all time. And you can't change my mind on that one. Until his sure. brother I came around and signs. My oh, mind. I, I agree with that. Yes. All right, Zach goes Home, home Alone. Home Alone, easy. John... Uh, I have to go Home Alone as well, because uh, I'm not really a big, big fan of Tarzan. You know, like you said, it feels like a passion piece for uh, <laughs> Phil Collins. You got Rosie O'Donnell in there, who I find to be really annoying. And um, Home Alone, you just You're have annoying. like this great like character actor uh, with Joe Pesci playing a character that's like very like perfect. Like Harry is, pr- and then you got Marv too. The two of them, Daniel Stern. That's what the movie really shines for me way more mm-hmm. than like, say, Macaulay Culkin. Um, I can watch that movie all the time. So easily, Home Alone. Shut up, Mav. <laughs> yeah. All right, now yeah. Home, home Alone. Home Alone. Not, so, not to mention <laughs> big departure for Joe Pesci too. Oh, exactly. Yeah. 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 My he did Goodfellas go-to. and Home Alone the same year. That's sure crazy. Did. Shit, that's true. Um, uh, Austin. This is a tough one, but I gotta go with pure uh, with how memorable the one is. Tarzan, I love you, but I gotta go with Home Alone. Um, Home Alone, just I remember every single frame of that film. Tarzan, yeah. it's don't get me wrong, Tarzan's great. It, it has everything. The, the Phil Collins stuff, I actually, I actually like the Phil Collins score, but Home Alone is just a more memorable film, I think. So I gotta go with the memorable aspect of it. Yeah, Home Alone for Austin. Patrick, are you on the opposite, or do you agree? I'm agreeing. It's going to have to be Home Alone. Like, I honestly do love Tarzan. I think yeah. the music is criminally underrated. Like, I love Thank you. It yes. will be in my heart, because that was, like, one of my my ex right. and I. That was our song. And, you know, we watch Tarzan all the time. I grew up watching that on VHS, and I'm only 20. I, grew, I, I was born in 2001, and I grew up watching that on VH fucking S. Yeah. Um, but Home Alone is just such a special movie to me. Like, I actually watched Home Alone for the first time after I saw Saw. And with Saw... Saw? With Saw being my like <laughs> favorite horror series and being my first ever horror film, you can imagine young me being like, Oh my god, it's PG-13 wow. Saw! <laughs> and just oh the rest god. of the movie, though, like the chemistry between Daniel Stern and Joe Pesci is mm, just I, perfect. I got it. What is perfect. it? Uh, what is it? Um, that made for tv uh well the angels with dirty faces that's it um angels with filthy souls i'm gonna get you to the count of of three to get get your ugly good keister off my property before i pump your guts on the land yeah i'm with you guys easily home alone um i'm a big tarzan fan i agree Patrick, that's one of the more underrated Disney movies. I do not appreciate the Tarzan slander in the chat, but I've got to go Home Alone, guys. It's I, one of my favorite Christmas it's movies. better paced. Yeah. I agree. Home Alone is extremely well paced, totally rewatchable. Mm. It's a classic. Well, Ryan, at least you can take this along with you. At least Tarzan's soundtrack is not as annoying as Brother Bear's. There you oh. go. <laughs> Brother Bear. I mean, you got that. <laughs> Already, what's the chat shit. saying? Yeah, they're with you guys. Home alone. Yeah. They're quoting it. They're doing Tarzan's all of it. Tarzan's great, and, though. Uh, Tarzan's just going to have to go swing away somewhere else, I guess. I'll... <laughs> 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 holding, like, holding the vine with his butt cheeks. Uh, all, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Our next matchup is another interesting one here. We have 1992's Wayne's World versus oh, this... 91's Garth. Boys in the Hood. This is easy. Okay. Oh, wow. What a what, random matchup. Yeah. Uh, John, so random. let's start with you. I'm going to have to abstain because I have not seen Boys in the Hood. <gasps> oh, oh, John has not John. seen Boys in the Hood. But I, but I yep. do love me some Wayne's World. So All right, so John is yep. going to be out for this one. I'm um, I'm abstaining as Austin. well, Ryan. I'm abstaining as well. I haven't seen you Boys haven't in the seen Hood. It? Okay, what? so we have three <laughs> votes here. Um, okay. Austin? 
Okay, Wayne's World, do, do not get me wrong. Wayne's World is a great time. But Boys in the Fucking Hood is phenomenal. Uh, Kubo de Gany Jr. is great. Ice Cooper is first time in an acting role. I mean, yeah. even he said, I didn't know I could act that good. And the ending of that film breaks. I actually saw it for the first time last year, Boys in the Hood. And I just went, well, and John Singleton, rest in peace. That man, oh my, what that man has brought to us for films. But I got to go with Boys in the Hood. It's just, I think it's the more iconic film. That's going to get me killed probably in the chat because of the Bohemian Rhapsody part in Wayne's World. But still, I, I just think that Boys in the Hood is just the better made film over Wayne's mm-hmm. World, even though I think Wayne's World's a great movie. Yeah, John Singleton, yeah. too fast, too furious. <laughs> That's a guilty pleasure on my end. So. And it's a guilty pleasure. I agree. Yes. Um, Patrick? What's Austin going with? Oh, uh, Boys in the Hood. Mm-hmm. Patrick? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Austin. I'm going to have to go with Boys in the Hood. Uh, I think if you get past the Bohemian Rhapsody segment in Wayne's World, it's just, you know, another Mike Myers movie. Um, and that's just how I'm going to put it. Like, it's not a bad movie, but if you get past the Bohemian Rhapsody segment, I don't think there's anything nearly as iconic or memorable really about it aside from that. Yeah. Whereas Boys in the Hood, as Austin said, is just like, it's Ice Cube's first role and he's absolutely amazing in it. Lawrence Fishburne, once again, is great cuba gooding jr as well is amazing in it and it, it's just a overall like just amazing film that i didn't expect to love as much as i did because mm-hmm. until we started getting ready for this i had never seen it and i actually went and hunted down a blu-ray after renting it because i enjoyed nice. it so much whereas wayne's world i have seen before but still don't own yeah boys well, in I, the hood for patrick i will yeah, say real I, quick not to interject, but like, you know, I know Wayne's World's on the way out, but like without Wayne's World, a guy making like videos in his basement, like we don't have this, yeah. what we're doing that is right true. now. Yeah, I'll give you that's that. very true. true. Yeah, I'm going to go Boys in the Hood as well. It's a masterpiece. I think it's a fantastic movie that I also watched first time recently. Ice Cube's so great, as you guys mentioned. Morris Chestnut, his character, oh my God, just wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Cuba Gooden Jr. is also great. And shout out to Wayne's World. I think that's just a beloved comedy classic. Mm-hmm. Party on Garth. <laughs> <laughs> and the justification scene and They're just in the best hood. friends. Oh. They have a talk show in their basement. That's yeah. just awesome. Mike Myers is the man, but Boys in the Hood easily. It's, it's probably like the best SNL movie. That's true. I can, if I can SNL see that. was actually good. And Rob Lowe. Lowe. Nowadays. Rob Lowe. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm Australian. Oh, we don't have saying? SNL. Yeah, don't care. World, Patrick, you're not Google missing anything the these hood. days. <laughs> yeah, Leo is still. shocked yeah. y'all haven't seen Boys in the Hood. So, Boys in the Hood. I'm go. sorry to disappoint you, Leo. Uh, <laughs> All righty, what's the next matchup, Cody? Next matchup here. Might be another tough one for some people, oh, but oh, we'll God. see. We'll see here. We have 93's The Fugitive. Versus oh. 99's the Iron I kill my mom. You, I don't care. You <laughs> son of Superman. a Superman. Yeah, Austin's not happy. Oh, God. <laughs> this is tough. Um, Let's start. All right. Let's start with Austin. <laughs> Go ahead, Austin. <laughs> Ryan, I'm going to kill you. Um, okay. He's so done. These Both these movies are some of my favorites. Iron Giant... This movie, though, I can't believe it bombed, first of all. Iron Giant is a classic. The Fugitive is one of the best. It, was this a TV movie? For, uh, it's based on a TV show, right? The, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, this so. is one of the best. This is one of the best TV to film adaptations ever as well. Uh, oh, my God. And Harrison Ford and The Fugitive, is, it's one of the best action films. One, it's one of the best thrillers. Mm-hmm. Iron Giant it's it's one of the most <laughs> overlooked and one of the greatest animated films out there. God dang it, you had to start with me. Son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to have to go... Oh, shit, shit. Um, okay, I'm going with Iron Giant. It's going to kill me saying that. Um, I love Iron. the Fugitive, don't get me wrong, but Iron <laughs> Giant's the ending of that movie. Oh, my God. Makes me ball yeah. like a baby every time I see him. Plus, Vin Diesel... God. Best role. Vin mm-hmm. Diesel's best role. Yeah, uh, Brad Austin Bird, yeah. for Brad sure going Iron Giant. Yeah. Uh, Patrick? Hard. What about you, oh, man? Oh, God. This is a tough one. Um, <laughs> Thrill Both choice. of these films I actually grew up with. Uh, I watched these very young. And The Fugitive, <laughs> I think, is the more quotable movie and the more entertaining overall to watch, where the ending of The Iron Giant just makes me 
fucking depressed every time I watch it. Yeah. But it is such a beautiful film with great animation. It's one of Brad Bird's most overlooked films. I but think it's his best film. I Fun fact, a family relative of mine worked in this film and he might kill me. What? Um, oh, I'm going to have to go to The Fugitive. My uncle okay. is actually... My dad actually married into the family... Matthew Schofield is my uncle, and he was a part of the animation department for the Iron, um, the Iron Giant, and he's also <laughs> a second unit director and um, animator for The Simpsons. Oh, that's awesome, man. My mind has officially been blown. But I'm going to have to go with The Fugitive. I'm sorry, Harrison Ford, Tommy Lee Jones. It's mm. it's just a great action film. All right, Patrick's going The Fugitive here. Uh, but, uh, man, The Fugitive's great. I love The Fugitive. One of my favorites from Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. Oh, my God. Yeah. That seems great. But mm -hmm. I got to go The Iron Giant, guys. This is one of my mm -hmm. favorite films of all time. Uh, in terms of animation, this blew everyone's minds once they revisit it. Because back in the day, this was highly overlooked. And yeah. now it's become such a cult classic. It's my favorite Brad Bird film, even over Incredibles and Ratatouille. Um, I just love this movie. It is so depressing at the end, but it's mm -hmm. a masterpiece. Yeah. So I'm going Iron Giant here easily. Zach? <sighs> So first of all, damn Cody and his randomizer again, um, because you want to talk about you want to talk about a random. Have a chat. I will say though, I giggled when I saw this matchup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, 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 you know it's I all mean, out of love, of course. But uh, the moment I saw this, I knew how hard it would be for Ryan in particular because I know how much Ryan loves the Fugitive and the Iron Giants. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so. Here's the thing. You want to talk about a random matchup. It's this one right here. You want to talk about two <laughs> polar opposites. Yeah. One of the more underappreciated animated movies of all time yeah. to go along with one of my personal favorite thrillers of all time. I think it's all, it's all going to come down to personal preference on this one for me. Mm -hmm. As much as I really enjoy The Iron Giant and how much it put Brad Bird on mm. the map, I think yeah. I'm picking The Fugitive over this any day of the week. And for yeah. those of you who don't agree with me on that, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. well, it's a hard matchup. Care. It really is. I honestly, it's like a Apollo 13 and yeah. one, though. I don't think we care which one moves forward because they're both great films. They're, yeah, but I, I, said don't, both I don't. I don't care. Uh, Zach yeah. is going the fugitive on this one. What about you, John? 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Um, two, two. John, what are you going to do? I'm also going Fugitive because I find it to be oh, a good right. film. Right. I do yeah. love The Iron Giant, uh, but I do think bye the bye. middle has a couple scenes that are kind of broken. like, it's okay, mm -hmm. but like it's all right. Fugitive, like wow. one the snowballs into the next all the way through. Like, yeah. you can't wow, the, the Iron Giant is out. The chat, I'm sure, is going to erupt very soon. I tried for you, Iron Get Giant. Ready, I guys. tried. Can I just I tried good, too. Well. I voted for mention? the Iron Giant. Can I just mention when Ryan put his head down um, after John said the fugitive, Zach reached his hand over to Ryan and it looked like he was going to pat him <laughs> on the shoulder. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> do, do you want to do you want to hug Ryan? Sure, sure, <laughs> man. Hey, man. I can't they can go, go the join you I'm happy in your one solitary confinement on. looking room. Oh, my, oh, I'm in my uh, hotel room, buddy. Moves yeah, on. What's the chat saying? How are they First reacting? First off, Betafet says, no more Thanksgiving dinner invites. <laughs> you know what? I'm Australian. We don't do <laughs> Thanksgiving. No joke's on you. Right, and saying, yeah, bitch. No, Superman. Bring the pitchforks. <laughs> Bring the pitchforks, son. It's like Christmas. Pitchforks, oh my goodness. Leo is shocked. You want to bring your torches? What? It's like here's the thing with what? this is one of the few matchups where I think either film that goes on I'm happy with either one. Because both films yeah, are for right sure. Yeah. Okay. All right, what's next, Cody? All right, next matchup here, guys, we have 1998's The Wedding Singer versus Ooh. 1998's Rushmore. Oh boy. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's start with Patrick. Can I just not vote? I don't like either of these movies. <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear your opinion, man. If What's you your one. opinion, man? Uh, look. <laughs> <laughs> Rushmore about put me to sleep. And the wedding what? singer I just found cringy. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> uh, hang on. So Do what? Do you need your coffee should again, we, Patrick? Should we come back to him? <laughs> All right, well, Patrick. I need a coin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just go. All right, I gotta say, 
I got to say, I really enjoy Rushmore. That's probably my most underrated Wes Anderson. Mm -hmm. I love that film. I think it's great. Jason Schwartzman is fantastic in it. Um, what's the other one, Cody? Sorry, real quick. Uh, Wedding Singer. Wedding Singer. Uh, great Adam Sandler classic. I just love that film, too. Oh, man. Slight Edge Rushmore. I'm giving it to Rushmore. Mm. Uh, Zach? You know what? I'm going yeah, Slight I'm Edge. I'm, again, off of rewatchability, I'm going Slight Edge Wedding Singer, actually. Oh. Um, and I, I, see, I see in the chat, seriously, nothing Adam Sandler advances. I disagree, because if you give him the right projects that's not a shitty yeah. Happy Madison project, then he can really shine. You know. Anti gems, enough said. Last year, punch drunk glove advance. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. So yeah. And seriously, who doesn't like Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore together? They're just great chemistry. I like so, Drew Barrymore. Yeah. <laughs> 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 who who doesn't like Drew Barrymore? So, um, what wedding, wedding singer for me? I like them at fifty uh, first dates. Wedding singer for Zach. John, what about you? Do you agree? I, I find it very easy to pick the wedding singer. I mean, people keep forgetting the best part of that movie is Steve Buscemi giving the best man speech and he's just oh, like okay. why can't you be more yeah. like your brother <laughs> gary would never beat up his landlord it's great yeah. it's great um but and I, I know i know patrick said it was cheesy and cringy but i i find it very charming uh, i love the ending when he comes out with the guitar you get billy idol in there um and it's very quotable like you know like information i could have used yesterday i just i love that movie it's all it's right great. wedding singer for john austin okay so Kind of with uh, Patrick on Wedding Singer. Um, everyone was telling me, you got to see The Wedding Show. You got to see it. I finally saw it and I just went, that's what everyone was praising? Really? It's I mean, just another I think Adam it's, Stanley cringe fest. I think it's okay. It's um, <laughs> I got to go with Rushmore on this one. I am a Wedding yeah. fan. The, the movie, I mean, it's a cold classic I've seen. But it's like, it's. I think it's the better made film in all honesty. I mean, it's not, I think... Adam Sandler can make some good comedies when he's when he wants to. Uh, I just didn't love Wedding Singer. I prefer Rushmore. And even though I don't love Rushmore, I prefer Rushmore any day of the week over Wedding Singer. All right, Rushmore for yeah. Austin. Sorry. Patrick, have you made a decision? We're tied. Now, now that John mentioned it, the one good scene I liked in the movie was the best man speech, and also it features Drew Barrymore. So just for that alone, at least you know Wedding Singer didn't almost put me to sleep so i'm gonna have to go wedding singer <laughs> all right all right wedding singer moves on does the chat agree cody half people haven't even heard what rushmore is oh my gosh um, yeah. Really? yeah wedding singer just because really? of Shay sandler but then somebody says wedding singer should be out just because it's adam sandler yeah well no, i mean you have homework to do on wes anderson tonight class <laughs> they're saying that like adam right. sandler's canceled or something <laughs> Jesus. next matchup fellas is 1990s the hunt for red october Ooh. versus oh this is in my brain oh. robin hood yeah. prince of thieves oh robin hood prince of thieves okay um Damn. patrick let's start with you man i'm just gonna go the hunt for red october i i <laughs> honestly like it's Sean Connery, man. And, like, oh, you know, I did Alec like Baldwin. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves when I was growing up. But in all honesty, like, The Hunt for Red October is just that special movie. It's what introduced me to – um, I just said his fucking name. Sean, Sean Connery. 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 There we go. <laughs> Sean Connery. <laughs> it's the movie that introduced Sean Connery. me to him. And then that's why I started watching Indiana Jones before getting to the third one. Like, it, it's just a fun film once again. It's a pinnacle of the 90s. And, you know, I'm not even going to explain why I'm choosing it over Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. It's just the hunt for Red October. You got a problem with it? Well, fuck you. I'm not going to do my explanation because fuck my explanations. All right. <laughs> exactly. So for me, no one yeah, seems yeah, to agree with hunt me for anyway. Red October for Patrick. Yeah, for me, um, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, I think is very underrated. Mm. I really enjoy Kevin Costner, even though he talks like Kevin Costner in it. I love Alan <laughs> Rickman as the sheriff of Nottingham. <laughs> Um, I watched The Hunt for Red October recently, and I thought hey, people Hood. were praising this movie. I I found that movie boring. I didn't really enjoy The Run, Hunt for Red October. Wow. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, but I love I Sean Connery in it because Sean Connery is a damn good actor. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I did not enjoy The Hunt for Red October. So I'm easily going Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, baby. Mm -hmm. What about you, Zach? 
Um, I grew up with Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, so I'm probably going to just go ahead and take that, even though Kevin Costner does not attempt any sort of RP British in this. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, Alan Rickman is the thing that makes the movie as memorable as it is for me. One of the most underrated villain performances ever. May the man rest in peace. <clears throat> I miss him every single day. Um, yeah, Hunt, for Red o- Hunt for Red October, or as I like to call it, the Hunch for Red October. Uh, <laughs> it was basically <laughs> just... Uh, it was it was just fun, Sean Connery, and may he rest in peace as well. Uh, and may he see Alex Trebek in heaven somewhere. But uh, I'm going with uh, yeah, I'm going with Robin Hood. All right, honestly, Robin I Hood think for Zach, I think Sean Connery and Sylvester Stallone would have made the best minions in Despicable. Oh me. my God, yes! Oh, Double that shadow, Stallone. Grow. No. Grow. Can I? Oh, 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 oh. Can yeah, I make John, you some butter? I John, what about you, man? Before? <laughs> John, what about you, buddy? Um, uh, I, you know, I, I really like uh, um, Hans Gruber <laughs> in uh, Robin Hood. What, what's his name? Um, I, you just, Alan, uh, Rickman. Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. Thank you. Alan Rickman. Um, yeah, he's he's Professor fantastic. Slick. He's really dialed in in Robin Hood. I think I have to go uh, hunt for Red October though, because I think Sean Connery really does. Yeah. Bring it. Um. And Ro- it's not the best Robin Hood movie. There's better Robin Hood movies, I feel. Uh, Robin, Hood, like Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Robin Hood, 2018. Got it. <laughs> Men in Tights. Oh. <laughs> Men in Tights. Why is that not? Men in Tights is the freaking best. Yeah, where's my Carrie Always love? Robin Hood, Robin Hood, 2018 is the best Robin Hood. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, but I, I think, God. yeah. All I right, think, John's uh, going to for Red October. The man in uh, Austin? Austin, we got a tie. So this is an easy one because here's the thing. I am I think Prince of Thieves is okay. Uh Alan Rickman, I think, is the best part, but Hot for October, that movie just puts me on the edge the entire time. And Sean Connery is incredible in it. Yeah, it's you kind of just have that... to pinch it. Yeah, you just have to pinch it so it doesn't let you go over the edge. Yeah, right. <laughs> no <laughs> shit, right? Uh, but like every time I see, I've only seen the movie a couple of times for sure, yes, but Red October, Louie, I just was like, holy shit, what's going to happen? What's, I, I'm really glued to the screen every time I see her. Robin, I'm just like, okay. I prefer I prefer Men in Tights over this movie. Sorry. But yeah, I got to go. No, Red costume's October, not honestly. great. All so, right. Yeah. Uh, the Hunt for Red October gets the vote for the panel. Mm-hmm. What about the chat? Yeah, most people are definitely going with the Hunt for Red October. Um, a lot of people are thanking you for voting for... Um, the one that you voted for. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some people said they haven't seen either, but definitely most went oh. for the Hunt for Red October <laughs> on this one here. All right, we got one more matchup here in bracket one before we get into the semifinals and all that good stuff. Here we go. We have some anime action. Ghost in the Shell, Ooh. 1995, versus oh. L.A. Confidential this in 97. Hard. Weird Ooh. matchup. Abstained. To be Abstained. I have not seen Ghost in the Shell. Fuck you. All right, Zach. You gotta be All right, Ghost in the Shell, Zach has not seen, so he is oh out for this one. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm you should. Sorry. You know Why what? I, I will start you know what? this I don't one. Care. Um, you broke your elbow. <laughs> All right, Ghost. I'm gonna be. Yeah, I Ghost in the Shell elbows, was a first time watch for me recently, and I loved it. Oh. Ghost in the Shell is great. I really enjoy the animation in that. Not Just one of the more groundbreaking anime films out there. I need to see more anime. I know. Um, yeah. But uh, what's the LA Confidential. LA Confidential was also a first time watch for me recently. Oh. It was great. I enjoyed that one as well. Um, but for this one, I'm going to go with Ghost in the Shell. I love the animation in that. I love the world that they introduced. Way better than the Scarlett Johansson one. Just let's but just not even forget talk about that, that movie. Let's, let's but be forget honest, it. Though, as an adaptation goes, the Puppet Master would have been a better villain. But yes. the Scar Jo movie is not awful. It as an adaptation uh, of animes we'd seen bad, previously is but, eh, far better than anything that we've got yeah, before. The Ghost in the Shell gets my vote on this one. It's better than Dragon Ball. John, oh, what about you? Fuck, don't start. Um, I used to be like, <laughs> <laughs> L.A. Confidential is, is a great film. Um, you know, it hasn't aged great because you do have Kevin Spacey in there, and you're like, oh, okay, so it's kind of unfortunately, right? It's kind of it's kind of cringy now, but I do love that L.A. noir story. I mm-hmm. wish we had more movies like that. Um, yeah. I find it very rewatchable. But Ghost in the Shell, I mean, it kind of the visuals are great. It did so much for like anime mm-hmm. and that type of genre. It's it's very rewatchable. I have to go Ghost in the Shell. Mm-hmm. Ghost in the Shell gets John's vote. What about Austin? 
This is a no-brainer, but I love both these films. I actually saw L.A. Confidential for the first time recently, and I loved it to no end. But, Ryan, you say you need to get into the anime, you say, Ryan? I Watch do. Akira. Watch Akira. You Akira need to see is great. It. That's on my oh, list. I, I, yeah. That's my, it's like my top ten films of all time. But I got to go with Ghost in the Shell only because it's, I mean, like we said, it's how what it does for anime. It was groundbreaking with the animation, the story, the themes. And I actually, my brother got it for me for Christmas a long time ago. Thank you, Alex. But uh, the film just, after I watched, I was like, I got to see more anime just like this. And I, I think if I'm mis not mistaken, this was the film that actually uh, influenced The Matrix. One of the few, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it I was. Believe so. so, yeah. Yeah, but it, yeah, Ghost in the Shell, no brainer. Even though, sorry, LA Confidential, I love you to no end. Yeah, Russell Crowe yeah. is great in that. Yes, yeah, he's he is. Very good. LA Ghost Confidential, in the Shell phenomenal. for Austin. Yes. Uh, what about Patrick? Look, Mamoru Oshii's direction and visuals in Ghost in the Shell is just perfect. Like, introducing the characters of Bato and Major is just perfect. Mm. I think that it's such a beautiful looking movie. They re released this in theaters um, in 2020. And yeah. theaters were just reopening after the whole pandemic thing. And um, they released the 4K in theaters. And the moment that I saw the tickets went live. And I just went, yes. And I just bought my tickets. <laughs> and I saw it twice in one day. Ghost in the Shell, admittedly, I'm a bit biased as well. I, I really enjoy LA Confidential. Um, but Ghost in the Shell is my favorite anime of all time. Ooh. So I admittedly am a bit biased in that regard. Like that movie did so much for film as well. And I don't think people realize that we wouldn't have a lot of action movies from the, mm -hmm. the late nineties to, you know, the two thousands or even now without ghost in the shell. Musical score right. is great too. I should say. Oh, it's, it's very beautiful. Good. Ghost the, in the, the shell. Opening. Goes to oh. yeah. yeah. What's the chat saying? Yeah. A lot of people had to skip this one for not seeing either one, but I'm actually seeing. Oh a, my God. Like, what? Yeah, I know, three or four. <laughs> A few said Ghost in the Shell, a few said Confidential. Probably the edge would be Ghost in the Shell in the chat. What to well. say? Yeah. We've got this is a great name. Sweet. I love like uh, Danny DeVito in this. Hush, hush. Talking about these movies. Let's keep our sentences <laughs> and our thoughts to one to two sentences and then make your pick. All right? All righty. Sounds, Sounds good. good. All right. So here we go. We're in the semifinals, and these matchups aren't going to pop up. On Let's go. Because we didn't know what was going to be. Here we go. First <laughs> matchup, starting with Ryan. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Groundhog Day versus... American History X. Fuck. Uh, I'll go Groundhog Day on this one. Uh, Zach? Groundhog Day, easy. Groundhog Day. John? Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Austin? Son of a bitch. Uh... <laughs> That's not an option, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um... Damn it, Groundhog Day. I love sorry, I'm gonna... it's rough. Groundhog Day does move on, but that was Patrick... hard. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day sweep. Shit. Sure did. X is out. Next matchup. We're gonna start with Zach on this one. Yes. All right. Boogie Nights versus oh Jurassic Park. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, it's gotta be Jurassic Park, doesn't it? Timeless. Oh, Jurassic mm. Park for Zach. John? Jurassic Park. JP. Austin? Son of a bitch. Jurassic Park. Sorry, Boogie Nights. Right. Dinosaurs. Patrick? Uh, 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 <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> By the way. Uh, I love it. Dinosaurs. Damn on it. Four. Uh, uh, the Jurassic Park. Next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chaos Jurassic theory. Park. Sweet. All right, so Boogie Nights is now out. All right, so we're starting with John on this one. Yes, all, all right. right. Here we go. We have The Crow okay. versus Mulan. Ooh. Oh, easy, easy. John? I got to go The Crow. I, I, I love The Crow. I'm sorry. I know Mulan is a favorite, but I've, I've seen The Crow so many more times, and it just, it's such a guilty pleasure. Mm -hmm. Not even a guilty pleasure. I love The Crow. It's just Final a great room. All right, John goes with The Crow. Uh, Austin. Uh, sorry, sorry, the crow. I gotta go with Mulan. I, I think Mulan. I, don't get me wrong. I, I love the crow. I got son of a bitch, Mulan. It's a tough oh. decision. It really is. <laughs> Mulan. <laughs> All right, Mulan for Austin. Patrick. Mm, Mulan. Yeah, I love both, but it, it has to be Mulan. 
Yeah, I'm same as you guys. Mulan for sure. Sick because I move on because I I would have yeah. chosen Mulan anyway because I don't I haven't seen the crow so Mulan moves on. <laughs> Alrighty, Mulan does move on. Next matchup, we are starting with Austin. Austin, Austin, on this Austin, one. Austin. Daniel. Boys in the Hood versus the Fugitive. All right, so oh. Zach and John. <gasps> yeah, I haven't seen no. Boys in the Hood. All right, so three Boys people. Austin? I gotta go. With, I gotta go with Boys in the Hood. All right, I Patrick. Boys in the hood. Yeah, the Patrick. Fugitive. He's he's thinking the fugitive. Yeah, come on, fugitive. fugitive. Damn, Damn you, Patrick. Win. Yeah, for me. <laughs> That's hard. Yeah. Slight edge. I'm gonna give it to Boys in the Hood. Ooh. Oh, yes. yes. Okay, okay. Ice Damn Cube is so good in that. Gentrification. Oh, boys in right. Boys in the Hood is so good though. I know, man. Yeah, that was a hard. masterpiece. It's so good. Especially for our Let's first time film. Here. Did I mess up a matchup? Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. This Ready? We're starting with Patrick on this one. Yes. Here we go. Home Alone versus The Wedding Singer. Oh, oh come on. Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Hey, geez, I love you, buddy. Versus... <laughs> Yeah, this one's definitely Home Alone for me. Sorry, Home Adam Alone. Sandler. Come on, this is this is like Zach, putting my mean? Fuck off, Adam this is, <laughs> come on. This is like this is like putting my Seahawks up against the Lions last weekend. Home Alone, easy. Oh God, oh, the boy, Lions, I don't care. Seahawks. Uh, so Zach goes with Home Alone. John, yeah, Home Alone. I do love yeah. the Wedding Singer, but Home Alone. Yeah, Home Alone. Uh, we're gonna get a sweep here from Austin. Fuck off, wedding singer. Home Alone. Yeah, Home <laughs> Alone. <laughs> sweet. Uh, I relate to Home Alone. I've been Home Alone since my dad never came home with the milk. All right, and Ryan. <laughs> yes. Here we go. Starting with you on this one. The Hunt for Red October versus Ghost in the Shell. Oh, easy. Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> Zach, can't vote. I haven't seen Ghost in the Shell. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Thank you, uh, John. Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell, Austin? Ghost in the Shell, easily. Oh, Patrick. God damn. Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell sweep. I guess oh, I need right. to see Ghost in the Shell then. It's so, <laughs> so good. It's so good. It's so easy to find a Blu-ray or a DVD. Really, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's right. everywhere. Ready? Yes. Here we go. Uh, starting with uh, Zach on this one. Okay. All right. Groundhog Day versus Jurassic Park. Again, talk about two polar opposites. <laughs> I know. But I Battle get... of 1993 movies. Jurassic Park has to be. Yeah. Jurassic Park. Um, John. <sighs> Groundhog Day. I know it won't win. Day. <laughs> he just wants to be different. Austin. <laughs> yeah, it wants to be different. Austin. <laughs> uh, I love both these movies to no end. But um, Jurassic Park. I got to go Jurassic Park. JP. Yeah. Uh Patrick. Jurassic Park. Yeah, Jurassic Park and me, definitely. <laughs> Jurassic could you imagine? Park. Uh, 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 uh. Could, could you imagine Already pigs running around the park, though? <laughs> Same. <laughs> Brady. Brady. John. Like, babe of Jurassic no. Park, right. seriously. <laughs> it's babe. All right, what's the next matchup, Cody? Sorry. Mulan versus Boys in the Hood. Whoa. All right, who's uh, first? John. John, you're first. Oh, I'm he hasn't seen Boys in the Hood. Um, he hasn't seen Boys in the Hood. So who hasn't either? Uh, Zach. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 out of this one. Um, so Austin is first. Damn it. This, this, it's like, this it's like picking some of my favorite children right here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Boys in the me. Hood. Sorry, Mulan. All right, boys in the hood for Austin. <laughs> no, Patrick. Happy <laughs> Patrick. Um, Mulan. Ooh, Mulan. Man. I'm sorry, Nobody boys in the hood. I've seen you once, but I've seen Mulan a hundred times. So Mulan. Yeah. Damn. Oh, I love. I tried for you. I love boys in the hood so much, though. I loved it okay. so much. We are starting with John on this one. What's up, John. Uh, John? John is next. Okay. Home Alone. Versus Ghost in the Shell. All right, Zach is out of this one. Uh, John? Why? Why do you got to do this to me? This is, this is, it's getting tough, man. I love it. Uh, John? 
I'm just gonna rip the band-aid off and say home alone. I know I'm gonna get hate for this, but I don't care. Home right. alone. Home alone for John. It's Austin. Oh, wait, so home alone gets ghost in the shell, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ghost in the shell. Yeah, I know. Ghost I know it's not a popular Austin. opinion. <laughs> Patrick. Patrick. No, you don't even understand. It is ghost in the shell. Yes. yes. Our Patrick hot, goes ghost in, ghost in the shell. Right. I I'm I want the, our first tie tonight. Home alone, baby. It's a tie. Ghost in the shell. Okay, so we have home alone and ghost in the shell. Let's see here. Cat, see don't let me one down. One for home alone. No. One for ghost in the home shell. Home alone. Okay. Two for home alone. No. Home alone. No. Four for home alone. Five for I'm home alone. I'm making six. my family oh, disappear. <laughs> Home Alone, Home alone is beloved on. by the chat, and it chat. moves on in this you time. Know, I right. Right. Chat, I love you all. Thank you for picking the correct answer. I want this to be fun! We tried, man. We tried. Yes, I love it. It's so great. We have our final four movies. Chat, I'm disappointed in you. Gentlemen. Okay. Say hello to Goodfellas as it joins. Bye, the Goodfellas. Eh. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> If Homelo wants to get as far to back as as far him. back as I as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Mm. All right, mm-hmm. first matchup. We'll start with Patrick. All right, Patrick. And feel free to talk a little bit about Goodfellas. Of course. Know. What's the matchup? Goodfellas versus Jurassic oh, Park. Oh fuck this! <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic Park. I'm not even gonna talk, sorry, not even going to talk about Goodfellas. I've seen that movie once, and I kind of just went, "Yeah, it's good," but oh god, what? Yeah. what? <laughs> I've never had the urge to go rewatch it. It's not that it's a bad movie; I think it's phenomenal. All right, let's oh, hear what the chat has Jura- to say. Jurassic Park, <laughs> on the other hand, I watch like five times a year, <laughs> easy. So, all right, no brainer for me. All right, here, Patrick. Patrick votes for good. Fe- no, sorry, Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Bias. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jurassic Park for Patrick. Um, now me. Uh, damn it, I love Goodfellas. Goodfellas is my second favorite Scorsese film behind The Departed, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> it's great. Right. Actually, it's great. Me. Joe Pesci steals that entire movie easily as Tommy. What am I funny? What am I fucking clown? But <laughs> I rewatch Jurassic Park every single year. So I got to go Jurassic Park here. Yeah, I'm uh, with Zach. I'm with Patrick and Ryan on this. Um, it's got to be Jurassic Park. How is that not the number one seed? Goodfellas, honestly, is mid tier Scorsese to me. Oh, um, I've never what? had the listen. Oh, I've never had the I, tonight. I, I'm with Patrick. I've never had the urge to go back and rewatch Goodfellas. But again, Jurassic Park, I can pop in any point in the week. Never gets old. Anytime, <laughs> any day, old. any <laughs> whatever. Like anytime, I gotta any say day. Whoa! I just saw Jurassic Park's over a comment. Get out of here. No, I gotta yeah, say. Yeah, so, um, I gotta say something. Yeah. So, Zach, you're going Jurassic Park? I sure am. Yep. Uh, Zach and Patrick, go get your fucking shine box. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I will. Uh, John? <laughs> um, they're so, it's such a different type of genre, but... Yeah, I know. <sighs> I, I'm going to go... Not that it matters, because it's already like three votes for Jurassic Park, right? Um. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. Fucking right. <laughs> I, I think I. I think I'd go. Uh, Goodfellas is like we didn't really talk about, it, but there's so many great memorable scenes mm-hmm. in Goodfellas. Like I love the scene where he's like, uh, uh, she's got him on the bed. He's like, "What's her name? What is mm-hmm. it's her like, name?" Like movie. Yeah, I love. I love the helicopter scene where like they're following uh, Ray Liotta. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. like you know the scene with like, uh, what am I a clown? My, what am I music? What am I a fucking clown? How, you know, how am I funny? Um, how like a clown? How am I funny? I how like a clown? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's. it's I, watch I mean, as much as I like Jurassic though. Park, I think I, I think I'm into Go Goodfellas. Thank you to All right, we got a chat, Goodfellas from John uh, Austin. So here's the thing. Like I mentioned, um, Goodfellas is on my top five Scorsese films. I love Jurassic Park, but it's not my top five Spielberg films. I got to go with Goodfellas here. Um, even right. though Jurassic Park, nice. don't get me right, it's revolutionary, but I have to go with Goodfellas here. All right. Austin and go Goodfellas, but Jurassic Park gets the majority vote from Better the panel. A, a bitch. Uh, what's the chat saying, though? Yeah. Or how do they react into the Goodfellas slander? Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, go get your shine box, Patrick. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> go um, get your shine box. 
Goodfellas. <laughs> uh, tiny bit going with Goodfellas. I mean, it's close. It's, oh, like, it's close. Really They're really both close. classics. Really, really yeah. Let's just be honest, though. Jurassic Park moves on, knocks out the number one seed. Our first Damn. number one seed is out of here. Let's All be honest, right, though. The hot takes have only just begun. Oh, yeah. Final two yeah. Bracket one. I can't wait, Patrick. Damn. Start with Zach. Okay. What's up? Sorry. What you got? Zach. Zach is first. Okay. Mulan versus Home Alone. Oh, oh sons of bitches. Oh, come on. Don't All right. Zach, Mulan. what you got, buddy? Home Alone. It has to be. You know, it. that's like... The thing is, Home Alone is fantastic. Mulan oh. is fantastic, too. But, like, uh, it's like try, forcing me to pick between my two favorite children that I don't have. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah true. Home Alone. <laughs> Very true. Zach's going home alone. John? Home alone. I mean, come on. Home. How do you... Yeah. Right? Yeah, home alone for John. Austin, do you agree? I gotta go with Mulan. I love Home Alone, but I think Mulan is the more iconic film as much hate as that might get me. I go with Mulan. I love it. Hot takes. Austin <laughs> is going Mulan. Zach's <laughs> uh, All right, Patrick? I, you're choosing between the incredible music score in Dark Tale of Milan and the incredibly fun Joe Pesci going, I swear to God, kid, if you hit me with one more kid, I swear to God, I'm going to come out of the water. I'm going to come out of the I fucking love Home Alone, but I'm going to have to go Milan. Yes. Oh, yes. we got a tie. Ryan. Patrick, you're not the same. Now the pressure's on me. All right. Um, Austin and I are on the same wavelength. There. Don't, oh, let, God. don't let us down, Ryan. Both my we're, childhood. We're watching you, Mulan. Mark, right? I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen many times. I love Mulan, and I've seen Home Alone like every Christmas. I gotta give it to Home Alone, man. Oh! <laughs> I yeah. love Daniel Stern and Joe Pesci when uh. Daniel Stern steps on the ornaments. I'm gonna kill that kid! <laughs> and when he has the spider on his face, ah! Like, come on. We definitely may swing down and hit the brick wall. Just yeah. yes. <laughs> but we'll talk about the bricks later when we get to Home Alone too. Mm -hmm. uh, so Home Alone <laughs> moves on. It does move on, which means, <laughs> gentlemen, on the screen is oh, the final, the two. final two in bracket one. In bracket one. Who come on. will it be? Starting with John. Jurassic Park. <laughs> God, you better oh, God. not. What? You better hey, not. Uh, Gentlemen, what have we done? This is childhood. This is childhood. What have we right, done to John. lead to this? Well, I'm just okay. okay. Um, 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 uh, damn, just, just John. A, just, just, just <laughs> puncture my living. childhood. Okay, let's see. <laughs> um, <sighs> John. Go Jurassic right Park. Final answer. It's just, it's, a, it's a better movie. You can't take it away. The score. You got Jeff Goldblum. I love Home Alone, but but it's Jurassic Park. I I can't spare no expense. Jurassic Park. Spare no expense. <laughs> John votes for Jurassic Park. Austin, where are you going on this one? Life um finds a way. Jurassic Park. Sorry, Home Alone. Love Hold you, but Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Yes. Hold on to your butts, guys. Good. <laughs> Jurassic on. Park for Austin. Patrick. Charles play three. I don't want to choose. <laughs> We're gonna need um, a vote and five. It, I'm just it's Jurassic Park. It's Jurassic Park. It's it's a fucking no-brainer. Yeah, Jurassic Park for Patrick. So for me, Home Alone. You, you you did great. I love Home Alone. Definitely a great Christmas film. But Jurassic Park. Something that'll always blow my mind is when Richard Attenborough says, "Welcome to Jurassic Park," <laughs> and then that brilliant score. <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> moving on. To the finals. They move in her. Yeah. Zach, are you agreeing? You know, I could just go down a martyr and say that Home Alone is better than Jurassic Park and say that there's more memorable scenes in Home Alone. But, I, I mean, the thing is, straight. yeah, it's just widely. <laughs> it, it's it's got to be Jurassic Park. I was saying it from the beginning. Like, I saw it in round one. I was like, how did that not get a buy, like, right to the finals? Like, it yeah. has to be that one. I tried to fight for it, but we'll find out later. But yeah, Jurassic Park, guys, is the winner of bracket one. And it moves on to the finals. Final four. Yep, it does. All one right. down, three to Final go. Final film. Yes. <laughs> Here we you go. You have chosen wisely. All right. All right what's we get to Are we bracket good to two? Jump in? Are they all good? Yeah, we're all good. Are you guys good? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's keep going. 
Oh, boom, 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 right. boom, boom, boom. Here we go, <laughs> gentlemen. Oh, Bracket God. number two. Here we go. Let's get it. Moving on to the final four automatically will be the Lion King. Of course it does. That better be in the really? final. Yeah, <laughs> that better be in the final. We shall see if it really? will be in the finals. Now, yeah, that better be in the finals. <laughs> we're going to start we're going to start bracket 2 with I think not only I think maybe the toughest set of matchups, but I think this is the hardest matchup. Right this next here. one? Right oh, now. No. Oh, okay. God, I'm not ready. Don't so do this I don't to think me. they're ready for this. Ryan, <laughs> don't do this. You have to start it off. All right. Oh, we God. have Goodwill Hunting oh, come oh, on. versus Toy Story. Oh, oh my easy. God. That's so this easy. is easy. <laughs> it's easy for me. All right, guys, it's been good. I'm painting oh, my channel off the streets. Peace out, guys. Have fun, guys. Oh, my God. Damn it. God. Damn it. This is like. Guys, this, is like, this is like choosing between Skittles and Skittles and Starburst for me. I love oh, both Skittles candies. Cool. Starburst is better. Starburst is better. Um, so let's start off with Goodwill Hunting. Amazing movie. One Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, their Oscars. Very well deserved. Such probably one of the greatest written films of all time. That pawn scene still gets me in the feels. And of course, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Um, but Toy Story is what made me the man I am today. It's my childhood. It's my favorite Pixar movie to infinity and fucking beyond. Toy Story. Me. It made you a man. I right? love Goodwill Hunting, but I gotta go childhood with Toy Story. <laughs> Zach, do you so agree? You, you you guys ready to hate me real quick? Yeah, uh, you better get hunting. your soap boxes out. No, I I've seen both of these. I've seen both of these. Toy Story was my childhood too. Um, but I sit here today saying that it's not the best Toy Story movie out there. It I really isn't. Like not. Um, Toy Story two is infinitely better than the first one. No, it's I not. Still stand by I gotta that. disagree with that. In but my opinion, I agree. Thank you, Cody. <laughs> Thank you, Cody. <laughs> I don't agree, but they're Listen, both Listen, I, I just, I, I had more fun with Toy Story 2, personally, and I still do to this very day. Um, very good. So that being said, um, Good Will Hunting was nominated for so many Oscars back in 1997. Um, it didn't win Best Picture, even though it probably should have, but that was the year that fucking Titanic won everything. So Titanic. It was in, it was in you know, pretty films. deep water there, literally and figuratively. Yeah, right. But uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm pretty sure it's not going to win, but I'm going to give it some love. I'm going to say Goodwill Hunting between these two. So how do you like them apples, chat? How do you like uh, them I like, apples? Uh, I, I like apples. They're tea. delicious. <laughs> well, I got uh, Zach, a number. How do you like them apples? I got a number. How do you like them apples? Zach goes Goodwill Hunting in this matchup. John, what about you, man? I also go Goodwill Hunting because as much as I oh, love interesting. Story, wow. Goodwill Hunting is an amazing movie. Like, I mean, Toy Story is good. Like, I love Toy Story, but you got you got peak uh Matt Damon. Uh, Robin Williams. I mean, did we forget about Robin Williams and how amazing he is? Oh, Robin Williams movie? is amazing. Yeah. I mean, he's he's you got like him with the 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 the, the watercolors and the whole backstory and yeah. the. I don't know. It's just like everybody is turned to like ten in that movie. Everyone's bringing their A game. Um, it's one of those movies you walk into the middle of it, you just watch it all the way through. Uh, easily yeah. Goodwill Hunting, and I love Toy right. Story, but damn. Yeah, Goodwill Hunting for John uh, Austin. It's gonna be a hot take. I'm gonna get some hate. I don't love Goodwill Hunting. Um, wow. I find it to be slightly overpraised on my end. I didn't wow. love it when I saw it. Um, That's right. it's, it's okay. Too. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Me, I'm just like... gonna go to Twitter. Unfollow. Damn, we got some easy and... takes tonight. I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have I mentioned so how much I'm wrong. loving this? Um, I'm loving wrong. these hot takes, guys. Yeah, I love it. It's not your fault. The writing, <laughs> it's uh, the writing is great, but honest to God, Toy Story is just what that film did for film in general. It just it can't be overlooked. And don't get me wrong, I Goodwill Hunting has some very good scenes, but like I remember watching it with my best friends a long time ago. I haven't, I haven't said to her, "Is it me or did I not love it?" She's like, "Yeah, I didn't love it either." And I was like, "Thank God." I mean, I, the film was very good, but I just don't love it like the rest of the world did. I mean, although I do, I don't. 
I didn't I know it won best screenplay. I do I do agree with the one for best screenplay because the screenplay and Ghoul Hunting is fucking phenomenal. But Toy Story has my heart all the way. I gotta go with Toy Story. Yeah, yeah. So it does. Jacoby P doing Stephen A. Smith. Boo this man. Boo this <laughs> man right now. <laughs> uh but uh Austin goes Toy Story here. Uh yeah. yeah. Uh Patrick, is this we're a tied. tiebreaker. It's a tiebreaker, yes. Come on, Patrick. This this one for me is a no-brainer because even though I grew up with Toy Story, I love that Damn. film to death. It gave me the animation. I I mean the imagination I've always loved with my toys growing up. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Goodwill Hunting because it's such a beautiful Damn. heart. It's such a heartfelt film. Danny Elfman's score. Can we yeah. just mention wow. that for a second? It's great. It, it is so beautiful. And I then often Robert, I often that forget that Elfman scored too. <laughs> scored toys. Yeah, right, so. that chess scene I mentioned earlier. Everything from Affleck to Damon to uh, what is it, Williams? All everyone in this movie was just phenomenal. Gus Gus Van Sant, Gus yeah. Van Sant, his direction, man, is just so beautiful as well. Can we just acknowledge that? Like, oh, yeah. it, it's without oh, a doubt Goodwill Hunting Fantastic. for me. All righty, guys. Toy Story has been knocked out by Goodwill Hunting. In round in, one. In round one. Yeah, I'm not sure how the chat will react, but I'm happy Goodwill Hunting is winning this. I, I <laughs> Toss him movie. over, boy. Just personally, Toy Story was my child. <laughs> Some but. malarkey on this. <laughs> You're right, malarkey. Cody, what's the chat saying? <laughs> well, first off, I think Patrick just did Pixar what the movie theaters have been doing to Pixar recently. Just, you know. Oh, God. What's that oh. talking about? Can we <laughs> not talk about that? Okay. You know what? Another topic you know what? for another stream. You want to hear a really big hot take? We haven't had a great Pixar movie, or should I say a good Pixar movie, since Inside Out. I do love Inside Out. It's, like, it's my favorite. Uh, Pixar yeah. Soul. Coco's great. <laughs> Soul's great. I love Soul. Soul I Soul's I'm masterpiece. It within a week. Coco's a masterpiece. I don't Coco, love Coco. I've got within a month. I haven't seen well, Coco. Since well, the Toy theater. Story 4 is overrated a little bit. Oh, you get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Toy <laughs> Story 4 yeah. didn't need to happen. Uh, no. Anyways, let's move on. I think Harvey put it best. Poor Woody and Buzz. I'm Woody yeah, Harvey. You know you what? Are now, are so are so now you all, you all are Buzz. sad, strange little men. You, you have my pity. I tried that, to. That's right, not its only chance. They feel on. sorry for themselves. Let's go to our next, and moves on. Here we go. Let's go to our next matchup here. We're going to start with Zach on this one. Oh, God. We have Awakenings versus Jumanji. Hmm. Awakenings Again. versus the Battle of Robin Williams movies. Yeah, exactly. yeah you want to yeah. talk about two polar opposite of out of his filmography here. My yeah. goodness, what is this bracket? <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. Yeah, these men. <laughs> like, okay. that's, what, that's what makes life fun. I know, I know. This is, this is so cool. Um, All right, Zach, but, okay. Zach, what you got, man? You know, I'm actually, this might shock some people, but Jumanji was a big part of my childhood. I'm going to go Same. with that one. Even though Same. the effects are mm -hmm. not really up to par these days they don't stand out as good um awakenings was actually a first time watch for me about a year and a half ago i think it's a phenomenal film i think mm -hmm. uh williams and robert de niro play off of each other extremely well <coughs> um but it's it's gotta be jumanji for me man it was just more fun all righty zach's going jumanji uh john i have to abstain because i did not see awakenings all right john hasn't okay. seen awakenings uh awesome. so good so good uh, it's very good yeah i love jumanji but awakenings is fucking phenomenal um it's and i love it when actors take roles that are out of their comfort zone like i'm sorry with dramas robert williams is phenomenal in this film i got i gotta go awakenings uh, even though i love jumanji do not remember that's like zach big part of my childhood as well um i i watched that film nonstop as a kid but awakenings just <laughs> love that movie mm -hmm. all right austin's going awakenings Patrick? It's going to have to be Jumanji. Again, Awakenings is such an amazing film. Robert De Niro and Williams just play off of each other so well. But Jumanji was my childhood. I grew up with that film. And, you know, just the idea of having a board game that can suck you in with a particular roll yeah. of the dice and then you get released later on, it's kind of in a way a horror film at times. In a way, yeah. This yeah, movie yeah, is at times yeah. terrifying. Terrifying. Oh, yeah, it is very Especially rewatching it recently. Those shitty ass CG monkeys, while they don't hold up, that monsoon those scene. things. Oh. It just stampede! Yeah. 
Can I? Can, can I add on? on the board. Oh, yes. Oh, can, the, that Patrick. freaking hunter guy. He scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. Oh yeah. Can I actually add on to that point there? Because the opening scene of Jumanji, there were days where I just could not finish the movie after that. As a little kid, I saw yeah. little Alan yeah, get was... sucked into the game like he did, and I was like, it's "Oh my terrible. god, I don't want to." <laughs> like, I, I, I just wanted to run away. I think the VFX look like that purposefully to off-put the audience. I don't think that's a you know a thing of the times of the movie aging. I think when it came to the monkeys or like Alan being sucked into the board i think the vfx are purposefully off-putting so therefore it terrifies the audience within those moments a lot more to like this is the movie you're about to fucking watch that's yeah. that's the excuse i give for it looking dated because it does actually help in its favor at times i will say as well and had my first celebrity crush uh, kirsten dunst when i was growing up oh my god yeah. Underage. So, uh, yeah, underage. Well, I was yeah, the Patrick. same age as her characters. So. Underage now. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick, you're going Jumanji, right? Yes. Jumanji. Patrick going Jumanji here. Um, yeah, I watched Awakenings uh just to refresh my memory. Uh, Awakenings is fantastic. I agree. Robin Robert De Niro was the best performance for me. I thought he was mm. amazing in this movie. So heartbreaking. Robin Williams, also amazing. But I agree, Jumanji's my childhood. I love just Damn. the board game aspects. It was horrifying. That hunter guy creeped me out when I was a kid. And it's a funny comedy, too, and yeah. endlessly rewatchable. So, And I have the steelbook for that. That's probably my favorite yeah. steelbook ever. It's did literally you know, a board game. Did you know that the dad, um, or the hunter, is the same actor who plays robin williams is dad is the same guy yep i you can't not, tell yeah, but i just i just found this out i'm like damn it's the wow. damn that's a good fun fact All i've right, got to mention now really quick ryan from you mentioning that steel book i've got um one out there as well for an alfred hitchcock movie the birds and on the Ooh, back of it the steel book so actually good. has a bunch of birds make an outline of tippy hedron and it looks so beautiful oh that's sick that's awesome all right i go with jumanji on this one and yeah did we get to everybody yeah, I believe so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Jumanji wins, except Damn, John because he's tired of the awakening hasn't seen awakening for this matchup. <laughs> we got everybody there? Yes, we got everybody. <laughs> Relax. Uh, ghost from John Lennon says scenes from Jumanji were filmed down the street from his house. That's, That's awesome. Really cool. Wow, wow. Hey, Robin Williams. That's great. Oh, wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. Knives Out was filmed about 20 minutes, 20 minutes from us. Yeah. Oh, holy cool. shit. That's I know where an upcoming Ron Howard movie was filmed near me. Cool. All right, well, Jumanji moves on in that matchup. Um, and let's see what the next matchup is here. Okay. What year is it? What? <laughs> we have, uh, we're starting with John on this one. Edward Scissorhands. Oh, damn you. Easy. Versus Misery. Easy. Misery? Yeah. All right, this is easy. Uh, this John? is actually really I'm glad you guys me. think so, because I'm like, shit. Save up <laughs> my end. Yeah. This is so easy. <sighs> wait, wait, hold on. Quick take. Why do you guys think it's easy? Like, That's which what I'm thinking. Thing? Um, I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain. We'll okay. explain yeah. in our take. Just, just go ahead now, John. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I have to go misery because I think that movie is so misery, incredibly misery. tense and does not let you go. Edward Scissorhands, I really like, but misery really does like just grabs that you by the throat. Scene. I mean that, that scene leg, where he break, she breaks uh, his, his his ankles. Ooh, the yeah, hum, the hobbit. Ooh, and scene. every time, every when, time. When, when, uh, every time gets me. Yeah, so and every squeamish. scene where she's not there and he's trying to creep around, trying to sneak out, Dude. or he's trying to like find like a weapon and then sneak back in time before she gets back in the house. I mean, it's so well done. As much oh, as, as so I find well unnerving. Ever. You got to give it credit for it being that unnerving. So I'm going to go misery. Dude, the tension All right. in that movie never ends. It really yeah, doesn't. It never but ends. Yeah. John's going misery. Austin? I love both these films. I really do. Edward Scissorhands is actually my favorite Tim Burton movie. Um, I, I saw it when I was a kid. Really? Uh, my, yeah, my dad showed it when I was a t I, before I was a kid, a teenager. Again, I love the you. gothic no vibe kidding. to it. Yeah, I love Edward Scissorhands. But man, misery just... From the first moment that it starts, or actually, no, right when that car accident happens, and then right when Kathy Bates shows them what's going on, you just know something Hello, is up. Paul. And dude, I'm it's just, fan. it keeps going and going. It's like, what the? F and of course, when the, that whole scene, it's just, ugh, ugh. Oh, it's so Even, satisfying. If, if I can interject real quick, satisfying. I like the ending scene, yeah, like in the very, very end, where he imagines seeing her at the restaurant. Yeah. 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 The scene yeah. with the typewriter. Oh. 
All so right. brilliant. I'm your number one fan. Like, ugh. When he I hits the really type, when he ugh. bangs the typewriter on her mm-hmm. head. That was, that, dude. So I great. Love Amazing revenge. Fans. But the yeah, slightest incredible. of misery. What? Slightest of misery, even though yeah, I love Austin, Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, Austin goes That's, misery. That was hard, uh, though. Patrick? Okay. <laughs> Let's hear it. Let's shovel. Here goes a hot take. I don't like Edward Scissorhands. Oh, God. <laughs> hmm. All right. Oh, so misery. <laughs> I, <asked> him, <laughs> I thought it was going to be misery. Bye. 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 Look, I don't think Edward Scissorhands is a bad movie. I was just never able to connect with it, and I honestly just thought Johnny Depp looked like an anorexic goth <laughs> the entire <laughs> film. <laughs> he literally... With the blades on his hand, looked like he was on the verge of just ending things. The oh, he film. was, yeah. <laughs> um, and I just never connected with the movie. I think the visual art style and the cinematography is stellar. It is stunning. But it's just yeah. the story and the characters in that movie. Some I found annoying, some I just couldn't connect with. And I just, I watched the movie once, like three, four years ago, and I just never returned because I just, didn't find it all that investive. Whereas Misery, on the other hand, is one of the most intense cinematic experiences I've ever had. I saw it for the first time in theaters. Um, Ooh, and and that lucky. was one of the most uncomfortable experiences of my life. Like that ankle breaking scene to every, as oh, you man. know, you guys have already mentioned before, her, you know, always catching him as he's always trying to fucking sneak away or trying to... Dirty birdie. My elephant always points <laughs> south. Kathy Bates is so yep. fucking good in that oh, film. Oh, she it, is. And she won an Oscar always, for it. She won the, yeah, the are, only no. Stephen was, King adaptation to win an Oscar. Right, think think about that. Rightfully that. so. Rightfully it's so. It's one of the <laughs> best <laughs> Stephen King movies ever made. Mm-hmm. It, it's just... It's perfect. It is. Although there is another better Stephen King movie. We'll it's a better about. one. I agree. Um, yeah, I'm going to go on the same boat as you guys with Misery for sure. Uh, Kathy Bates as Annie Wilkes. Hello, Paul. I'm your number one fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to James Caan. He was also fantastic. As yes. Well. Yes. Yeah. He was amazing Equally amazing. In this movie. Yeah. I Equally love amazing. the whole buildup of him just hang- hitting that typewriter on her head. Eat it! Eat a sack full of shit. Like, oh, yeah. My God. Well, so think great. about this, guys. So here's the thing. I'm going with Misery 2 just to make it a clean sleep. And Edward yeah. Scissorhands, a very, yeah. very fun film. Edward Scissorhands is great. Tim Burton is a great, great director. I really love a lot of his projects. But the thing with Misery, Rob Reiner directed it. He yes. he directed a lot of my favorite movies growing up. The Princess Bride, Stand yep. By Me. Princess Misery Bride, might so. stand. Misery might stand out as his best made film just because he I had agree. so little to work with. When Harry Isolated met locations. Sally. And yeah, When Harry Met Sally, exactly. But with yeah. Misery, he had even less to work with and it just felt so much more grounded. And again, Gavi Bates is fantastic. Give credit yeah. to James Gunn. I'm backing off of Ryan here. Um, yeah. And Pulse. keep in mind, a lot of the actors we've been talking about throughout this whole stream so far, however long we've been doing this, they turned that role down. And James Conn yeah, was the only did. one ballsy enough to do it. Robert De Niro so, turned it down, I saw. Al Pacino, yeah. Harrison Ford, the Harrison list goes on Ford, and on. Yeah. And you know what? I'm kind of glad that did because, um, yeah. oh my God, who was, who I'm, I'm sorry, who played? James uh, Conn. Thank you. James Conn. James Conn was great. He's very, he's very, uh, no one talks about his performance enough, I feel the like. The dad from Elf. Good. Yes. Yep. Yes. Sonny from The Godfather. He's That's great. Correct. James Conn is so good in Misery. Oh yeah. So I, good. Yeah. Misery qu- clean sweep easily. Clean Sorry, Edward Scissorhands. For sure. Uh, this is also going to be in contempt. I love the ice sculpture scene in Edward Scissorhands. Oh, it, yeah, it's beautiful. It, it, it kind of feels like it's more style than substance. That's why Misery definitely. In some ways, I did. I can agree with that. I should head to bed, but this is too entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> yes, hey, hey. Hey. That's usually what I say about porn. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Patrick, with the, Patrick, Patrick with the quotes. I love it. Chill. Patrick, I love right. it, man. Patrick, oh, Patrick. Pretty good best, dude. <laughs> All right. Our next matchup is okay. um, the Battle of 1992. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. A few good men versus Home Alone oh, 2. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. You, want the truth? We, you guys can't no. handle the truth. What's coming up? Uh, in this matchup, you're my birthday, 1992. So, who's starting off, Cody? Um, oh. Let's see here. This is the fourth matchup, so it should be Austin. Austin, we'll start hey, with my, you. My birth year, so okay. Um, Home Alone two. In some ways, I do think it's slightly better than the first Home Alone. In some ways, it's I think it's the more fun film. It's but funnier. I, 
but I do agree. Uh, but a few good men, dude. Rob Reiner once again coming in hot over here. Um, Aaron just, Sorkin. At, thank you, Aaron oh, Sorkin. One of the best screenwriters out there. It's enthralling, of course. You can't handle all the truth. I mean, that was the truth. Jack. And Tom Cruise, I'm pretty sure, is in that film, right as well. Yeah. Yep. Yes, Tom Cruise. Yes. Yes. One of his best performances mm-hmm. too in that movie. I gotta go. With the, I gotta go with a few good men, even though Home Alone Two is a lot of fun. All right, a few good men for Austin, Patrick. Yeah. I really like both films. I think the only thing that holds one of them down for me, though, is that I think Tom Cruise's performance is incredibly bland. Damn. But that's one thing I find wow. with a lot of Tom Cruise movies. I think he's a good stuntman, but at times I have a lot of problems with his delivery and his performance. And I find that very much so with A Few Good Men. Even And it doesn't help that he's alongside Jack Nicholson, who just oversho- he just overshadows Tom Cruise the entire fucking film. Um, whereas even though Home Alone 2, without a doubt, it's undeniable, it's just a retread of the first film, but with just some other excuse for him to get there. It's got Tim Curry, it's got great line delivery, oh, it's got Tim an Curry. even better version of the uh what is it, Angels the with Angels Dead. with um, filthiest souls, I think. Well, filthiest Schneider, souls, though. yeah. You've been smooching with everybody. You've been smooching with Cliff Bony <laughs> Bottle. Oh. It's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. Kevin, um, you ordered nine hundred and sixty three dollars on room every service. Line, every line delivery from fucking um Tim Curry in that movie. Oh, oh my god. Are we having a pizza? A limousine <laughs> and a pizza. I've got a and Rob <laughs> Schneider. Rob Schneider. Your stolen credit card. Stolen credit but, card. Once again, Daniel Stern and Joe Pesci, again, perfect in this film, even though it is a retread. I think that the story for the old bird lady is very fucking weird. She fell out of love, and that's why she's homeless. Huh? Um, yes. But, you know Thank what? You. The traps, although they would have definitely killed After them, the first is so yeah. much better this time. Every time I watch the fucking trap start, the bricks... Come on, Kevin. Man. He's jigsaw. He literally is jigsaw. How yep. are you not dead after the first brick? And then the tool <laughs> shelf. There's the sound of a tool <laughs> shelf All right, down so the Patrick, you're voting a few good men here. No, Home Alone Two. <laughs> All right, Home Alone Two for Patrick. Damn right. you. So for me, Home Alone Two is like you guys said, it's a retread of the first film, but I think it is funnier than the first film yeah. because of Tim Curry. He steals the entire movie for me, Mr. McAllister. Um, Mr. McAllister. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I gotta go a few good men here. Uh, Aaron Sorkin's screenplay is amazing. Tom Cruise and Jack Nicholson steal the entire film. It's such a well-paced movie. And Rob Reiner, once again, in his prime here. So it easily blows Home Alone 2 for me. What about you, Zach? Yeah, Home Alone 2, you guys were hitting the nail right on the head. This is basically just a retread of the first one. Um, And my biggest problem with the Home Alone 2 is the bird lady herself. Brenda Fricker was great with the material she was given. um, But it just felt like a very recycled, scrub, ranch, repeat version of Old Man Marley, who is infinitely more interesting but yeah. don't get me wrong, yeah, I, I still have tons of fun re-watching it, especially Tim Curry and uh, a certain cameo in there uh, from someone who's very, oh, very famous. Yeah. Um, yes, Rob the, Schneider. Exactly. Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. Schneider. Yes, that, that's who the, I was going to get to. Exactly. You know, yeah. uh, Rob Schneider, I typically don't find funny. Nah, it's fucking, but, um, what's his name? Donald Trump. Because didn't they use the Trump building? Yeah. Yeah. All no, right, I, so a few I mean, good men. We 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 don't we we don't talk about him, but uh, we're actually yeah. I'm going with uh, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm going with a few good men. A few good men for Zach. What about you, John? Um, yeah. I mean, you guys kind of like won me over a little bit because I forgot Tim Curry is so damn good in that. Like when he smiles and the, they kind of cross oh, with the bridge you. and the light goes up above his head. I, I love <laughs> all of that. Um, but like I don't know, a few good men is stacked. You got Kevin yeah. Pollock, Demi Moore, Kiefer Sutherland, Kevin Bacon, um, of course Jack Nicholson, Tom Cruise, uh, and that third act, man, that court scene is is just amazing. Yeah. I can watch it's it again and again. Yeah. While Home Alone is a bit of a retread. As much as I love Home Alone too, got to go a few good men. All right, a few good men for John Austin. Oh, did I say a few good men? Do we start? Do we? Okay. Yeah, we started with oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, a yeah. few good men does come out on top. What does the chat think? Yeah, I think it's mostly them. Uh, a few good men go with them as well, but they love Home Alone too. And apparently, it's banned in Canada. Did you know that? Really? Wow! I, mean, I did not know that. I could wow. see why the, the bricks were so intense. <laughs> How many things am I different. holding up, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, next yeah. ma- next matchup. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. We're right, yes, sir. Next up here, we have Goldeneye, 1995. Oh, versus Thelma and Louise. Thelma and Louise. Abstained. Uh, I haven't seen Thelma and Louise. Oh, okay. Zach That's hasn't seen Sorry. Thelma and okay. Louise. This good might movie. say something about my So who's thing, starting off? I forgot what Thelma and Patrick. Louise even was. Patrick, what, what are you going with? I completely forgot what Thelma and Louise even was. <laughs> so I have to look it Ridley up. Ridley Scott. I'm... Ridley Scott. Yeah. He, he, Gina he, Davis and Susan oh. Sarandon. Look, the performances are good and the score by Hans Zimmer is good, but I think it's low tier Ridley Scott in my opinion. It just it didn't capture me, and the fact that I forgot what it was kind of says something about my viewing what experience. <laughs> um, but I've never been a big James Bond fan either. But if there's one James Bond movie I do love, it's Doctor uh, Doctor No. Yeah, Doctor yeah. Goldeneye. And Goldeneye. I, I'm going to have to go with Goldeneye straight off the bat. And not only that, come on, it made one of the best Cena scenes Royal of all time. Skyfall Goldeneye 64. Dude. Yes. Yes. And 64. Uh, mm-hmm. All right, the Golden. Game, yeah, the video game, man. You can't multitask with two Joy Cons. The video game's amazing. Uh, Patrick's going Goldeneye. And I'm the same. And if you if you weren't watching my channel, I've watched a majority of the Bond films for the first time leading up to No Time to Die. And watching Goldeneye for the first time, I was just blown away with Martin mm-hmm. Gamble's direction. Mm-hmm. He did Casino Royale and Goldeneye. Just my favorite my, Bond film, by the way, Casino Royale. It's my favorite one. Uh, it's the good. only good Pierce Brosnan fun, Bond film, in my opinion. But yeah. shout out to Sean Bean as 006 in here. He was such a great Franklin villain. Franklin James. Yeah. For England, James, never. Yeah. So great, I love it. Um, uh, what was the other? I miss Sean Bean. Sorry, Thelma Louise. Thelma and Louise also fantastic. The ending's tragic, uh, but I gotta go Goldeneye. It's more rewatchable. Mm-hmm. Uh, John, um, Zach hasn't seen Thelma and Louise. Okay, yeah, no, I found uh, Thelma and Louise to be kind of forgettable. Um, while Goldeneye is like the perfect Bond movie, it might be my favorite. Yeah. It's it's definitely the best of the mm. of the Brosnan ones. You got uh, Sean Bean, who's like a perfect rival. He's 006. perfect as his, uh, that character. You got, I think the best like Bond girl, like good Zeno. girl and bad girl, like Pam K. Jensen. Yeah, and I don't Zeno remember the name of, uh, of the redhead, but they're both great. Uh, you mm-hmm. got Boris Invincible. Like that movie is just so rewatchable. She's of course, so he's got the game. Easily Goldeneye. It's Bond an adrenaline Jensen. rush, that film. Golden it's, just, a, a, it's an adrenaline rush. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you. Famke Jensen as Zenya on a top. One of the best Bond. And, and I love Famke how it's Jensen, like... Def- like, I love the Daniel Craig movies, but this one has more fun. And I love that about this Bond I can movie. See that. Yeah, Goldeneye is great. Goldeneye for John uh, Austin. I love Thelma Louise. I found this for the first time not too long ago, actually. It's not my favorite Louis Scott film. I think it's like... It doesn't quite crack my top five, but here is the thing with Goldeneye. Roger Moore, I don't particularly love as James Bond. Oh, he's because, the worst Bond. Yeah, because here's the thing with a few to a kill, that nearly killed the franchise again. But then here comes Martin Campbell, propels it up once again. Goldeneye. Hey, we had cool. Timothy Dalton. We had Timothy Dalton before Goldeneye. He's that's got so, great Bond dude, films. That's so true. Yeah, that's license right. to kill rocks. Dude, yeah. dude, Timothy Dalton, no one gives him enough credit because these are great He's bonds. one of the best Bonds. And then he was um, in Looney Tunes. Don't get me started on that. Uh, but anyways, but like uh, GoldenEye, that, it's in like what, my top three James Bond films, right below Skyfall and right below top Disney Royale for me. Yeah, yeah. I, I love GoldenEye. I have to give it GoldenEye. Even though Thelma Lee's greatly Scott film, but GoldenEye just, once again, it brought back Bond better than ever. And unfortunately, though, I, it is the best Pierce Brosnan film before it just went downhill. The name's Bond. James Bond. James Bond moves on. Goldeneye moves on. What is the chat saying? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people are saying Goldeneye as well, but I think um, where's the comment here? I want to see it. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, Jacoby. Right, Jacoby said the beginning of Sean Bean's deaths. Oh yeah, that's right. Yes, but I think Harvey makes a good point. I think we all should just ditch the tournament and just go play Goldeneye right now. <laughs> the game is. Oh my god, that's Can the I just say that? That's, no, that's the just say that. <laughs> At least. At All least right, since Golden Eyes. Eye does move on here. We got the next matchup here, and we have seven versus oh, that's as, as good as you get. This is so oh, easy. Okay. This is easy. What's in the fucking box? box? I'm starting up. I'm starting off seven. Like, do we even need to have a conversation here? No. Um, as good no. as it gets, 
it's good. I don't love as good as it gets. Um, yeah. Jack Nicholson's great. He's a phenomenal actor. But Seven is a masterpiece from David Fincher. I mean, Morgan now, Freeman, Brad Pitt. What's in the box? What's in that fucking box? And we don't, you know what's in the box. Yo, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, um, and that one actor who's in the movie, uh, we don't talk about him, but it's still great. David Fincher, one of his best. So Seven. Fincher just doesn't have to show you what's in the box. You know what's in there. You know um, what's in the but box. But don't overlook as good as it gets because it is a great romantic comedy. Jack Nicholson had an excellent departure there. But, yeah, this is an easy pick. Seven all the freaking way. Mm-hmm. All the day Double day. Of seven. I just saw that comment. <laughs> seven. All right. Uh, John? Seven. Let's move along. Seven. He went no for contest. Seven. Next. Three for seven. Austin? I mean, as good as it gets, is very enjoyable, but Seven is my favorite Fincher film. I love that movie so much. I actually did the twist before I saw the movie. Still yeah, watched I'm, it. I think that's the yeah. same for a majority. Yeah, I, I, I knew the twist. I still watched it. I was like, what's the fuck? blown away. Fuck. The score just sells oh, you. And dude. Brad Pitt, man. Hey, it's almost uh, like a horror film, too, in some ways. It oh, really it is, is a horror film. It's I, I love it, but that, that easily moves on. Yeah, seven for Austin. Patrick, sweep or no? The seven was this was the first time I'd ever seen seven. Oh, and oh, really? until recently. And when that ending came around, I just went, <coughs> <laughs> He just went, Oh, uh? and like it just was like the best fucking thing ever. It was like, mm-hmm. again, it doesn't need to show you what's in the bloody box, and you doesn't. can interpret that yourself. And that's one thing like I love about fiction. the film. Yeah, exactly. David Fincher yeah. trusts you as the viewer to stay invested. <laughs> And to also put the pieces together yourself mm-hmm. rather than just throwing everything at you and telling you everything and showing you everything. And that's one of the things I appreciate about it. But yeah, it, it's got to go to fucking seven. Like, I'm, I don't know how I didn't watch it earlier. I yeah. should have recorded a reaction to it if I'm being. Perfect. Oh, I would have yeah. loved to see your reaction. I would have loved to see that. Yes. Yeah. Seven way, for Patrick. Eight. And it's a sweet baby. By the way, right, the ending almost did not happen. That took seven seconds to figure that out. All right, here yeah, we really? go. <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah. All they right, had to next matchup, Ryan, we're going to wow. start with you on this one. Okay. okay. We have From Dust Till Dawn. 1996 oh, easy. Ooh, versus easy. Ace Ventura. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the More what the, the hell is Makes sense. <laughs> oh, oh, my this god. Fucking lineup? oh my god. Um, oh, what a good pair. For this one, I'm going to go from dusk till dawn. I think it's a yeah. very great movie. Robert Rodriguez, George Clooney, and uh, Quentin Tarantino. Amazing in that film. Uh, Ace Venture is a very funny movie. I do enjoy that from Jim Carrey. But something about From Dust Till Dawn just is very gritty. I just think Robert Rodriguez does such a great job with this film. So From Dust Till Dawn for me. Uh, Zach? You remember how at the very beginning Patrick was talking about some of the annoying Jim Carrey performances? This is right up there with his performances of the Grinch. Also, wow. um, I oh, yes! did not care. I love you, Zach. <laughs> I love you too, Patrick. Uh, I just the Grinch sucks. Honestly, here's the thing: he like Ace Ventura is fun and all, but from dusk till dawn, which I actually watched for the first time in the build up to this, and I thought it was really? a great film. Robert Rodriguez directed the shit out of it. Mm-hmm. Quentin Tarantino acts in it, oddly enough, and he does a mm-hmm. fantastic job. So I'm gonna go it's from dusk bad. till dawn. Let's give it some love. Yeah, from dusk till dawn for Zach. Uh, John? Oh, easily. I know Ace Ventura is like a big iconic movie of the 90s, but uh, from dusk till dawn, George Clooney has never been this cool. Like, I mean, you could probably say the same about uh, Tarantino in a lot of ways as far as acting, but I love From Dust Till Dawn. I love when he's just like, you know, I've got I've got six little friends, six little butts, and they all come run faster than you. Like, it's the coolest movie. It's such a hangout movie. Harvey Keitel also is like the conflicted uh, priest. You got uh, uh, Juliette Lewis, who's in there, who's who's kind of being reimagined by Tarantino doing things that he's not really doing. Uh, Cheech Marin, who plays three different characters. Yeah. Um, yeah. there's so much, there's so much rewatching that. It's a good watch, like Friday night movie, drink movie. It like I fucking it's love a good this date movie. Night film. Um, it's so it fun. might be Robert Rodriguez's best movie. I have to think about it, but yeah, easily Shock from Death to Dog. I found I find a pet detective Alita to be a little annoying Angel. at times. So yeah, Sin City for me actually. Alita, Alita Battle mm. Angel will have a discussion. Alita's great. <laughs> yeah. um, but from Dust Till Dawn gets John's vote. What about you, Austin? 
I'm gonna quote my winner of this. Yeah, we're in fucking Mexico, you fucking piece of shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> look, look, Ace Ventura is so much fun. I love Jim Carrey in that film, but from dusk till dawn, like it sneaks up on you. Like you're just thinking, like, where the hell is this going? And then when it reveals itself, you're like, whoa, that's awesome. That whole twist right in there when it happened and the ending, I just went. That was badass from Dust Till Dawn. I gotta go with it. Not to mention all you got right. Tom Savini with the with the dick gun. That's fucking fantastic. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yes. All right. Are we gonna get a sweet Patrick? Look. <laughs> Are you so much of a fucking loser? You can't tell when you've won. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jacob Fuller so much in it. Yeah. I it's from Dust Till Dawn, man. Come on. It yeah. can't. Fuck Ace Ventura. It's one of the most annoying movies I've ever watched. <laughs> All righty. And a sweep for From Dust Till Dawn. I was not expecting that one. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people um, are going with From Dust Till Dawn as well. They're just questioning as Ace Ventura as a whole. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a but, fun uh, movie. Uh, I, really I mean, didn't a fucking yeah, rhino did. out Jim Carrey in this? I just oh, love dude. how they're actually having a conversation as like the uh, 7-Eleven behind them is blowing the fuck up. <laughs> like it's such a great yeah. scene. So <laughs> confirmed up here. Yep. Yeah, all right, Peter Bob. Yeah, the oh, Timothy, really? Timothy wow. in chat says uh the Timmy oh, Twister is hilarious name for a My brother was supposed to go yeah, see full house, him. man. Yeah. What the Timmy Twister? Uh, <laughs> no, Bob said. Uh, yes. Uh, oh. <laughs> Well, are we good to move on? Yeah, we're good to move on. All right, so from Dustful oh, God. on, next matchup. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Here we, we go. Got a, we got a banger of a movie coming in here. I know oh, that. Shit. The Shawshank Redemption. Oh, yes! It's too easy again. 1994. It's already moving on. Border versus the it's, game. It's moving on. It's, I don't care. I don't care to hear their hands. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really. The game I don't is really great. It's great. Yeah, it's right. Listen, I don't really start with this one. All Listen, right, I don't, Zach, Zach. there really is. There's really nothing to discuss here. The game is like <laughs> mid tier Fincher for me, even though it's great. I agree. But yeah. The the twist went on way too fucking long the first time I watched it. Uh, the Shawshank Redemption, one of the greatest movies ever made. That movie's it's on a fucking easy. masterpiece. It's fucking easy masterpiece. Piece. Yeah, it's one of the few things I can actually call a masterpiece, and I'm not yeah. someone who uses that term loosely. Same. So, yeah. Yeah. First time I lay my eyes on Andy Maybe Dufresne but... and Zach votes for Shawshank Next. Redemption. <laughs> Next. All right, John. John. <laughs> John. You know, I mean, I, I think we should just take a moment to appreciate that the game is a good movie. If you haven't yeah. seen it, go yeah. watch it. I, I think it's a great yeah. hidden gem that David Fincher put out. But I mean, like, what are we talking about here? Like, it's not even a contest. Why are we so still... Shawshank <laughs> boy. I mean, come on. Yeah, Shawshank for John Austin. And the game is great, but come on, Shawshank. Come on. Yeah. Shawshank for Austin. Yeah. Patrick? Ryan, you know where I stand on this. Yeah. I look like you. <laughs> Shawshank. Like like John what said, let's appreciate attention. how good the game yeah. actually is. It's a really good but, like, I'm not shitting on it. The the Shawshank Redemption, like Ryan, is my favorite movie of all time. Oh. And every time people Top say five to me, I don't, I don't, oh, sorry. But I have a lot of people always like, oh, I don't want to watch the Shawshank Redemption. It just seems like such a boring film. And then I actually oh, like God. show them Far and from I look at them after the movie ends and they're just like, holy shit, that was actually like amazing. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, what have I told you? Yeah. Like, it's You're like, so You're good. welcome. <laughs> Yeah, in my opinion, yeah. the best Stephen King movie ever made. I, I, I might actually agree with that. All. Yeah. So my question yeah. is, how the fuck did Forrest Gump beat Shawshank Redemption for Best Picture? Thank I you. No we'll idea. talk about that. I still we'll have no idea. Or Pulp Fiction, Fiction for that matter. Or Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Okay, but it's easily Shawshank Redemption for me. Yeah. Uh, Morgan Freeman. How did he not win an Oscar for yeah. this? Yeah. How did Tim Robbins? Was Tim Robbins even yeah. nominated for this Murray. movie? If it he wasn't, wasn't how Morgan was Freeman. he? I mean, I like Forrest I think, Gump a lot. I guys, love it, but I on. think this is I think this is the greatest written film of all time. I think the story okay, is yeah. amazing. Shout Morgan out to Bob Freeman Gundy. But shout out to Bob Gundy as the Warren. As the Warren, he was oh, he was so good. And uh, what is it? Clancy Great villain. Brown as the, uh, yeah, Clancy yeah. Brown's so Oscar. good in it. Oh, Clancy my God. Brown and uh, so what's his name? Brooks. Oh my God. 
What oh, happens yes. to him? One of the Shawshank early movies had to make me cry. Shawshank Redemption. Went... Next. <laughs> <laughs> Shawshank Get busy, die. Right. Get busy living. Get busy living. I'm going to get that tattooed on my arm. And, uh, there you go. Yeah, Ryan, you just mentioned a movie that's actually uh, coming up right about now. Oh, uh, no. Dumber. This is worse. <laughs> <laughs> See, wait, seriously? We should have had like, yeah. Ace Ventura well, and Dumb and Dumber. For these weird matchups. <laughs> All righty, Forrest Gump versus Dumb and Dumber. All right, who's first? We'll start uh, with uh, John on this one. John, I mean, what you Forrest got, Gump. Man? Well, shit, I do like Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> but it's got to go Forrest Gump. I mean, yeah. Lieutenant Dan sells me on that movie. Lieutenant Dan. Hard. Lieutenant Dan. Because whenever we're about to like turn that movie off, because I've seen it a million times, we come up to that scene uh -huh. where like Lieutenant Dan just sneaks up. He's like, they gave you. The Congressional Medal of Honor. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm in. I'm in. I, Yeah, easily. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump for John. Austin? Gee, Colby, how dare you say that? Um, First of all, Dumb and Dumber, I, I have to say, it's one of my favorite comedies. It really is. Dumb and Dumber makes me laugh my ass up, especially at the diary scene. <laughs> just, thinking of, just thinking of, oh my god. Um, why it's very childish. I, Jeff Daniels? It, it, thank you. Why, why did yeah, I forget Jeff his name? Daniels. Uh, Jeff Daniels' face, that entire scene, makes me cry out laugh so hard. But Forrest yeah. Gump, it, it's not my favorite movie, but Forrest Gump, I think, is one of Robert Zemeckis' best films out there. I mean, and I, I got I got a quote. I may not be a smart man, but I am a right man, if I think it's the right I quote. I was isn't running. It? Yeah, <laughs> I, I got to Plus, the oh, ending I... scene, if that does not move you, I don't know what to say. So good. Yeah, I got to go with Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump for Austin. <laughs> what yeah. about you, Patrick? If you think I'm choosing anything other than Forrest Gump, this is what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Forrest I Gump. I don't like Dumb and Dumber. Annoying again, but I will say I do like the Trimple and the Barbie line, even though <laughs> that is so offensive because we call them prawns, people. They're Best talking ones. prawns. All righty, Forrest Gump, Gump for Pets has our volume off. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely going Forrest Gump, just like yeah. you guys. Dumb and Dumber, it's my favorite Jim Carrey comedy. Mm. Um, but I, it's not a rewatchable movie in my terms. But I gotta go Forrest Gump here. It's the better yeah. movie. It yeah. didn't deserve to win Best Picture, in my opinion. I but agree. It's a very good movie. Tom Hanks is amazing <clears throat> as Forrest Gump. I'm going Forrest Gump because the Academy made the right choice, and I stand by that. For once, Zach. well, For you're once. wrong. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. Here's the thing: Forrest Gump is one of my favorite movies of all time, and it still hits home with me. Like what the stuff Forrest Gump was able to do with his disability. It's not outright said that he's like you know sitting there, you know, diagnosed with anything. Like he's on the spectrum or anything. But like the stuff that he's able to accomplish there, it's freaking inspiring, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't care if Jenny's an unlikable character. Like, you can take her out of the <laughs> equation. You still have so many fun characters in there. Freaking oh, Bubba, yeah. Lieutenant Jenny, Dan. She's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. Bad, she she uh she's she bad. lays her uh she lays her kid on Forrest Gump and then she basically leaves him by himself. So she uh, yeah. she's the worst. She's the worst, but <laughs> yeah. But okay, Forrest, Forrest, Forrest Gump, Gump definitely moves on here. Uh, What's dumb the dumber. chat saying? Yeah, just a lot of quote in Forrest Gump, I see a lot Half of is like a bottle. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, exactly. yep. um, never know what you're going to get. Yeah. Here and someone made a really good run, Forrest, Lieutenant Dan, ice cream. Lion King, Shawshank, and Forrest Gump in this bracket. And guess what? Yeah, it's not even over yet. I mean, yeah, that's, that's true. It's not even over yet. Yes, All right, it's very good. Next matchup here, we have True Romance versus Point Break. Two very fun ones. I am an F. B.I. Agent. Is that the first time I actually last year point break? The original. All right. So really? Who's first? Austin? Well, yeah, Austin is. All right, Austin, you're up first. All right. Point break is an action classic. Do not get me wrong. I love point break, but I think that true romance might be Tony Scott's best movie. Um, and also Tarantino ran script as well. Um, I'm it's so fast. Oh, the, the musical score is incredible in that movie, too. Um, it's energetic. It's it's so much fun to watch, and the ending sequence. Remember the first time I saw? I actually my mother showed me for the for the first time, and I, she was like, "If you don't like this movie, I don't know what to say to you." And after I watched with her, I was like, "That was awesome." I gotta go with True Romance is so fucking good. And it's, it wasn't right. a, and it it deserves so much more love too. 
Mm. All right. Austin's going yeah. true romance here. Yeah. Patrick? True romance is a great film, in my opinion. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's just it, it's also surprisingly funny. I do yeah. agree it's Tony Scott's best movie. Um, but in all honesty, I have to go the inner 90s cheese fest in me, and I am gonna have to go with Point Break because Point Break is not a good movie, but you know what? If there's one movie from the 90s where I am going to pick Keanu over the other, it's going to be Point Break. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. <laughs> Patrick, how dare I already you? know, Patrick. <laughs> All right, Patrick yep. is going Point Break here. Um, yeah, I think True Ram, excuse me, True Romance is fantastic. I really do enjoy that movie. But for me, it's going to be Point Break, man. Wow. It has Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. And Keanu Reeves is an FBI agent. Mm -hmm. And Patrick Swayze, he's a surfer that robs banks. And they yep. the world mass of the president. Yeah. It's point break. Definitely See, point break. Austin, I hate to disappoint you. I'm honestly, here's the thing. I'm going to call True Romance an underrated film. Um, I really oh. don't think enough people talk about it. Um, yeah, I'm with you. Phenomenal. Um, I think it's, you know, I, I watched it for the first time, I think a year ago. Oh, wow. Under the recommendation of my dad, I thought it was, I loved it. Um, but it's Point Break. You know, Damn. it was the it was the movie that, one of the movies that introduced me to Keanu Reeves. It's my favorite Patrick Swayze performance of all time. Mm -hmm. It's got to be Point Break. Piece. You know, as long as there's no X Games involved in this, I'm good with this Point Break. So I will say <laughs> the opening sequence in Point Break is phenomenal. I love that opening. Oh, yeah. Yes. And yeah. Keanu Reeves, man, he was coming off of Bill and Ted, like getting into yeah, action movies. Just amazing. Yeah. So Point Break for Zach. John, um, yeah, I like again, kind of like when we we're talking about the game. If you haven't seen True Romance, don't sleep on it. It is good. I, I, I can't tell you how many times I've watched on YouTube the the Sicilian scene with Christopher mm, Walken yeah. and Dennis Hopper. <laughs> that's his like, you know, only scene. You're an eggplant. Oh, You're a cantaloupe. Like that is <laughs> top notch. I love that scene alone. That's um, his only scene too. It's it's know, great. It's so great. Uh, Walken, Gary man. Oldman as like this like. This oh, like white <laughs> hemp dude with like dreads. Uh, there's a lot yeah. of great stuff in that movie, uh, <laughs> but it's I gotta go Point Break because you got Peak Swayze um, as Patrick Brody. Swayze, man. <laughs> you know, step off for a child seriously. Like Patrick, I just Utah. I love, Swayze. <laughs> Utah. I love that movie. Utah. You got Give surfing, you got skydiving, uh, bank robbing. It's just it's so rewatchable. Point Break. I've it's seen a, it so many more times. Never saw the romance. remake. Thank seeing God. Gary Oldman don't see the with remake. Those dreads yeah. is as weird on. as seeing Tobin Bell with a mullet trying to shoplift at a gas station in the firm. <laughs> oh, it God. is great though. Really bad. Yeah. So Point Break them. moves on. What's I've the chat? Point Break, but Point Break is great. Cody, I think Jay Vader's is here. Jay Vader's is here. Oh, Mr. Oh, Jay Vader. What's up, man? He's wondering who's winning. Point Break just won this match. Uh, but, uh, yeah, True Romance, Point Break, easy. True Romance, no competition. Again, very divisive in the chat for this matchup right here. But we're going to move on to the next matchup here. Again, kind of another weird one, but that's what it's been all about this evening. Oh, the yes, Prince yes. of Egypt, 1998. Oh. Versus Back to the Future 3. What the shit? Okay. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to think great, on this one. Great I'm going to get a lot of hate here. Great oh, Scott. All right. Um, Patrick? You know, you yeah, know what, guys? I have, to, yeah. I have to abstain because I didn't see Prince of Egypt. Uh, so. All right. John Ooh. hasn't seen Prince of Egypt. Okay. Well, uh, Patrick, let's start with you then. Let's just say I'll be back invited to Thanksgiving dinner with my uncle because he also worked on the Prince of Egypt as an animator. Wow. And, um... I'm going to choose the Prince of Egypt because your boy does not like Back to the Future at all. I, I don't think they're shoot. bad movies, but I, I don't find them entertaining. <laughs> I think the Prince of Egypt is it, it's one of my favorite animated films of all time. I, I think it's just so much fun. So, yeah. yeah Prince of Egypt I, for Patrick. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm going to go Prince of Egypt. Even though I, I love the Back to the Future trilogy, I have a huge guilty pleasure with three. I love Western films. And the way they just satirize Clint Eastwood, the good, the bad, the ugly, it's mm -hmm. awesome. But it's got to be the Prince of Egypt. It's definitely a very underrated DreamWorks classic. So it gets my vote here. Uh, Zach? Wasn't, um, yeah, one of the most underrated DreamWorks movies of all time. It's Prince of Egypt easily, even yeah. though Back to the Future 3 is very fun. Um, I do like all the Western spoofs in there. It's just, it doesn't hold a candle to the original classic from the mid-80s, I want to say. 1986 yeah. is when yeah, the first one came 85, out. So. Yeah. 
85. Yeah. Well, what wasn't, one of those two? Thank you. Wasn't yeah, what's but, his uh, name? Um, Michael J. Fox actually hung in that movie by yeah, accident? Yes. He was. He was. Yeah. 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 And it yeah, actually, fine. like, um, didn't it snap one of his uh, lower vertebrae as well? But he just kept acting through it or something? Bless that man's heart. Yeah. So I heard he been... actually, like, got seriously injured from it. Like, I think something actually, like, Zach Votes Prince of Egypt. Uh, yep. Yeah. John hasn't seen Prince of Egypt. Austin? Back to the Future 3 is a fun movie, but I agree. Prince of Egypt is underrated. Um, the film is mm. great. I, it kills me because I love Back to the Future to no end. Yeah, I have to go Prince of Egypt. All right. Prince of Egypt blows Back to the Future 3 away. Sure What's the yeah. chat saying? Uh, Jay said it's the best DreamWorks film. Nah, How to Train Your Dragon 2. I yeah, agree. Yes! Egypt, uh, <laughs> a couple of people How, How to Train Your Dragon anybody? 2 is a masterpiece. Dude, that entire trilogy is a masterpiece. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, now, How I to Train Your Dragon people... series is the best. The All amount right, of people who yes, say Prince How to Train Your Dragon 2 is below. Move on with a clean sweep. All right. All righty. All right. So we have the last matchup here in bracket two for these 24 films here. All right. And we have The Rock versus <gasps> Jerry Maguire. Is this a competition? <laughs> yeah. So this is a competition. Yes. So I'm yeah. starting off. Yeah. Uh, it's all, Michael Bay's only good movie, in my opinion, is The Rock, Sean really? Connery, and Nicolas Cage. Here, winners go home and fuck the prom queen. Um, it's it's very fun, The Rock, but it, you can't beat Jerry Maguire. Yeah. Show me the money! Yes. Jerry Maguire. Moving me. on. Zach? You, you know, so here's here's a fun little sentimental story for you. So The Rock, the Rock is very fun. I think it's my favorite Michael Bay film, not mm -hmm. to be confused with uh, my idol, Dwayne Johnson, or anything like that. But uh, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, Jerry Maguire actually was released on the day I was born, my wow. freaking birthday in 1996. Oh, 1996, so, nice. Yep. So, um, I I have a lot of sentimental like you know connection to that film for some reason. Um, and Tom Cruise, honestly, that's my favorite Tom Cruise performance. Um, just really thinking about it. I mean, yeah. he's great in a few good men, but I really love him in Jerry Maguire. So that gets my vote. I don't know, man. Rain Man might be my favorite Tom Cruise performance, but yeah. yeah. Jerry yeah, Maguire. It's a toss up for Zach. John? I don't like Jerry Maguire's, and I love The Rock. You have Ooh. crazy Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy Nicolas Cage mm -hmm. matched up with wow. uh, the great Sean Connery going up against Ed Harris. It's so much fun. Yeah. Easily. You know, enjoy your Renee Zellberg movie, but I'm going The Rock. I'm going <laughs> to Alcatraz, baby. Yeah. 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 The Rock. The Rock. Uh, yeah, to Colby, actually. John. Collateral. Uh, Austin. Collateral was amazing. Um, I went. I went. Jerry Maguire. Zach Cody for Jerry Maguire. Uh, so, Austin. The Rock. I do think it is Michael Bay's best movie. But here's the thing. It's not saying a lot because Michael Bay. I don't think is one of the great. Although Ambulance, I think looks great. Um, yeah, Ambulance looks, looks pretty good. Are we all forgetting Armageddon? What the fuck? I actually I saw love Armageddon. Armageddon. I enjoy Armageddon. Harry. I have actually never <laughs> seen Armageddon. 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 Harry. Um, I gotta go with Jerry Maguire. I think it's the more iconic film out of the two of them. I think the oh, dialogue yeah. is superior in this film. And plus, Cameron Cripple four, he went a wall essentially. But um, no, I think I think this is I. I mean, I don't kill me. I have not seen Rain Man. Sorry. Um, oh, you got I, 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 I know I've been love told it. that you would love it, Austin. I gotta Dustin go with Jerry Hoffman Maguire here. My heart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jerry Maguire for Austin. Uh, Patrick. Well. I think we like God and Ashley, don't we? <laughs> I, I I have to go with The Rock. I I have Fair. to go with The oh, Rock. The Rock. An, ins an insane, an insane Nicolas Cage performance with the great Sean Connery, as John said. But and who was the prom queen? If I had to choose between Pip Squeak, you know Jerry Maguire, and just high octane testosterone induced The Rock, oh, yeah. what am I gonna fucking pick? Come on! I, I don't even know how Jerry Maguire made the up. list. I'm like, I don't know either. I've had an average Jerry movie. Maguire, it was praise. That's why I made it. I, uh, I had okay. a massive argument with my fucking film teacher back in school Loser because stuff. he showed us Jerry Maguire in high school. And I just sat there the entire movie and I'm like, really? And we had a massive argument in front of the entire class about how he thought the movie was good. And I'm like, no, fuck off. <laughs> so, All right. Patrick's voting to right. rock here. But I Jerry Maguire gets like the that. majority vote. What's the chat saying? It does. Yes, it does. A lot of people going with Jerry Maguire in here um, as well with you guys. 
A um, few people haven't seen The Rock, but uh, I love this comment. Dwayne Johnson for the win. That's yes. freaking right. <laughs> the Rock for Dwayne the win. Johnson for the win. <laughs> there you go. Um, all right. So we're starting with Zach on this matchup. All right. Okay. Are we oh, ready? Boy. Yes. Here we're we go. Yep. First matchup here. We have Goodwill Hunting. All right. This is round two. Round two. Okay. Yes. Goodwill Hunting. Let me actually let me remove this. Sorry. Here we go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Goodwill Hunting mm -hmm. versus. Jumanji. Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, Robin Williams showdown. What, what what blockheads put those two movies together in round two? Um, but <laughs> it's just how the matchups, the first two matchups. Damn randomizers. Oh, dude. Yeah. Uh Goodwill Hunting. It's a better film. Sorry, Jumanji. Goodwill Hunting for Zach. John. Goodwill Hunting. Goodwill Hunting. Austin. Goodwill Hunting. Goodwill Hunting. Patrick. Goodwill Hunting. Goodwill Hunting. Moving on. Sweep. Alrighty. It's a sweep. Though. Starting with John on this matchup. John, misery versus a few good men. You bastard. Oh. All right. Rob Reiner oh. showdown. Yeah, Rob Reiner showdown indeed. John? Yeah. You know, I mean, you're really pushing these two against each other. Okay. I'm going to go misery because I feel like misery is beginning to end nail biting and really great. And I feel like a few good men you got, if you take out that Jack Nicholson speech and you had, you just kind of think about those scenes where like Demi Moore is trying to convince Tom Cruise, who's playing baseball, you should be doing this. Like, I don't think it really holds a match to misery, which is an odd thing. I didn't think I was going to go this way, but yeah, misery. All right. Misery for John here. Uh, Austin, what do you think? Love both films, but Misery takes the edge. Misery. Yeah. Uh, Patrick? Not even a question. You know, I don't like a few good men. <laughs> it's misery. So he's Damn easily you. going misery. And for me, misery, misery, misery. Oh, you bastard. You <laughs> I took love a my few joke. good men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Green you Goblin. Bastard. I love you, Willem Dafoe. Um, yep. uh, Zach? The misery, misery takes the cake here. Um, it's one of the best thrillers ever made. Yeah. Even though I like a few good men. Sorry, Patrick. It's so good. Hey, the Bower of uh, Rob Everyone's in touch yeah. with their opinion. Yeah, misery sweep yeah. easily. All righty. Next matchup, starting with Austin. Shit. All right. Golden Eye versus Seven. Oh, shit. All righty. Oh, come on. Cody, I okay. hate you. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what? I got to go with Seven. I love Goldeneye, but Seven's like in my top 15 films, period. Yeah. Seven, seven for Austin. Yeah. Patrick. I already know what you're calling it. Don't you dare, Patrick. Come what on. What was the other one again? It was Seven and <laughs> Goldeneye, Goldeneye and Seven. Please. You see, I've seen Seven once, and even though I really enjoy Goldeneye, Seven left a bigger impact, so I'm going to have to go Seven. Seven for Patrick. Uh, again, uh, I've seen seven more than Goldeneye. I've only seen Goldeneye once. Gotta go seven. It's iconic. That twist is everything. Oh, Jack. shit. I screwed that up. I screwed that up. There you go. Seven. 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 Yeah. Throwing up gang signs I appreciate now. the effort, though. Okay. Uh, Throwing John? up gang signs. I mean, yeah, every scene in Seven is well-crafted and, yeah. and beautiful to look at. It's like, how do you not? GoldenEye is a lot of fun, but easily got to go Seven. It's a masterpiece. Yeah. GoldenEye is fun, popcorn, but yeah, thank you. I love Seven, GoldenEye, right? Though. Seven sweeps. Yep, GoldenEye. in the chat, it's sweeped as well. So there's that, too. Uh, next matchup, we are starting with, um, uh, is it Patrick? I think it's Patrick. Patrick. Mm -hmm. Patrick. Patrick, here we go. From Dust Till Dawn versus... The Shawshank Redemption. Oh, oh come, oh, come on. on. This is oh, give me a Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah, Patrick, me. It's Shawshank. It's Shawshank. Shawshank Redemption. Zach. Yeah, Shawshank. Next. Next, John. Shawshank. Austin. Shawshank. Let's move on. As Morgan Freeman says, <laughs> I would Shawshank is someone moving on. The other one. Okay. Yeah. We'll move on down. Ryan, yeah, see you go, though. yours to start. Huh? Okay. Yours. Me? Okay. Forrest Gump. Versus Point Break. Oh, my For God. Forrest Gump, for sure. Forrest Zach. Gump, is that even a question? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, Forrest Gump. Um, John? Point Break. <laughs> <laughs> what? Point Break? <laughs> Point Break. It's so uh, hard to say confidently, but I enjoy it so I've, I've seen Point Break so many more times. It's so much more fun. 
Yeah. Um, Fair. Right. I can appreciate point, why why everyone's going in the direction, but I'm going yeah. point break. I'm point die break for John Austin. <laughs> I love point break, but gotta go Forrest Gump. All right, Forrest, yeah, Forrest Gump, Gump for Austin. Patrick. I love Forrest Gump, but I'm a fucking sucker for a big camp fest. It's going to be point break. <laughs> <laughs> point break for Patrick, but Forrest Hell Gump yeah. gets the majority vote. It does. So point, point break, break is so much oh, fun, the though. Ch- the it chocolates really move on. That's <laughs> the ch- uh, Forrest, so point break is out. Next matchup, starting with Zach. We have Yo. the Prince of Egypt versus Jerry Maguire. Oh, come on. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Zach. <sighs> I'm going to go Jerry Maguire on that. Jerry Maguire for Zach. John? Didn't see it. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. He hasn't seen Prince of Egypt. Austin. Got to go with Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. Patrick. Prince of Egypt. Damn. I want this to go to a tie. Prince oh, of Egypt. Is- Son of All a right. God. Is that, uh John, John, John hasn't seen uh, Prince of Patrick? Egypt. Patrick? Patrick said Prince of Egypt. We have a tie. All right, so let's go to let's the Let's go to the chat. chat. Don't let Zach and I die. Uh, I see the chat. Uh, one for I see Jerry Maguire, chat. one for Prince of Egypt, two for Jerry Maguire, two for Prince of I Egypt, see Jerry, three for Jerry Maguire. Jerry. Um, let's Count see. Count Jay's vote, Prince of Egypt. Three Jerry. Three <laughs> Prince. It's a tie. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. It's a tie. Three Who hasn't Jerry. voted? Oh, God. I have to go. I don't know. Uh, uh. Don't count a double vote. <laughs> No, John, uh, toss a coin to you. Which room? Flip one. It's a coin tie. Toss. It's four four tie. Coin toss. William Clark, did he vote? William Clark didn't vote. It's Prince of Egypt. Prince of Egypt yes, Prince by of a Egypt. vote no, moves on. We tried, Zach. We tried. Jerry Maguire is out. Yep. Jerry know. Maguire is out. Okay. Both thumbs are great. That was close, wrong. but Prince of Egypt does yeah. move on. Okay. Uh, final six movies. Oh boy. Here All we right. go. Starting with John. Yep. Starting right. with John. John. Starting with John. Okay. Goodwill Hunting okay. versus Misery. Oh, come Ooh. on. Oh, oh, oh. Dog. Oh, what, damn. This. What blockheads put those on the quarterfinals? <laughs> <laughs> it's the matchups. I, I, I think I have to go Goodwill Hunting. It's just an overall better story. There's more compelling scenes. When you break down Misery, it's like, yeah, they really do get the tension, but that's kind of the whole movie. Goodwill Hunting is kind of like this like, roller coaster that the character's going on. Goodwill Hunting. Goodwill no Hunting for John. You, John. Austin. What about What'd you? you? Say? I said, I guess no girls ever said that about you. <laughs> Austin, what about you, man? Reed lags. <laughs> man, this I is tough, I, John. Such a I love you, John. Say, I love it. Um, <laughs> misery. Come I, I, sorry, I don't love Goodwill Hunting like I love Misery. Yeah, that's right. Misery yeah. for Austin. Patrick? Yeah. Uh, look, I'm more of a horror fan, so I'm gonna have to go fucking misery. Yes, good misery. argument. Yeah, misery, Zach, misery for Patrick. I like horror. It, it just comes. Zach. I love them both. I'm, I'm, I, it's personal preference. Okay, I a... love misery. Misery's fantastic. <laughs> Definitely one of the best Stephen <laughs> King adaptations. Like Kathy Bates dare. deserved her Oscar, but I gotta go Goodwill Hunting, guys. Oh, it comes go. down to it's Zach. one of the most down 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 the That's the argument. Looks like Patrick. It's not gotta like, be Goodwill like Hunting, man. Robin Williams, Matt Damon. Well, Zach, how do, how do you like man? them apples, huh? It all comes down to Zach, huh? Um, I'm just coming off of what's more rewatchable for me. I love both of these movies, but it's misery, misery. Oh, misery. Oh, yes. Yes. Good Will Hunting oh, is out. No. Misery moves oh, on. Wow. Wow. I call that an upset right there. Oh, Shocker, huh? Oh, even at least one. Raised. Sorry. I don't know how many updates we had tonight, but I think that would be the biggest one. Wow. Uh, let's see what the chat has to I'm say. I'm waiting for the chat to reload. <laughs> Sorry, I tried, guys. I here, tried. here it is right here, Jay. John that? and I tried. <laughs> what was that, John? Oh, my I said, I'm so, it's okay, Google <laughs> Hunting. It's not your fault. Jay's like, what? Oh, okay. oh, my. oh, sorry. The John chat is hating them. Oh, Jacoby, I tried. Oh. John and I tried. Man. Well, let's All move right. on to the next one. Let's move on. What's next? Um, who started that one? I think uh, it was. I forgot. Who did. Uh, it was John. It was John. I think it was John. John, John is because I, 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 yeah, I finished okay. that. Austin, you ready? Yeah, Austin. Starts. No, <laughs> I know you're not, but I'm still doing it. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> yep. Seven versus 
the Shawshank Redemption. Oh, oh you fuck this. Oh. 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 I'm going to do a Star Wars. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, All right, Austin. That's for me. Uh, you. Um, God, you're going. Pimpy gets my two damn it, man. movies right there. <laughs> Let me step him back. I gotta go, Shawshank. I Shawshank, have to do it. Patrick Shawshank. That breaks my damn heart. <laughs> Shawshank. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, David Fincher. I love you, but Shawshank moves on here. Zach, that just broke my heart right there. Doing that. <sighs> Shawshank. Yeah, I, I should. Yeah. I, oh, I want that to move on so bad. That. I know. Yeah. Uh, John, what about you, man? I've seen Seven way more than I've seen Shawshank, <gasps> and I, I just there's something about the world of Shawshank that's so much. I'm sorry, the world of Seven. That's just like so immersive <laughs> and different. It's almost like Gotham City. Yeah. Like, done yeah. Right. It's a very well shot. Um, and I yeah. can appreciate how amazing Shawshank is, but like there's something about Seven that's just so yeah, captivating and different than mm -hmm. so many other movies. And I'm Oh, hey, seven. I forgot. This was the Battle of Morgan Freeman movies, but yeah. Shawshank. <laughs> was the there was. <laughs> All right. Uh, John real... voted Seven, but Shawshank moves on. It does move on. Yes. All right. Um, next matchup, we are going to start with uh, Patrick. Patrick, okay. Patrick, here we go. Hmm. Forrest Gump versus the Prince of Egypt. Oh. Okay, yeah. Uh, Patrick? Uh, Forrest Gump. Shit. Forrest Gump. Um, I don't want to get uh, satisfaction, but I have to be honest. I'm going to go Prince of Egypt here. Oh. I'm going to have to go with Forrest, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump for Zach. John can't vote. Upstate. John can't vote. And Austin? Ty? Forrest fucking Gump. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, Forrest okay. Gump okay. moves okay. on. Okay. Prince right. of Egypt is I out. know. I think Prince of Egypt is great, but okay. I think it's Forrest Prince Gump is a more Egypt iconic is one. Out, and we have our final four in bracket two. And uh, come on, y'all. We didn't forget about the Lion King. It is now. Yeah, we I know. And, Let's do it. Right. I kind of did. So, with that being said, <laughs> oh, Ryan, you are starting this off. Oh, God. Here please don't go. be Shawshank and Lion King. The Lion King. Oh, please don't be Shawshank. Versus. Please don't be Sean. Misery. Oh, oh thank God. God. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> Who's starting this off? Me? You. Lion King. Next. No thoughts? <laughs> it's my favorite Disney movie of all time. Next. Ryan, I'm going. Ryan, I'm going with misery. Oh, Lion King. Listen, listen. I know how this is. Lion King good. was my favorite Disney film growing up, but there has been another movie that has overtaken that since, oh. and we'll talk about it later. Um, but I'm going with misery here. I think I know what he's talking about. All right. Wow, misery for Zach. Wow. What about you, John? Sorry, Leo. <sighs> um. <laughs> I'm gonna go Lion King. <laughs> Lion King for John. Yes. Shocker. Right, Austin. I love you, Misery, but I gotta go with Lion King. Lion King for Austin. Patrick. Yep. Lion King's overrated. <gasps> oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, he went misery. There it is. Oh, come on. <laughs> there it is. But you take away the music King and that first off the movie kind of. You got Scar, oh. the greatest villain. In Disney history, you but know, that doesn't make not so even close. Yeah, yeah. not sure. even close. Star is the best movie, villain, yeah. no question about it. No, but Lion King no, Leo has Star. left the chat. I'm Please. sorry, Leo. <laughs> here we go, Zach. Starting with you here, the Shawshank Redemption well, versus Forrest Gump. Oh, come Forrest on. Gump. Are you, next. You guys already oh, know my deja vu. Hi, Zach. Hold Zach. On. Zach. Zach said Forrest Gump. That's John. Great. Don't you dare. Say it again. Uh, Shawshank versus... Um, <laughs> Shawshank and Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Shawshank. Forrest Gump. Yes! Shawshank. Better movie. What? Zach went Forrest Gump. Yeah, I sure did. now it's John's turn. He asked to repeat John, that, right? Yeah, Shawshank yeah. and... Lying and Why am I no. blanking? Forrest, Forrest Gump. Gump. He no, said Forrest Shawshank. Gump and Shawshank. I said Shawshank. He said Shawshank. Okay, got it. Got it. Austin. Sorry, Forrest. You got to run. Shawshank. Shawshank. Patrick, <laughs> you don't know. Patrick and me. <laughs> fuck off, Forrest. Fuck yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, fuck, off. <laughs> fuck off, Forrest. Shawshank. Yeah, I, I, I expected it. Forrest Gump is off. 
I expected right. that. Shawshank to the finals. All right. Check well, that, first, Timothy Smith did send in a $5 super chat, so thank you, Timothy. Thank you, Timothy. He said, I'm super chatting you, so you will choose Shawshank over Forrest. Oh, Gump. my <laughs> God. <laughs> wow. So, bribery. <laughs> okay. Bribery. Wow. I mean, it. I'm a lot more expensive than that, darling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guys, this is, this is, this is going to be incredibly painful for me. Yep. Yeah. Because both of these movies are in my top five of all time. <laughs> there it is, y'all. Right there. That is your matchup. That's to determine hard. what movie will be representing Bractic 2, we Fuck. have, starting with John, yeah. The Lion King versus The Shawshank Redemption. Oh, my God. These are See, my I top mean... five favorite films of all time. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I really like The Lion King, I never was facing made... Jurassic Park up next. Okay, I I never would have put The Lion King as a seed because it's like it's a good movie, but I could think of like four movies off the top of my head that we talked about that easily top out The Lion King. Shawshank Redemption is a damn masterpiece, so easily Shawshank. Mm -hmm. Shawshank for John Austin. I love you, Lion King, but. Shawshank, I think it's just the better movie altogether. Although, do not get me wrong, Lion King's amazing. It's one of my favorite Disney films, but Shawshank, it's just, I think it's a better impact. Yeah, Austin votes Shawshank, and Patrick votes Shawshank. <laughs> Look, let me put it this way. <laughs> yeah, let's talk Lion, Lion King. Lion <laughs> King is a good movie, but after Mufasa dies, the only things that are good in the rest of the film is Pumbaa and Timon. They're great. And the music. The rest of the movie after Mufasa dies just kind of falls flat for me. The story and the build up is so good just to stay flatlining for the rest of it and never reach a different peak. Yep. Whereas the Shawshank Redemption just keeps going up and up and up as it goes, constantly raising the stakes, having more intense, more beautiful and pure story behind it that actually has like a meaningful presence behind it by the end of it. So it, it is going to have to be Shawshank. Yeah, I, I'm not mad with either of these yeah. moving on. I, I got to go with Lion King and just give it the vote. I already know it lost, but Lion King's my favorite Disney film of all time. That's no competition. I disagree that after Mufasa's death, the film falls apart. I think Scar keeps the film as interesting as it is. Yeah. Um, I love Timon and Puma. They're iconic. Um, but Shawshank Redemption's amazing, like either one of these movies. Mm -hmm. But I'll give Lion King the vote. Uh, Zach? I'm I'm going Shawshank with this um, because I'm actually going to side with Patrick here and kind of piggyback of what of what he was saying. It basically mm -hmm. turns into Hamlet in the second half, which is yeah. literally its basis. And it's like you could just go watch a stage play of Hamlet and it would be interesting, you know, just as. Honestly, so. kind of better. What? I'd honestly say it would be kind of better to see a Hamlet live stage rather than Lion King. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and Scar, Scar's fun. Not my favorite Disney villain, though. We'll get to no. him. We'll get to him. So, yeah. All right, yeah. Shawshank does move on. Hey, Shawshank is moving on to the finals. Shawshank, Incredible movie. Shawshank joins Shawshank. Jurassic Park. And uh, wow, another number another one number one seed, seed is, is knocked down. Off, knocked off. Yeah, it's another crazy. five dollar super chat coming in here from Disney Nerd. Appreciate it. If if it weren't for you, the Lion King would still be alive. It's your fault. Is dead. Do you deny yeah. it? Then you're guilty. Uh, <laughs> I am guilty. What's your point? I missed well, the part where that's um, my problem. I think that, <laughs> he changed his he changed his profile pic to Scar. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> he is really. Mad. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. We're, this is intermission time. It yes. Is, yeah. All right. We, guys, we have finished bracket number two. We're going to take a five minute intermission. I got to go to the bathroom. As do I. Um, <laughs> yes, we all got to go to the bathroom. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't yet already, hit that like and subscribe button. We want this video to blow up as possible. We're having a mm -hmm. blast talking. Smash the shit out of that thing. Yeah. Yep. We'll be back for brackets three and four, guys. We'll see you in five minutes. Yeah, stay here. Right. We'll, we'll I'm going to go grab some grapes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably going to go <laughs> grab something, yeah. Okay. We'll be back. I'll be back.
failure. All right, welcome back from intermission, everybody. Ooh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck just happened? <laughs> Surprise! Welcome back from intermission, everybody. We're continuing on with brackets three and four. And before we get started, guys, before we get started, this is sponsored by Dairy Queen Blizzards and Poland Spring. Shout out! I'm just kidding. Um, how mm-hmm. about uh, how about Mountain Dew Major Melon, the best freaking drink in the world? Mm. Nice, Tennessee. nice. Yes, an Oreo Blizzard. Um, anyway, guys, welcome back from intermission. If you're just tuning in right now, uh, you missed halfway a bunch. We've done the first two brackets already, and just in case you don't know. We have Jurassic Park and the Shawshank Redemption already in the finals. And we got two more brackets left to go. So many more amazing movies to get through. Oh, yeah. Just getting started, boys. We're just getting started with the hot takes, the conversations. John's back. All right. Yo. So I think we're ready to get on to bracket three, Cody. All right, fellas. Let's do it. Does my audio sound all right? Just keep on pushing. Yeah, you sound good, man. Yeah. Okay, Perfect. here's my mic so, unplugged. To start off bracket three, the number one seed in bracket three is going to be Schindler's List. Okay. That doesn't make it to the finals. That will be a three. That's fighting right All there. right. Mm. Makes sense. So, first matchup, we will start with Ryan, as you're enjoying that blizzard, I'm sure. Yes, we have I am very much. American Beauty versus Miller's Crossing. Hmm. Abstain. Ooh. Abstain, too. Uh, I have seen Miller's Crossing. Two abstain. Who hasn't seen Miller's Crossing? Sorry. Zach and <laughs> Zach and John have not seen I'm Miller's sorry. Crossing. Did I so watch we have Miller's three Crossing? votes here. Okay, so it'll be a did I watch this? Not an odd vote. All right, so I watched Miller's Crossing for the very first time recently. Um, it's a good movie. 
Uh, I don't think it's the Coen Brothers' best. I think No Country for Old Men is their best. Wow. Um, but it is a good movie. What? Wow. But um, <laughs> wow. For, wow. For this one, I'm gonna go American Beauty. Uh, Sam Mendes' directorial debut was fantastic. Uh, even though the actor we don't talk about was in this movie, but he was great. So I'm gonna go American Beauty here. What about you, Austin? I find American Beauty only slightly overrated. Um, I, I don't. I love Sam Mendes. I think he's a great director. It just some of the aspects are kind of touchy, knowing Kevin Spacey these days. Um, him perving on an underage girl. No shit, right? Um, <laughs> um, Make it Laura's, a boy, and it's a true story. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh Jesus uh, Christ! <laughs> it's like Crossing two parts all over again. Oh fuck me! Uh, <laughs> Miller's Crossing isn't my favorite combo this movie. That's actually for me Fargo, but Miller's really? Crossing. I, oh, I, 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 I fucking Fargo. love Fargo, dude. Fargo slaps. No I, country for oh, right, damn it. Javier uh, but damn. Miller's Crossing. I prefer Miller's Crossing more, so I'm just gonna go with Miller's Crossing on this one. All right, Austin's going Miller's Crossing. What about you, Patrick? Down to Patrick. We're down to Patrick. Yeah, I have a big problem with American Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> the only one, and his and his name is Kevin Spacey. Yep, it's not just that; it's just everything about that fucking story. <laughs> Chris, Chris Cooper's actually pretty good in that. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> gotta love I, it. Give me that. I, I, I don't know. I don't have a big problem with films like that and everything. And um, you know, I like Chris Spacey, which kind of shame. Um, same. Yes, no, I've not seen it. Fuck off! I almost walked out. I almost fucking walked out. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I'm right, not even so joking. So Patrick's Miller's going crossing. Miller's Moving Crossing. Okay. Miller Crossing moves out, on. What's the chat saying, though? American Beauty is out. Yeah. Um, let's take a look here at some people, Avengers fans. Miller's Crossing. I see an American Beauty, American Beauty. So maybe slight edge to American Beauty, but Miller's Crossing is the one moving on to All start right. off. I'm going to on the sides here. Next matchup. Anyone want to go? Enter Saving Private Ryan to the oh. tournament. Nice. Here. You Versus sons of the bitches. the of Notre Dame. Oh, That's easy. <laughs> That's a, this right. is easy as hell. Easy, Zach. Easy. <laughs> oh, God, I have to eliminate the most underrated Disney film of all time in round one. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> listen, okay, listen. Oh. My vote is for Saving Private Ryan just because of its impact on cinema. And Steven Spielberg, yeah. again, we're oh, going to yeah. be talking a lot about him, I'm sure, the second half. But here's the thing. You cannot, absolutely cannot overlook Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, because it oh is, it's my opinion. Right. Yeah. The most underrated Disney animated movie of all time. I it agree. It still is to this very oh, day. It's still, it rests in my top five, believe it or oh, not. Damn. It's that yeah, damn the gargoyle. Good. I didn't like the gargoyles, but everything Frollo, else is great. Frollo easily top three Disney villains Dude, for me. That oh, Frollo is great. incredible. Is great. The villain song also, I've used that for a couple of auditions. Damn. Don't at me. Yeah. But <laughs> it's it's great, but I have to go saving Private Ryan here. Hell I'm sorry. Fire, dark fire. But Zach is going saving Private Ryan. I had a little trouble with the fireplace. Yeah. Um, John? I mean, what are we even talking about here, guys? Saving Private Ryan is such a... It's like It might be the greatest war movie ever made. Yeah. I mean, I think it's definitely in the conversation. And it's worth Axel arguing. Rich. Huh? Fuck off. Axel Rich. <laughs> No nah, man, no, no way. Stopped. Saving Private Ryan. What? Saving Private Ryan is like my Patrick? all-time favorite, like Sunday afternoon, on the edge. rainy <laughs> Sunday afternoon movie. It's so great. You got a great cast. Tom Hanks is peak. Steven Spielberg is peak. That opening D-Day scene on the beach oh, is yeah, amazing. That's fantastic. Yeah. And I, so, I, I feel like I could easily name off brilliant. like four or five like set pieces yeah, in this brilliant. movie that are so locked in. Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan for John Austin. So, uh, going with Vin Diesel doesn't said. suck at it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, shit, exactly. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Going with what Zach said, he has like three lines. You can't overlook Hunchback of Notre Dame because that I do agree. That's one of the most, if not the most underrated Disney movie well, anime oh, yeah. that is. But Saving Private Ryan, I'm gonna use this word again. It's a fucking masterpiece of a war film. 
uh, the opening D-Day sequence, the sniper scene, the ending scene where Tom Hanks is just being like a badass firing at that tank in the ending scene. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's not, I mean, it's really grueling to watch at times. It really is. Um, not going to be wrong. No, look but <laughs> my <laughs> God, God is it. Just turned out to be Matt Damon. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the thing. Did I get it wrong? God damn it's it. visceral and it keeps your attention throughout the entire thing. It, it's, it, I yes. think it is the best war film of all time. I really mm-hmm. do think it is. I mean, every time um, they have that scene where, like, the guy is, like, really nervous and not saving yeah, the other guy. Yeah, dude. Oh, is he the sniper? <clears throat> yeah. The sniper Can I just mention how good and underrated of an actor he is? Like, I don't remember yeah. his name, but my God, was he great in Crawl. I just want to mention that. Really yes. Quick. He's oh, yes. amazing in Crawl. Crawl right. is such an underrated Austin film, Austin Bone, oh, Saving yes. Private Ryan, Patrick I look at it this way. I can either choose Warwick Davis chiming the bells of Notre Dame, or I can choose Vin Diesel actually acting well. That was Tom Hulse, sir. I'm offended. We talked about that with the Iron Giant. I'm, I'm saying it this way. It, it, look, he walks and hunched over like Warwick Davis. Um, right. No, I, 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 I get, get you. I get you. Here, but man. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't even think he voiced him. Fuck, no, he didn't. I know that much. <laughs> no. Um, but look, again, once again, I'll reiterate. You can't undercut Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's criminally underrated. It's one of my favorite Disney films of all time. I rewatched that leading up to this because it had been years. The Hellfire song. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. That's incredible. Chills. Frollo. Yeah. Chills. Yeah. Literally. But, and Frollo is actually a great fucking villain. He is. Let me just put I that love way. Frollo. Yeah. But. Saving Private Ryan, man. Knowing that that movie was so realistic that in the premieres and everything I read up, it actually gave ex World War II veterans that were actually on the beach of Normandy, it gave them PTSD. That says something right there. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's so, a great film. That right saving, there. Yeah. Saving Private Ryan for Patrick. And yeah, I'm uttering the same thing you guys are saying. Definitely Saving Private Ryan. Definitely one of Spielberg's best p- films, masterpieces. Everything you guys said. Yes, I was saved by Tom Hanks. Indeed, <laughs> my name Ryan. Oh um, my god! Get out. Yes. Either way, really quick for those of you who play Conquer's Bad for a Day, you can actually play that sequence as a parody, the D-Day sequence in Conquer's Bad. Yeah, for a day. nice. And Hunchback in Notre Dame is underrated. I do. So I also agree like that. to mention that Gallipoli is the best war film ever made. Um, just to <laughs> shout out to all my fellow Aussies out there. Yes, okay. Disney nerd. except we just don't talk about Mel Gibson. Yeah, my favorite tax saw rich. Soon. But yes, Saving Private Ryan definitely moves on. Yeah, the chat is definitely with you guys for sure. Next matchup here we have is Twister. Oh, God dang it. Freaking easy. Sandlot, <laughs> one of my personal favorite movies. I actually I like both of these films a Wait, lot. what did you say? What did you say? Twister in the Sandlot. Oh, easy. Come on. <laughs> uh, John? Sandlot. I mean, it's Set, just like uh, it's it's like a childhood staple. It's like if you grew up with it, it's one of those movies you watch like a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I'm going off of like nostalgia. I found Twister to be kind of like fun, and I love yeah. how it's like very much a '90s. Like they don't make movies like this, like that '90s. It's almost like a Speed or something like that. Yeah. It's enjoyable, but The Sandlot, man, how do you not? How do you contest with The Sandlot? Mm-hmm. So you don't, I'm yeah. Sandlot. You never, yeah. The Sandlot for a John. String to a pipe and you still oh, have a come on. <laughs> Austin, Dude. what about you, man? Twister is so much fun. I can't deny the fun I have with the movie, but Sandlot, it's <laughs> really like what, what John was just saying. I mean, I, I didn't grow up with Sandlot. I actually saw it on a field trip as I was. I, by the way, I went to a Christian school where they were showing us that movie. And the whole that sequence in the pool where we're here, them, it's like, holy shit! Uh, <laughs> when it was trying to give me reception, I laughed so hard that scene. I'm not even a baseball guy, like a big baseball guy, but that movie's great, man. I, I don't think you have to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, which is great. Which is great. Yeah, it's like, field, it's, it's like Field of Dreams. You don't have to be a baseball fan. Which is even better about well, it, a yeah. league of their own, oh, uh, or a league of their own. Yes, we'll talk. Own. We'll talk about that yeah. soon. But Patrick. Austin. Oh, oh, mine was a Sandlot. Sandlot, sorry. Thank you, uh, Patrick. I'm gonna have to go Twister, man. Like I, I didn't grow. <laughs> <roll. laughs> 
I didn't oh grow. God. I didn't grow up with Sandlot, and I never felt connected. I just never had the same nostalgia for it. I never found the hype behind it. It's it's a beautiful film. It's a beautiful film, admittedly, and I do think it's very good. But I've always had more fun watching Twister. I think it's more rewatchable. I think it. I think it's a staple of the '90s, and that's why I love it so much. I agree. And you're killing me, small. You're killing me, small. That, <laughs> that, <laughs> that ending scene with Bill that. Paxton and what's her face tie the fucking belt or whatever it was Helen to the Hunt. pipe. I, I love. I laugh my ass off every time, and I just have so much fun. It's a fun, fun it's, movie, Twister. It is. It, it is. is. It is. Yeah. All right. Patrick's going Twister here. Um, even though Twister is very enjoyable to watch, R.I.P. Bill Paxton. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some of the great special effects back in the 90s, for sure, with that oh, yeah. tornado sequence. My goodness. But come on. The Sandlot is one of my yeah. favorite films of all time, honestly. Um, you're killing me, Smalls. Uh, when they're chewing tobacco at the um, and they're mm. riding that carnival, oh, come on, it's classic. So I'm Drinks definitely gonna taste rank, yes. And James Earl Jones as the dog owner, come on, definitely the sandlot for me. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Zach, you know, yeah, yeah, it's the sandlot. Um, it's Twister, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that was the highest grossing film of 1996. I think it was, was. Yeah, that crazy to think about. Was it not um, Independence Day? I, I, no. Independence. I think that was. Year I'm not sure. Yeah. Cody, fact check. Shit, I don't even. Yeah, what was the highest like gross in film in '96? Okay. I think I. I want to say it was Twister, but I could be very wrong. But or it could be in the. What is it? Independence Day or Twister? Uh, Independence Day. It was Independence, yeah, Independence Day, Day with a total gross of 306 million. Oh, you, know what, okay. you know what the big problem I have with Twister is? Well, like every time shame. I watch it, I feel so bad for like the fiance that Bill Paxton is with, who constantly yeah. just keeps shuffled away. Like, like, oh, I'm gonna go with Joe now, and she's like, okay. Like that just <laughs> yep. seems so. I, you wouldn't see that in today's <laughs> movies. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Um. But I mean, the Sandlot is just nostalgia overload, and I realize that that might sound repetitive from some of my solo reviews that I've been doing. Just nostalgia overload, but that's what I get from watching the Sandlot every <laughs> single time. Um, Absolutely, so yeah. that gets my vote easy. Yeah, Sandlot moves on. Awesome. That makes me happy to hear. Thank you so much. <laughs> right. I'm sorry, Cody. Yeah. That's all I <laughs> Patrick says sorry. <laughs> I love you, Cody. Right, um, he, lo he loves you. I love you too, Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> I love you too, Patrick. Up next, we have... I love this is you. a tough one. We're going to start with Austin on this one. This is a oh, tough one. Shit. Oh, this is a tough one? Oh, no. One. All right. The Matrix, 1999 <laughs> versus Aladdin. Get the shovels oh, ready. I can get the shovels ready. Get your pitchforks ready. Austin. Austin. It's, it's time. Austin for, it's Austin time. Fast. All right. It's time. Yes. Yes. Okay. My I'm time has come. come. I love Aladdin. Do not get me wrong. I fucking love Aladdin. But The Matrix, like, blew my fucking mind when I first saw that film. I saw it. By the way, it re-released uh, the day before my birthday last year. I went to go see an IMAX it was like watching it for the first time all over again. I don't get me wrong. Aladdin's incredible. I love Aladdin. I, I can show you. A, like, come on. The, a whole, th that whole thing. I love Aladdin so much. But Matrix is literally in my top 15 movies ever. Can, can, can I just ask a question regarding Aladdin, though, Austin? Yeah. Regarding that number, A Whole New World? Fantastic music by Alan Menken, by the way. Yes. One of my favorite composers Alan of all Menken. time. But the thing is when they're on the magic carpet and I was talking about this with my brother yeah. on our uh, road trip today, but uh, it was basically like they start off in Agrabah and then yeah. like two seconds later, they end up in Greece. So they would have had to have gone like 15,000 yeah, right? miles <laughs> <Yeah>. a second <laughs> and they're wearing street clothes. So that means they would have been freaking dead by the time they got yeah. to Greece. So yeah. the matrix I saw on VHS, by the way, when I, when I was like nine years old, I've been nine actually. That was like, yeah, Louis, as Keanu said, whoa. whoa. And it literally, the Matrix blew my Without fucking mind. At all. Uh, <laughs> all yeah, right, Patrick, Patrick. Patrick. All right, Austin went the Matrix. Yeah, uh, I got Patrick, it. Patrick, go ahead, man. Yeah, fucking Ferris the Bueller Matrix over here. Is chair. one of the most monotonous, <laughs> pretentious, <laughs> poorly acted, you get the bland fuck and out of here. bloated movies I have ever fucking seen in my life. <laughs> I hate the Matrix. I fucking <laughs> hate it. You have a picture of my shit list now, Patrick. <laughs> it is so pretentious. It wants to be this movie where it's like, oh, we're gonna have. 
religious symbolism oh without being in your face about it. The first thing said to Tom, no, he's not fucking Neo. He's not the one. He's Tom. He fucking outsmarts Agent Smith by a fucking cubicle wall <laughs> in an office. <laughs> Fuck off. And then the first one oh. said to Tom is, oh my God, you're like my own Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Suck my dick, movie. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off, Wachowskis. Seriously. Oh. It is so pretentious. And it takes an hour and 45 fucking minutes to get interesting to give us action scenes we've seen before just with better visual effects. Fuck off. It goes to Aladdin all day, any day. Aladdin. Fuck the Matrix. <laughs> All right, uh, Patrick's going done. with Aladdin here. Um, yeah, Sounds so good. the Matrix, the Matrix is a classic. I mean, it's a it, what defines sci fi and Keanu Reeves, Lawrence Fishburne. Um, Car what's her name, Carrie Ann Moss? Yeah, yeah, I so, but something about the Matrix Resurrections really rubbed me the wrong way. I That's don't know. Well, I do enjoy Resurrection. I don't yeah. Know. yeah, I just did. It not is what like she that said. Movie. Um, yeah. But I gotta say, Aladdin is one of my favorite Disney films. So I grew up with Aladdin. I love Robin Williams as the genie. So for this one, I'm gonna go Aladdin here. Oh, Zach. Yeah. Um. Listen, Austin. Um. The Matrix is a great film. Oh um, my I'm god! Not gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna hell? take it out behind the shed and here. put it out of its misery right. in round one, just to make Patrick happy. <laughs> yes! Yeah. yes. Yes. So, <laughs> oh, plot the Matrix... hole. By the way, you want to hear a plot hole? No one's killed an agent. They're too fast. They can't be killed by anyone. And then Trinity's just like, take this. <laughs> well. No, that that's not the reason why my vote's going to Aladdin no, isn't out of pure hate for the Matrix. It's actually it because <laughs> it's actually because even though the Matrix is a revolutionary film, and yes, I still stand by it. It's the only ex good, like the only excellent Matrix film out of the four that we've that. gotten. Um, even though even though I did have fun with Resurrections, Reloaded, and Revolutions just put me to freaking sleep. Um, I like all the Matrix movies, Aladdin is. <laughs> I think you get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Aladdin is my number two favorite Disney movie of all time. I mean, you just can't go wrong with, like, regardless of the plot holes I just brought up with a whole new world. Alan Menken's score. Robin Williams is the genie. Freaking, uh, what's his face? Brad Kane even voicing Aladdin, uh, DJ's boyfriend from Full House. Great. It's all mm. great. I love Aladdin so much. That's why it gets my vote. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. Can I just Man, also point out that John? Robin Williams can't sing, but his energy and charisma makes oh every God, musical number amazing. with him so fucking good. I do agree with you. Know, as, uh, agree, yeah. as as uh, long as as uh, as long as there's no shitty 2019 remake, I'm oh, all about it. Oh, come on. I love I the remake. I really hate it. Uh, uh, they had to hold that note for the fucking longest time and i can't uh, fucking stand that remake i don't know will i that really enjoyed the, the remake will smith was, was really charismatic um, um, but Zach is asshole. going with aladdin john i'm i mean patrick if you're going off of the fact that he hid from a cubicle that's why it's a bad movie. You're ignoring, you're I, I gave so many the, reasons. All of the, I gave the so many of, like, reasons. Kong, that was Kung just Fu one and of the choreography and the special effects. Yeah, yeah. Trinity did sneak up on him because you know he was fucking distracted by the fact that Keanu did fucking bullet time, and she <laughs> got the also, jump on him. Who gives but, a shit? Uh, if this is the things it, you're nitpicking, picking nits over like the dumbest shit with this movie. <laughs> Like this movie is fantastic, and Aladdin's a fucking cartoon. I love Aladdin. Uh, yes, but it's I a enjoy fucking, people. It's a Disney movie. I enjoy it's not a movie movie. Like this, so I'm going the Matrix. When it's meant to be so entertaining. All right, John's oh. going the Matrix. Yes, but well, yeah. we lost. Aladdin but up. Aladdin does get the majority vote, and it moves. You, on. you have my respect, oh, no. Austin. Let's move on to the next matchup here, as we have the Rocketeer. From 1991 Ooh. versus Dances mm. with Wolves from 1990. Easy. God, I, I hate both he these movies. He did not die in vain, the <laughs> 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 uh, I, I am with John on this one. I didn't like either of these movies. Um, so, Patrick. All right, Patrick, kick it off. What, what do I hate least? 
that's what I'm kind of trying. Um, I guess I can go with the popcorn cheese of the Rocketeer, I guess, because Dances with Wolves wasn't particularly anything special for me. But the Rocketeer, I at least can watch and just be like, oh, it's cheesy as shit. And I enjoy that aspect behind it. So I'm gonna, I'm just going to fucking be like the Rocketeer because I didn't like either of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's going the Rocketeer, Patrick. Um, I watched Dances with Wolves the first time. I'm like... That did not deserve best picture over good films. Oh, no. Get the out of here. No. <laughs> no. Um, it's not it's a bad movie. I just think it's fine. It's eh. Kevin Costner's eh. Um, but it's got to be The Rockets here. I think that's one of the most underrated movies of all time. Uh, Timothy Dalton as the villain. I freaking love Timothy Dalton in this movie. And Jennifer <laughs> Connelly is gorgeous in this film. Um, it's just such a great comic book movie and like is just so groundbreaking i gotta go with the rocketeer here what about you zach yeah dances with wolves does not need to be three and a half fucking hours uh um, yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i mean i could get a lot more fun out of just watching you know the uh the former you know as opposed to dances with wolves so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it out of its misery and vote for the dwayne johnson a tear <laughs> <laughs> the Dwayne Johnson is here. The Rocketeer for Zach. Um, John, you what I, I said. Already, we already know John's take. John? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of both of these movies, um, but How I'm going to go you? with The Rocketeer. It's, you know, it's funny, like, if, if you can remember back to when this movie came out, that like predates like Iron Man. And I'm sure by comparison, <laughs> people look at this movie now and go, like, who gives a shit? Um, but it is kind of like a, a fun, campy, almost like a Indiana Jones meets, I don't know, like a, a comic, like something you would see, like a newspaper <laughs> type of deal. So I'm going to go Rocketeer. Dances with Wolves, I think it was the first movie I saw where I was like, yeah, Kevin Costner is kind of a shitty actor. Like he's just like anybody <laughs> could have, and you could have plugged in anybody into that role. And I think they may have done a better job, but I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of Dances with Wolves. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the Rocketeer. I don't like beat, either of them, to be honest. Yeah. And he beat Martin Scorsese for best director. Are you kidding me? <sighs> yeah, it's crazy. On yeah. That one. So, yeah, John goes with the Rocketeer and Austin. <laughs> I'm going to go against everybody. I think Rocketeer is underrated. Do not get me wrong. But yes. wasn't Dance of the Wolves Kevin Costner's first time making a movie as far as more his directing movie? Directing that way. Someone fact check that? As far I'm, as I'm more, I, sure. I think it check. is. Um, no, he did shit before that, no? I don't know. I'm trying to think because I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, um, chat, let us know. Um, <laughs> let us know what. But all I know uh, is if this. this was Kevin Costner's first directed film, but I'm not sure. Um, oh, first directed. I think yeah, first acting. directing movie. Not, not oh, first oh, acting, oh, oh, but oh, first oh. directing movie. Yeah. Because, gotcha. because yeah. So what do you what do you go with, Austin? Sorry. I'm actually going to Dance with the Wolves here. Um, I mean, it's Dance a long movie. It feels it, it. The pacing is a bit over the place at times. But it's a, sure it's a movie that engrosses me the entire time. I, I have to go with Dance with Wolves. I mean, don't get me wrong, Rocketeer is a lot of fun, but um, I got to go with Dance with Wolves. All right, Dances with Wolves for Austin, but the Rocketeer gets the majority votes. What is the chat saying? Jacoby P thinks that was his directorial debut. I'm going to so, check it as well, actually. Co correction, it's the I... Dwayne the Dwayne Johnson a tier, sir. The Dwayne Johnson a tier. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is, actually. Can I, can I just point out that Timothy is going to be back to you, Ryan, to start us off? Yes. We have The Mummy from 1999 <laughs> versus Leon the Professional. Well, I, yes, uh, uh, I have to easy. abstain because I have not seen Leon the Professional. You can fight Whoa. me. All right. Zach has not seen Leon the Professional. It's so good. Get me everyone. <laughs> who's That's what I'm who's first? You, Ryan. All right. Uh, definitely Leon the Professional. Uh, fantastic movie. Um, the Mummy's fun. It's not like one of a go-to rewatch movies for me. It's not, I like it's not the other Mummy. Yeah, I, I like Brendan Fraser so much. I like Brendan Fraser. Um, but it's got to be Leon the Professional, Gary Oldman. He's the man, and Natalie Portman too. Mm -hmm. Her first so time acting too. Oh. First time, yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> All right, uh, Zach has not seen Leon. I'm, the I'm just kidding. So I just John. Kidding. Oh. Um, Leon the Professional. I love The Mummy. I watched that movie so many times as a kid when it came out. Um, but Leon the Professional is great. Uh, it, it's 
it might be like Natalie Portman's best movie, um, in, a lot, in an odd kind of way. If Black you look at it that Swan, way, man. like she's really that just was it. Um, and Gene Reno, who plays the titular yeah, character, is he's fantastic. Great. He's, you know, he, I, I think it might be one of the earlier films where it's like a character that's like really kind of like messed up and can be perceived as like a villain in a, in a lot of ways. But like, you know, the shell, he's like an ogre, he has layers. You know, you peel them back and he's got like a heart and it really shows in that third act. Oh and God. and then mm. Gary Oldman just chewing the scenery in every yes. scene that he's in, you know, oh, everyone. Yes. It's it's You're... fantastic. You know, like Mozart, a little bit boring. Like, I, it's just I fucking love the professional. Mm. I will die on that hill. Oh, yeah. Professional. Yeah. Gary Oldman's one of the best actors of all time, in my opinion. So, yeah. Leon, the professional for John uh, Austin. Look, The Mummy is one of my favorites as a child. I, I rewatch that film constantly. I saw The Mummy Returns in theaters. We do not talk about Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, whatever the fuck it was called. Um, and I don't mind the Tom Cruise movie as much as shit as I might get for that one. But The Other Professional, I think, is Luke Besson's best film. Um, Gary Oldman eats up literally every single shot he is in uh <laughs> yeah. natalie portman's great in it for her first time acting by the way as far as i can remember and gene reno oh my god it's so good it's at times very <laughs> funny it's heartfelt and i remember i was like that's easily his best I, it's not one of my favorite movies but leon the professional it's fucking amazing dude let me guess Italian food. Yes. Of <laughs> <laughs> course, the every uh, Gary Oldman's one of the greatest actors out there. So, yeah. Leon the Professional for Austin. Yeah. What about you, Patrick? I'm gonna have to go Leon the Professional. Can I just mention uh, Michael Bottolucci in the movie? He is yes. so fucking yes. good. <laughs> but once again, like Gary Oldman chewing up the scenery, it is easily Natalie Portman's uh, best uh, role. And need I mention, guys, before anyone in the chat, I I have to say it on the internet these days. <laughs> I was joking about that. Yeah, Natalie he was just Portman joking. Before. Come on. Like I was joking about I know there's going to be a I just want to be very clear. It was a joke. All right. Um, but look. That's what we're all here for. Joking matters. Exactly. <laughs> and if you've been here the entire time, I make the most offensive jokes. So I just yeah. don't have a filter. <laughs> but when it comes to Natalie Portman in this movie, it's either this or Black Swan is her best performance. She I think is Black so Swan good. Is. I gotta say, Black v Swan is her v best. Yeah, Black Swan's yeah. her best, but V for Vendetta too. I forgot. V for Vendetta, Vendetta is awesome. I forgot yeah. about V for Vendetta for a second. She's so good in that. Yeah. Patrick votes for Leon the Professional, and Leon the Professional sweeps. All righty. Dude, continue. the mummy is so much so fun, though. Oh, right. the mummy's really fun. Emote. Let's continue to move on with these <laughs> matchups here. Oh, God. We're going to be starting with. Um, Zach, I believe. Yes. Yeah, Zach. Yo. We have 1995's Heat oh. versus 1999's Fight Club. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. You you know. me. <laughs> okay. Now, All right. Listen, Zach, listen. Let's start with Zach. This actually isn't as hard for me as it may be for the Same. rest of this panel I that you're seeing here. Films, yeah. yeah, I actually watched Heat for the first time uh, oh. about a few months ago, and dude, I really okay. dude. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I liked Heat as much as I liked Collateral out of Michael Mann. You know, Collateral. Yeah, Collateral is my favorite. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry to keep disappointing you, okay. Austin, right. but uh, um, both I, are great. I have to go Fight Club here. It's my favorite David Fincher film. It, it, you know, I love Seven, but Fight Club, I think, takes it for his filmography. And I know I'm breaking all the rules by talking about it right now. But, say, uh, just about yeah, it's Club. okay. It's great. Tyler Durden, sorry, we're breaking your rules here. Um, but Fight Club goes to Zach. John? It's really tough. I mean, <laughs> Heat is great. And Al Pacino is chewing the scenery in every scene that he's in. She's got a. Big ass! Yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. Yeah. Look what you got! Get the Al Pacino. Yeah, what like is all the I'll, circle. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what they're looking at. The LAPD Police Department. We're not talking I mean, about yeah. this or this. <laughs> or We've talking about long long. this. It's so uh, long. It's two hours, 50 minutes. And the yeah. fact that, like, I love the scene. Everybody obviously loves that scene where you got De Niro Pacino. They're sitting Dude. across from each other. Oh, my God. Pure oh, cinema. Just kiss. You know, there's another man. side to that coin. Um, oh, yeah. And then, you got, <laughs> and then you got Fight Club, which is just, again, I, I think that movie is probably more style than substance in a lot of ways. It, it's it's mm -hmm. all style. Um, substance. It's, it's very great, much a though. nihilistic kind of movie. Um, 
but fuck if I don't love it. If I haven't like burnt out that DVD when I was a teenager. Um, <sighs> Especially with Brad Pitt's, you know, sweat hard abs. <laughs> I haven't felt like that since grade school. Like it's really a, it, it's a great movie. Um, his name is Robert Paulson. I'm literally just looking at the two titles because I don't have a, an answer right now. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, like, I'm just like talking for time. Um, hey, and Jared Leto in that though. Uh, Jared Leto, yeah. Yeah, but they do I beat him to a bloody you... pulp. And I mean, that's, I know how much John worth... loves Jared Leto. That, that's actually a good Jared Leto performance. So It I'll actually it. is, yes. And they beat the shit like... out of him. They're just like, I want to destroy something exactly. beautiful. It's great. It's, it's, it's he great. Deserves it. he, de- he deserves it like Aaron Rodgers deserves to lose the Super Bowl. Oh, Damn! I don't understand. This is, this I don't is Aaron, Aaron Rodgers' jab. I'm having a football Zach. guy that made me laugh. This really is a Sophie's I'm a, choice I'm a, for me. I'm Aussie. I don't know what the NFL is or how it works. <laughs> You're not Patriots, missing anything. Patriots for thing. Patriots for the win. We lost today, right? I'm gonna go for no. the Broncos. No. All righty. I mean, so he, sorry. He has that amazing uh, robbery scene in the middle with the machine guns, but they actually Dude, shot in that's LA. That's my favorite action sequence. So you're going. I mean, that's that's so. Yeah, I'll go heat just to move it along. Right. Yeah, I yeah. Know. I'll go heat. heat for John. All I'm right, feeling the heat. Austin. Okay, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Fight Club's amazing. Um, <coughs> although people say it's their favorite Fincher film, for me it's not. It's like probably my top five Fincher films. But Heat, for a film that's nearly three hours long, it keeps you absorbed the entire time. It's not only a oh, great oh, action oh. thriller, but it's a great drama that goes through, through the cops and the robber's side. And it gives you both sides the motivations. I mean, Robert De Niro's great. Al Pacino's amazing. And the color, everyone goes to the bank robbery scene because I think it is the greatest action sequence of all time with some of the best sound design mm-hmm. I've ever heard. But mm-hmm. so no great. one talks about the ending sequence when they're in the plane strip field, which oh. is, oh, Lily, I, that's one of my, it's, like uh movies i mentioned before it's in my top 20 favorite films um and not to mention it is one of the influences for the dark knight for how i was literally gonna movie. say the same yes. in my yep. argument and probably, uh, that's <laughs> fair <laughs> that's <laughs> totally fair yeah i it inspired I fucking, the dark knight i fucking adore heat to no end it easily gets my vote all right austin votes for heat yeah pa- uh patrick look <laughs> it's got to be heat. Like Ashley Judd, you've got um, what's their name? Val Kilmer, Robert De Niro, yeah. And Al Pacino, just oh, Val Kilmer. That's like right. Ashley Judd is the so Allstate good guy. in the movie. But Val Kilmer, uh, can we just talk about him for a fucking second? Dude, mm-hmm. And bless that man's even, heart. Two yeah. hours, fifty minute runtime. It never lets up. At times, never. It feels like it could dip yeah. off, and Natalie but Portman it never again. does. Yeah, it does, and it's, um, oh, I, it's just. Whenever I see a two hour, 50 minute runtime, I'm like, all right, I like my long movies, but it's a daunting process because it is. I have to sit here and stay focused for so long. But that's not my worry. For me. My oh. worry isn't that, it's how I'm worried it's going to fucking dip in regards to pacing and make it feel like a slog. But with this, it never does. And while I love Fight Club, it just doesn't even get to the lengths. Granted, it does have the Jared Leto performances we love, yeah. where he does get beat into a bloody pulp like an American psycho. He yep. just doesn't get asked a question this time. That's right. At least he's not going, oh, but it's me, Paolo. Um, <laughs> I hate Jared Leto. I love Nazi Nazaguchi, by the way. Have Jared Leto's the worst now. Oh, don't, uh, don't, don't Austin, say Austin, Nazaguchi, please. Austin, it's not worth your time. Oh, no, uh, Adley Portman, as well as in this movie, Heat. Jared Leto's performance in that can go to hell. It's, it's Granted, like though, top it 10 worst performances of, of all time. <laughs> oh, wow. Literally <laughs> one, of, yes. like, one of the most offensive things I've ever fucking seen in my life. Uh, yeah. Hey, um, Patrick, like, Patrick, you vote for Heat, right? Yes. Yes. Heat. Yeah, you I'll make this life, but you can't make... watch my TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I... <laughs> Yeah, I was going to go Fight Club, um, but Heat's absolutely fantastic. Um, Fight Club's not my favorite Fincher film. My favorite is The Social Network. Um, oh, it's Alien 3. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, Alien, Alien 3, 3, yeah. But uh, Heat's Alien great. Board, I would have gone Fight Club. <laughs> but Heat does move on to the next it does. one. Does what yeah. is the chat saying? I think they'd be in the different category. I think they would Fight Club. Mostly. What? With you, so. But that's... Both are great films. Both are great. Well, so yeah, yeah, Alien 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 way. John, with I the next imagine. matchup to start us off here, we have Malcolm X versus oh, come on. Focus. Focus. Oh, come oh, on. on. This, this is, is one of the easiest this matchups. Match? Of the I, I have to abstain because I have not seen Malcolm X. 
Oh, what? Okay. Dude. Okay. I'm That's, sorry. Uh, if you want to talk about long movies, Malcolm X. <laughs> I tried to squeeze it in. I didn't have time. Man. I apologize. Yeah, who's next? Okay, um, John hasn't seen Malcolm X. Who's first? Uh, that would be uh, Austin. Austin. Okay, Hocus Pocus, I understand it's a cold classic, but I not a big fan of that movie in all honesty malcolm x though oh my god is it good and there is thing i actually became a big spike lee fan until i saw um the five bloods um mm -hmm. i saw do the right thing finally last uh last year actually no great two years film ago, i fucking love to do the right thing i saw black Klansman, and then i saw malcolm x for this specifically for this Denzel Washington, I think, I mean, the movie itself is great, do not get me wrong, but Denzel Washington as Malcolm X takes the movie to a whole other level. And for, for it's like, I know it's over three hours, right? Yeah, three hours and 21 minutes. For a movie that's <laughs> over that long, I mean, sure, there are some parts of the pacing is a tad bit wonky, but Denzel is the reason why, for me at least, why it keeps my attention. So I got to go Malcolm Amazing. X. Amazing. Yeah, guys, and just a point of reference, guys. Can we try to we'll try to uh, speed up the process a yeah. little bit in our thoughts? Yeah, uh, we'll, yeah. Just sorry about that. You, you can, no <laughs> yeah, worries, sorry. no worries. In the first round, you can give your thoughts, but try to keep it a little brief so we can keep the pace going. Yeah. You bet. Um. Okay. So Austin goes with Malcolm X. Yeah. Uh, Patrick. Look, I watched Malcolm X for the first time the other week, and my God, I found it to be a massive slog. Like Denzel and uh, <laughs> Del. El Delroy Lindo oh, really? and uh, what is his name? Denzel really keep this movie afloat for the most part. But I just, for the three hour, 21 minute runtime, I just didn't feel it. It actually felt like I'd been sitting there for the entirety of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, it felt very, very long. Whereas Hocus Pocus is a movie I wore the shit out of that VHS when I was younger. I watched it over and over again with my mom, my sister, my family as a whole. It's just such an entertaining and fun film. My vote goes to Hocus Pocus mm. without a doubt. Yeah, John Carlo Esposito is also in Malcolm X. Yes, yes it was. Bad. Yeah, a like very young John Carlo. Yeah. Um. So <clears throat> Patrick votes for Hocus Pocus here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. For me, uh, Malcolm X was also a first time watch for me recently, and I agree the pacing is very slow. But I think for this movie it works because Denzel's performance is one of the greatest of all time. I Even think. though I don't think. This my personal favorite Denzel performance is Training Day. Still, this is my yeah. second favorite Denzel performance. Yes, He's amazing in this film, and He's not amazing. my favorite Spike Lee film. I think Black Klansman is my favorite. He's the right um, my end. It's the pacing was slow, but I think it was well earned for it. Hocus Pocus, not a big fan of it. I'm not looking <clears> forward <throat> to the sequel. So easily I Malcolm am. X for me. I forgot there was a sequel coming out. Yeah, Disney. Yeah, Fox. July. <laughs> yeah, Wait, July. I'm yeah. just gonna I'm just gonna vote Malcolm X because I'm so sick of people calling me Zachary Binks at my day job. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that okay. cat. Zach votes Malcolm X. John? John hasn't seen Oh, John hasn't seen Malcolm X. All right. Oh my so god. So Malcolm X wins. It does. Yeah. Yes. All right, let's keep it moving and grooving. Next matchup is Hook oh, come from on. 1991 Wait, oh, man. versus A League of Their Own. Again, this is a match. This is this is easy. Yeah. Oh, good. All right, uh, Patrick, go ahead, man. A League of Their Own. Do I even need to explain? <laughs> you don't like Hook? I like Hook, but A League of Their Own is just <laughs> yeah. Bad. It's a whole different way. To say. Okay. okay. I think I'm, Hook's I'm a lot of fun. I'm I saving my fun. joke. I'm saving it. Okay. Okay, so. Um, Patrick votes a league of their own. I'm Woo! the same. I'm going to league of their own as well. One of my favorite sports movies, but mm -hmm. I really like hook. I think that's one of the most underrated films. It does not yes. deserve the hate. And Dustin I Hoffman. Hoffman. I love him in that movie. Oh, I hate Peter Pan. Dustin so, Hoffman gave one of my favorite performances as Captain Hook during my childhood. And again, I Robin Williams here. Hook. Really, really yes. fun. Yeah. He's so it, fun. It was really you. fun performance. The you medal scene at so, the end as old Wendy. Yeah. yeah, but there's yeah. no crying in Professor baseball. McGonagall. Yeah, I'll so even own. though yeah. Ryan, there's no crying in baseball, I do have to go with Hook here. Oh, okay. Wow. Zach's going right. Hook here. Okay. Uh, John, I'm also going Hook. <gasps> oh, John, <laughs> oh, I, I, I found Austin. Um, I found a League of Their Own kind of forgettable. To Austin, be if, you, what? if you do this right, I'll... oh wow. Austin. Austin. John, I am giving you the stink eye right now. All right. Austin, if you choose right, I'll invite Austin, you to the wedding. It's up to you, man. Okay, here's the <laughs> thing. Okay, here's the Austin. thing. Hook, I, I enjoy Hook, 
but a league of their fucking own, man. Yes! Yeah. It's, it's Austin. It is literally in a league of its own. Quite literally. Uh, we're the members uh, of the All-American League. I Austin Hook just love. doesn't hook you as much. Damn Austin it. votes for a league of their own, and it moves on to the next round. Patrick, Wait, John, we tried. I didn't, hear, I didn't hear one good argument why a league of their own right. is actually a good movie. That makes me happy. I, it's I like one of the most from anybody. Yeah. movies of all yeah. time for me. Yeah. All but that's right. not an argument. That's an that, opinion. It, it actually yeah. did a lot for Braveheart. It did a lot for the baseball movies. Braveheart yeah. versus Speed. Oh. oh, yeah. This is not a competition. <laughs> so it's me yeah. first. Yes. Yeah, definitely Braveheart. Uh, Mel Gibson. It's the best movie. Um, excellent movie. Uh, it's not my favorite film in '95. Toy Story. Um, <laughs> sorry. What's it facing? Speed. Speed. Uh, Speed's a great action movie. Oh. I love. It's just a simple plot line like the bus can't go under 50 miles per hour keanu reeves and sandra bullock were great but i gotta go braveheart man braveheart i'm uh, i'm Zach? loving i'm loving how split up this uh this chat is here for uh, for braveheart. <laughs> uh but here's here's the thing speed Braveheart's is overrated. so much more simple Oof. like i i think i'm gonna have to go with speed here even though i love both of these films all right zach's going speed here john also speed. It's just a simple concept. I love Dennis Hopper as a villain. It's so rewatchable. Uh Brave Heart quiz was a hot bloated. So speed. Speed for John. Austin. God. I I adore both these movies, man. Speed is not only a great troll de great troll debut from John DuPont, but Braveheart is a phenomenal debut from Mel Gibson as a director as well. Um I did not have the intention of seeing this. Uh but was it my dad put it on for dinner? But I was like, let's watch Braveheart. I was like, sure. <laughs> I I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. And Speed, same thing. Could not take my eyes off the screen, but I got to go with Braveheart. I have to go with Braveheart. Speed is an Braveheart. amazing film. But dude, Braveheart <laughs> is one. Holy shit. All right. Braveheart for Austin. What about you, Patrick? Break the tie. One of these movies I love, and one of these movies puts me to sleep. Oh, Braveheart, God. every time I watch it, just makes me want to go... <laughs> damn you damn you <laughs> look speed is fucking so much fun and it also gave us one of the most underrated sequels of all time speed to cruise oh, control with here. willem get fucking Defoe here. is so much fun but speed is Love just it. a high mm. octane fun simple film that is just non-stop the entire time with some great action set pieces it's just it's awesome it really is yeah. I love all Hulk right. Films, Speed moves do. on because it gets Patrick's vote. What is the chat saying? Uh, they went Braveheart for sure. Yeah, so, uh, wow. Goods came really in with a hot take saying Braveheart's definitely, overrated. Definitely just you? what? Ha, Goods Leo. Braveheart's overrated. I don't agree. Uh, oh boy. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, so Speed will move on there with that uh, matchup. Two more here in bracket three. Beauty and the oh, Beast enters. The Bro. chat, and then we Let's also have Mission voice. Impossible. <laughs> Bro, yeah, this is the easiest one of the easiest matchups. I mean, I, one of these is very underrated, but the other one is so much better. All Bro. right, who's first? Uh, All right, uh, I guess I'll go first. Definitely Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, and Zach. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> He's best wearing Disney Rancher. movie of all time, best Disney villain of all time. I'm playing him at my community theater this summer. I can't nice. freaking wait. Um, Third best Disney movie Beauty of all and time. the Beast. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I dare Gully. you. I dare you to tell me Lion King is better. There's no way. Beauty and the no, Beast are all the way. No, nah, man. Fern Gully. <laughs> all right. For Beauty and the Beast for Zach. Hercules. John? Mission Impossible is not even the best Mission Impossible movie, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Oh, I agree with that. Fall out. Yeah, Beauty um, and the Beast for John. Okay, awesome. here's the thing. Mission Impossible Fall. Uh, sorry, the first movie I do love Fallout though. Don't end. Uh, I find the first movie to be very underrated. I think it's a very good Mission Impossible film, but fucking Beauty and the Beast easily. Yeah, yeah. Beauty and the Beast and Patrick. Beastly and Beauty. <laughs> yep. All right, Beauty and there the Beast. Go. Easy sweep there. Correct answers. Beauty and the Patrick. Patrick. It's scientifically proven too, yeah, by the way. Saying Beauty and the Beast, they're right there with you guys. All right, last bracket matchup here in round right. three. We have Eyes Wide Shut from 1999 Ooh. versus the last Ooh. of the Mohegans. Abstain. 
wow. abstain because I have not seen Last of the that? Mohicans. Oh, it's all right. So Zach good. has okay. it's so good. Uh, yeah. Zach hasn't seen Last of the Mohicans. Um, so we're going to start with John here. Um, okay. So I just rewatched uh, Eyes Wide Shut. Um, and it, it actually is not as great as I remembered. It's kind of a slog in a lot of ways. While The it Last is. of the Mohicans, you got the great Daniel Day Lewis. He's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to keep this uh, short and sweet, boys. I'm going to go uh, Last of the Mohicans. All right. John goes Last of the Mohicans. What about you, Austin? Here, um, what was the first movie again? I'm sorry. <laughs> what was the first movie? Eyes Wide Shut. Eyes Thank wide you. Shut. Eyes um, Wide I, Shut. I think Eyes Wide Get Eyes Wide Get Shut. Um, I think <laughs> Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> <guys, laughs> get Shut. I do think it's an Andrea Kubrick film. I mean, Kubrick's my favorite mm-hmm. director of all time, obviously, but I think a lot of people would say the same thing. But Last of the I mean, you have Michael fucking Mann directing once again, along mm-hmm. with, again, one of the greatest actors of all time, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis. I mean... That combination that right there is perfect. The movie's it's um it's not my favorite Michael Mann movie for me. That's Heat, that's Collateral, but uh I gotta go with Last Mohicans, even though I think A Wise White Shut is a very underrated movie. All right, Last of the Mohicans for Austin. What about you, Patrick? Look, Eyes Wide Shut is fine. I don't think it's top tier, you know, Kubrick. I don't think it's low tier Kubrick. I think it's just in the middle. I, it's Same. not what I hate. It's not what I love. I think it's just fine and I can watch it. And I do enjoy it. But Last of the Mohicans is so personal to me because hearing that music in that movie in particular is what made me want to play music myself and play violin. Oh. Like that theme, the... That just made me want to play the violin and need i mention like the score as a whole is beautiful but michael Mann's direction can we just mention wes studi in the movie is also really really good and you know daniel day lewis as well once again we can't not mention him like a third time last of the mohicans knows exactly the length it needs to be as well to be Mm -hmm. the movie it wants to be it's not over bloated it's not too short it's just a fucking great film overall all righty, last of the Mohicans for Patrick, and I'm the same. Definitely last of the Mohicans. One of Daniel Day Lewis's best performances, and uh, Eyes Wide Shut. I really like that movie, but I think it's too long for my liking. Yeah. So, Last of the Mohicans is just under two hours, and I can rewatch that film for sure. Mm-hmm. So, Eyes Last Wide of the Mohicans. Sh- Eyes Wide Shut is strange. It's yeah. strange. Yeah. Yeah. It's so so strange, the last of the Mohicans, Cody, moves on. Awesome. It's strange, Great. but it, it, so let's move on to I, the next I, round here in round three. So we're going to start here with let's pick Austin. Austin's oh, going to start mm-hmm. with this first mm-hmm. matchup mm-hmm. right here. We have Miller's Crossing versus Saving Private Ryan. Oh, okay. Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> like that's uh, Patrick, a Patrick, Saving Private Ryan. Private Ryan. Patrick, Saving Private Ryan. I'm Saving Private Ryan as well for sure. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Saving Private Ryan and John, abstain. But yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't. Yeah, Saving Private Ryan. All right. <laughs> um, start with uh, Patrick. Forgive me, guys, if I forget you haven't seen a movie. <laughs> um, cool. All right, uh, Patrick, you're going to start with the next matchup here. Yeah. We have the Sandlot versus Aladdin. Aladdin, come on. Oh shit. <laughs> That's a tough it's Aladdin. One. Um, that's an easy one. I'm gonna go Sandlot. Oh, oh, Aladdin. Sorry, Sandlot. I love you, but it's got to be Aladdin. Aladdin, John. Aladdin. 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 Aladdin moves on. That was easy. What did Austin? Is that what is it? Austin? Pick? Oh, I said uh, Aladdin. 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 Thank you. All right. Um, that was easy. Starting off with Ryan for this <laughs> matchup. All right. No, it was the Rocketeer movie. versus Leon the Professional. Leon the Professional. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Abstain. Uh, Zach, what a, Zach abstain, abstains. But, he hasn't seen yeah. Leon. Uh, John? Leon. Easy. Leon. Austin? Leon. 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 Patrick? I think that Dwayne Johnson is here kind of got stitched up here. Um, yeah, the Dwayne Johnson. joke. <laughs> um, <laughs> But it, it is going to be Leon. I think the Rocketeer got completely stitched up with this pairing. I'm yeah, just, I'm sorry, just... Rocketeer. Very underrated. But Leon moves on. Leon, I'm just not going to be able to unhear that. This matchup, we have Heat versus Malcolm X. Ooh. Heat. 
Upstairs. Zach, Sorry. Zach. Uh, John upstairs. Zach says heat. Uh, Austin? I got to go heat. Heat. Patrick? Heat. Yeah, I'm sorry, Malcolm X. Well on this one, Malcolm X is great, but he <laughs> John's so happy. Right? So I really am. <laughs> John for this matchup. John, um, a league of their own versus Speed. I already, oh, know, speed. John, I already know John's vote. <laughs> speed. John the said Speed. Question. Austin. That's gonna kill me, but Speed. Yes. It's gonna kill me. Yeah, speed. I know. I There's love a, a league of their own. Patrick. I'm going to uh, choose the drug. <laughs> what? Speed. Going speed. The League of Their Own. <laughs> I'll give the League of Their Own a vote, but it already lost. Zach? Uh, I think I'm going to choose the drug as well. <laughs> speed moves on. All right. Nice. Patrick, you're kind of happy. Starting of with you. Oh, fuck. Beauty and the Beast mm -hmm. versus The Last of the Mohegans. Beauty and the Beast. Zach, oh. Zach, Zach. What do you? Sorry, uh, Beauty Austin, and the Beast. Austin, Austin, yeah. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast. Patrick, honestly, Last of the Mohicans. Oh shit, Last of the Mohicans. I'm definitely Beauty and the Beast on this one, Zach. <laughs> no question. <laughs> Look, Beauty and the Beast. Look at his shirt. Yeah, and, 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 and yeah, also Beauty and the Beast. And John, John, Beauty and the Beast definitely moves on. I mean, that's an obvious one. So right is along just now. Personal. Patrick, starting with you. Saving Private Ryan versus Aladdin. Oh, come God on. Damn it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Saving Who's Private first? Ryan. All right, Patrick. Patrick. All right. Saving Private Ryan for me. What did Patrick vote for? I Saving Private Ryan. Uh, Zach. <sighs> Saving Private Ryan. Sorry, Aladdin. Saving Private Ryan. John? Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Parker. Ryan. And Austin? Matt Damon. Saving Private Ryan sweep. All right. Starting with you, Ryan. Okay. Leon the Professional versus Heat. Heat. Oh. I got to go with Heat on this one. Oh. Zach? Well, I have to abstain because Leon. Oh my, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. John. John. Um, shit. <laughs> he looks so confused there for a I'm second. I'm so like, oh, he, <laughs> tough, I guess, man. I guess, you know what? No, no. Leon the professional. Oh, Boom. shit. All right. Leon the professional. I'm going for it. I'm going for Aust it. Austin. Going for broke. <laughs> Motherfucking heat. Motherfucking heat. 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 And Patrick. Look, my vote would go to Heat, but I see the chat's already going to vote for Heat. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I would go for Leon, but the chat's already voting Heat, so the tie's going to bring it to that anyway, so I'm just going to say Heat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> because like of the Leon chat, more. he would have gone Leon, but Heat moves on. <clears throat> I yep. do like Leon more, but I saw the chat, and I'm like, yeah. Heat via peer pressure. All right, yep. starting with Zach on this Yo. one. Speed versus Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, next. <laughs> I mean, I would. Shirt. Yeah. I mean, in this case, I would go for the drug, but I mean, in this case, I've got to go for uh, the big manly man with a thick as neck as with a thick neck as like a whole six pack of cores. Yeah, All Beauty right, and the Be Beast. Beauty and the Beast for Zach. Uh, John, I'm gonna go speed. Speed. It's awesome. just a I love it. I, it's I've watched it way more recently than Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I don't care. I'm sorry, Zach. Speed. Speed. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, good. Patrick. Uh, me. I'm Heroin. sorry. <laughs> you guys are the worst. Beauty <laughs> 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 and the Beast. Of... <laughs> you get the. Oh, Look, man. Patrick, did speed, you go speed yet? Goes from an speed. elevator to a bus wow. to a train. How do you not love that? Whoa, Beauty and the Beast goes from a fucking enchanted Patrick, forest to an enchanted castle. Oh yeah, I said God. speed. He said speed. speed. Okay. Okay. It's so, I'm sorry, Zach. I would have gone Beauty and the Beast too, but speed moves on. Unbelievable. Rigged. <laughs> wow. Rigged. Hold on, an upset. Oh my God. Uh, sure. Rigged right, just like next? Super Bowl 40. Alrighty, well, we have our final four, movies, you, Zach. final four movies Schindler's List, 
Oh, now, boy. oh Schindler's in. List. Here we go. Schindler's List enters on in. So we are going to start with John. All right. John. Yes. Schindler's List versus Saving Private Ryan. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Battle of Steven Spielberg. Wow. <laughs> Saving wow. Private Ryan. Wow. Yeah, Saving oh, Private Ryan. Wow. We're watchable. All right, uh, he said Saving Private Ryan. All right, um, Austin. I'm so excited. Saving Private Ryan. Schindler's List is the more important movie. I'm sorry. Did you, did you say oh, sorry? Private um, Ryan? Yeah, I said uh, Schindler's List. Schindler's List for Austin. Yeah, it's the more important movie. I, I can't. I can't. I can't go against it. All right, Patrick. Schindler's List. Wow. Schindler's List. All right, so now I can talk about Schindler's List because this is a first time watch for me. Masterpiece. What? Yeah, oh, that's right. You mentioned that earlier. Yeah, I loved it. Loved it from start to finish. So I'm going Schindler's List here. Wow. Because... Ray wow. Fiennes, dude, Ray wow. Fiennes should have won that fucking. Yeah, Oscar. Ray Fiennes was terrifying. <laughs> Just snuck in right in there, huh? But, um, what's no. his name? But, but Liam Neeson um, as Oscar was he Schindler. Yeah, and was he nominated uh, for Oscar Schindler? Ben Kingsley too. No, I don't think he was. Uh, yeah, I'm going Schindler's List on this one. I think it's an important film. Yeah, yeah look, can is. we just commend Stop. Steven Spielberg real quick? Because these yeah. are two freaking masterpieces yeah. here. And yeah, he, he made, won Oscars for both. Yeah, He made Schindler's List and Jurassic Park within the same calendar year. Think Which about that, nuts. guys. And weren't they both nominated for Best Picture, too? No, Jurassic Park was not. Schindler's it List was actually Schindler's won. Schindler's List won Best Picture. I thought Jurassic Park was... I think, I think it might have been nominated for Best Visuals, but I could be very it, yeah, wrong. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. But, God, I would have gone with Saving Private Ryan O'Toole, but I have to do uh, Schindler's <laughs> List here. <laughs> All right. Schindler's List moves yeah. on. All righty. That kills me to take off Saving Let's Private Ryan. Let's um, start with Austin. All right. Heat versus Speed. Heat. Ooh. All right. Austin's Heat. first. Come on. Heat. He just said heat. heat. Yep. Okay, heat. Yeah. Patrick. Heroin. <laughs> what? <laughs> Speed. Speed for Patrick. Um, I'm definitely going heat on this one. You're gonna fucking kill me over here, dude. All right, Zach. This vote really decides like where it goes, because I know where John's vote's going. I'm sharing needles with Patrick. <laughs> yes! Yeah. No! Big buddies! Sharing needles with Patrick. Jesus. Well, in that case, you know what? I'm going heat. Screw it. Yes! Heat for Zach. Yes! John, you were to win speed, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Speed. But we can just do it behind the dumb stick together. Heat moves on to the finals. Yes! I'm not mad. Heat's great. Yes! Yeah, yeah, heat's good. Said. Heat really and. Good. Yeah. No Here hair is one for you, Patrick. For <laughs> bracket three, we're going to start with Patrick Schindler's List versus Heat. All right, this decides Schindler. bracket three. Schindler's List is the better film. Schindler's All List right. is the better Sh film. Schindler's List for Patrick. Yeah, I'm in the same ballpark. Definitely Schindler's <laughs> List. Love Heat, though. Uh, yeah, Zach? Heat. Yeah. Austin, we have to put it out of its misery. Heat made it this far for a damn good reason, but Schindler's List is an unbelievable masterpiece. One of the best films ever made. It's got to be that one. Schindler's List for Zach. Uh, John? Heat. Heat for John. Wow. Uh, and Austin. I'm sorry, Heat. I love you, but Schindler's List is literally the most important film out there. I have to right. Schindler's List. Yep. And Schindler's List I'll be has right won back. Bracket, three. bracket three. And it's moving God, on to the that final God, killed four. me to get... Alrighty. It killed me Did to take heat out. I could have saved more. Here? I could have saved much more. Mm -hmm. All oh, right, that God. musical school, and, though. Uh, Holy crap, shit. man. John Williams, the GOAT. Yes, very good. I think for timing's sake, we won't be able to go into full thoughts. Yeah, bracket. so this is the no final worries. bracket, no guys. Give your brief, quick thoughts on each movie so we can finish this up. Sure. All right, are we all ready to do the final bracket? Oh, it's hell the yeah. Final count, count. yeah exactly. da, da, da. All right, the final number one seed here in is T2 count. Judgment Day. Oh, yes. yes. So boom, 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 boom. That will jump boom, all the way to the final all right. all right, I don't see Zach there for the moment. So he's getting room service. Oh, he's name? getting some uh, Oreo blizzards. Maybe. But uh, let's <laughs> start with the... We'll start with His the first arrived. matchup here. We'll start with you, Ryan. 
We have Unforgiven from 1992 <laughs> oh. versus Toy Story 2 from oh. 1999. Okay, so Unforgiven. Uh, first time watch for me. Great. Great movie. Definitely deserve Best Picture. Clint Eastwood and Morgan Freeman. A freaking Western. Gene Hackman, though, stole the whole Next. movie. Right? <laughs> Richard Harris. Uh, but you guys know me. I'm going Toy Story 2. I grew up with Toy Story 2. It's... I love uh, everything about Toy Story 2. I still prefer the first one, but that's just my opinion. So, yeah, for me, it's got to be Toy Story 2. What about you, Zach? Oh, yeah. I'm just coming in and seeing this first this first matchup on the bracket here because um, I'm dealing with a room service situation here at my hotel right now. But Did uh, you deal it, treat you good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, with all <laughs> Give my me the mess. Um, <laughs> you know, the hero you need. Okay. Um, Unforgiven, yeah, one best picture in 1992. Um yeah, like I mentioned earlier, Toy Story 2 is better than the first one, so I'm going to go with that one. Oh, wow. Oh, and Toy Story 2 for Zach. John? I mean, Unforgiven is like one of the best all-time Westerns, and I don't even think Toy Story 2 is the best in the franchise, so I'm going Unforgiven. Unforgiven for John. Austin? Yeah, I'm going with John. I, I'm, I, Toy Story 2 for me is the weakest one, although I do enjoy it a lot. Mm -hmm. I got to go with Unforgiven. Yeah. Four for me. Uh, Unforgiven for Austin. For what about you, Patrick? Oh, uh, Zach Pope, if you're watching this, you're going to kill me, but Toy Story 2 is bottom five Pixar films. <laughs> uh, what? So I'm going to have to go with one Sorry, of the Zach. best Westerns wow. ever made with Richard Harris, Gene what? Hackman, Morgan Freeman, what and you just say? It's he says bottom five Pixar Toy Story 2, Cody. What do you have to you say? You know what? I can get behind oh, that. Actually. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Unforgiven <laughs> moves Zach on. Wow. If okay. Zach Pope is That's watching us right now, he's okay. going to send All right. a bomb um, to the mail. Next matchup. Yeah, be prepared. Starting with uh, Zach here. Scream, 1996 oh, this versus Titanic, 1997. That's tough, I mean, I know what I'm what's the 1997 one? God damn you Titanic. again. Titanic. You wanna, okay. You want to talk about two All right, polar freaking opposites here. Yeah. Yeah. Polar um, opposites? I know, right? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> polar oh. opposites? Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> yes. And the pun was just for you, Patrick. Thank um, you very much, Zach. I'm here all night. I just noticed it myself. <laughs> what is all this Titanic being overrated bullshit in the chat right now? I know, now? right? Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, I'm, because I'm, James Cameron made Avatar. Screw it. I'm no. going Titanic. Avatar's fucking overrated. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm going Titanic. Titanic for Zach. John? Uh, I'm going to Scream. I personally love that movie so damn much. It redefined the horror genre. And I find Scream uh, Titanic to be an overrated romantic. Uh, who gives a fuck? Uh, Scream. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Scream for John. Austin? I love Titanic, but doing what John said, um, Scream literally revitalized the horror genre. Hey, Lily, All right. Go, Scream, Scream for, for Austin. Austin. And everything else. Scream yeah. for Austin. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, I already know when he's going. <laughs> Fuck, Titanic is an overbloated meme fest. That movie is so memeable. I laugh my ass off whenever I watch that movie, especially the I'm gonna paint you like one of my French girls. <laughs> <laughs> That's mom's favorite movie of all time, sir. Oh, yeah, baby. Like, come on. <laughs> Scream and for like, Patrick. It's Scream. Come on. Scream was the first time I'm watched for me. Tonight, it's by the way, I'm good. seeing it in a couple hours. Nah, oh, you the first screen was a, okay. I gotta go. I was gonna go Titanic on this one. Uh, the first screen was a first time watch for me. I really liked it. What? Sorry. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> um, but Titanic's great. I know it's really long. I will say though, Jack's death was pretty stupid. Um, but Scream, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It was quite polarizing, if you ask me. Yeah. All right. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna go Titanic, but Scream does move on to the next round. Hell yeah. yeah. You're you're really tempting me to just reorder room service so I could just John like escape these puns. John is going first. We have Men in Black Ooh. versus Casino. Oh. Got the Men in Black. John. So who's first? Oh, oh, John. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. Jesus Christ. Um. Casino. Yes, my son. Yeah. Casino. Ooh. I love it in black, Casino. Ooh, Casino for John. Uh, Austin? Both films are great, but I got to go with Men in Black. Men in Black for Austin. Okay. Yeah. Patrick? I love myself a good sci-fi film like Men in Black, but I, I have to agree with John. I have to go Casino. Casino, was casino for Patrick. Yeah, I'm going to go Men in Black here. Uh, really love mm -hmm. that movie. 
just fun 90s blockbuster action. Uh, and Casino, it's not one of my favorite Scorsese films. Same. I do think it's fantastic. It though. is my favorite Love. Scorsese film. Oh, oh wow. wow. Nice. Can, can, I just wow. Say the can I just say wow. real quick that the scene yeah, where she has to watch like his son being murdered in the field is the oh, most yeah. disturbing, oh, most hard to watch scene yeah. I've ever seen. So good. I still can't so watch good. it. I kind of have to not. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to go. Yeah. All right, Zach. I think. I actually think Casino is better than Goodfellas. Uh, Men in Black Holy is very shit. fun. Um, God, again, two very different movies to pick from. Um, but even though Will Smith is very fun to watch, Tommy Lee Jones is a great leader in Men in Black. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's the only real amazing Men in Black film. Literally, Men in Black International, I fell asleep in the theater. Oh, God. <laughs> like, it was so bad. Not but... Bad, I'm gonna go with Casino here. Actually, might be a shocker, but wow. that's what I'm gonna go with. All right, Casino moves on to the next tried, round. Right, Men in Black is out. I tried. Yeah, we tried. I feel like I've been on the minority most of the night. <laughs> Not about that. Up Wait, so what's out? Gonna be Austin. We have Independence Day from 1996 Ooh. versus <laughs> The Mask from 1990. <laughs> this is probably this is probably the weirdest matchup. I don't like okay. either of these films. Same. <laughs> it's Same. Okay. Who's first? It's oh, not as oh, weird as whatever the hell Ace Ventura Austin's was up against. First. All right, Austin, what do you got, man? I fucking love the mask and I love Independence Day. Um you know what? I'm gonna go with the mask here. I'm actually gonna go Ooh. with the mask. Yeah, All I right. mean, Independence Day is a great time, but man, the mask is so much more entertaining, I think. All right, the mask for Austin. Uh, Patrick, let's hear your thoughts. I don't like either of these fucking films. One of them's <laughs> extremely annoying, and one of them's just monotonous. <laughs> but in the end, I'm just going to go down to the fact of which one has better fucking VFX, and that has to be Independence Day. Like, they, right. How they actually built miniatures and blew <laughs> shit up and slowed it down with higher frame rates is incredible. Independence Day for Patrick. Uh, yeah, I'm the same. I'll go Independence Day. Yeah, I love fair. that speech at the end, and Will Smith, too. Yes. The mask. Welcome it's not Earth. one of not one of my more rewatchable Jim Carries. Uh, Zach, Zach, Independence you? Day for days. Honestly, this is so much more fun to watch than the mask. I don't dislike the mask. I just kind of find it like I, I don't want to say I don't want to keep using the word annoying to describe it because it's Jim Carrey. But I mean, it's yeah. Independence Day wins this. What's her name? Right. She was hot in it. Yeah, Cameron Diaz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so John, Day. John, what about you, man? In, Independence Day. And with Jeff Goldblum Day. already just like moves on up. So Independence Day. Independence Day <laughs> I gets the, the majority. I tried. <laughs> All righty. Independence Day is moving on. Up next, starting, let's go with Patrick here. We okay. have Lock Stock, Two Smoking Barrels from 98 yeah. versus Jackie Brown from 98. Yeah, this is easy. <laughs> Patrick. Yeah, Lock Stock, Two Smoking you know. Barrels. Ooh. All right, Patrick's going lock to stu ah, lock <laughs> two lock smoking stew. barrel. Yeah. Um lock stock and two smoking strikes. Um I'm definitely team Jackie Brown. I think that's the most underrated Tarantino film. I love Pam Greer in that. Such an all-star cast. Recipes to Robert Forrester. Such yeah, yeah. so great in that movie. Michael Keaton, Robert De Niro, uh Chris Samuel Tucker. L. Jackson, Chris Tucker. Um, I gotta go with Jackie Brown here. Zach, oh, wow. <sighs> Jackie Brown is good, um, but I think I'm gonna go the Chicago route, and I'm gonna say we all reached for the gun there. Lock stock and two yeah. smoking barrels. Lock stock for Zach, John. I'm gonna go Jackie Brown. I, I think I love seeing uh, De Niro in like this really like weird character they've playing, and Sam Jackson. Yeah. It's peak Sam Jackson that people oh, don't yeah. know about Austin. this movie. Criminal. So Jackie yeah. Brown. Jackie Brown for John. And what about Austin. you, Austin? Break the tie. I do like Jackie Brown. I, oh, God. I don't I don't think it's Tarantino's best, but man, Lockstock comes out smoking, quite literally smoking, and it ends yep. on a smoking note. I that Lockstock. Lockstock. Lockstock moves on. Lockstock. <laughs> Lockstock. <laughs> That's the uh what is right. it, the Chinese remake? Up next matchup. We're gonna go back to Ryan here. Okay. Okay. Back no. to you. Blade, 1998, <laughs> versus the Green Mile. I didn't hear the second one. What? Green Mile. Green Mile, for sure. Green Mile. Jeez, it's, a, it's the Green Mile. It's okay. the follow-up to the Shawshank Redemption. Uh, Michael Clark Duncan, amazing in that movie. Yeah, Tom Hanks, 
Uh, it's probably one of the most. Uh, do I hear a? Uh, um, it's a, is it long? Yeah, but it's the green light. No, it's not me. that. It's not that. Uh, it's yeah. What's so okay, easy we'll about this, Zach? Boy, hey, man. I I just don't understand what's Look, so easy about you'll this matchup. Find, you'll find out of mind. Um, I mean, at least this at least this blade here was not Blade Trinity with Triple H as the villain. But I'll uh, give you that. I mean, <laughs> oh, God, yeah, uh, yeah. As the wrestling fan, it made me very very sad to see. I hope Triple H gets better soon. But uh, oh God, I mean, if I'm going off of like what I liked more, <laughs> I would say Green Mile between these two. Um, mm -hmm. just because it's another Stephen King, and I was more invested in the story. I would argue it's Michael Clark Duncan's best performance of his very yeah. very. Uh, stored career, which was unfortunately cut short, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna go Green Mile. Green Mile for Zach. John, here's a very good kingpin, by the way. Some yes, motherfuckers are always, <laughs> some motherfuckers are always trying to skate uphill. Um, John? I love Blade. It's one of those like early Marvel movies. I, I, it's one of, probably one of Wesley Snipes' greatest movies. Definitely Stephen Dorff's best. Um, yeah. but the Green Mile. Forget Tom Hanks. You're right. Michael Clark Duncan brings mm -hmm. it home. So Green Mile. Green Mile for mm -hmm. John. Austin, Blade's grip. I think Blade Two is better personally for me. I agree. Um, I agree. Green, Blade two. dude, and the Green Mile though. It's what? It's over. It's just. It's just over three hours. I think. Right. Yeah, just over three yeah. hours. But man, that entire film. I saw for the first time last year. That final fifteen minutes. I was on a call with a couple buddies of mine. I was crying like a baby, dude. Oh God, tear. Top tier, Stephen King. Green yeah, Mile for Austin, Patrick. I give the comic book genre a lot of shit these days because every film I see seems to be very similar, if not the same, just retread. And I've talked about this with a lot of people. It's not that I don't love them, um, like them, it's just that I find them very repetitive. But Blade is one of those unique early Marvel films that I really, really enjoy. Mm -hmm. And even though I think Blade 2 is slightly better, especially with people like fucking Ron Perlman being in it, Blade is still a great film. The Green Mile, on the other hand, is one of the most emotionally distraught movies yeah. I've ever seen. I oh, am yeah. in fucking tears every time I watch that film, and I'm an emotional wreck. And I'm not someone who usually cries in movies. Like, I laughed when the dog died in fucking Red Dog, for God's sake. Um... <laughs> But the Green Mile, that moment where he's like, no, don't put that over my head. Oh, God. Oh, my oh, God. Everybody's I mean, watching that movie for the first time. Fuck the sake. The lights on, boss. Right. So Green Mile for yeah. Patrick. It easily moves on. All righty. Uh, Next matchup here. We're going to start with Zach on this one. We have Fargo, 1996 oh. versus The Sixth Sense. Easy. Ninety nine. Fucking hate it, old. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jack. Oh, well, we're not. oh, that Whoa. was your number one, wasn't it? I well, hated old. Wow. Well, we're not, we're not talking old about too. old we're today. Not, but Zach, uh, thank God. Like, <laughs> hey, I like the character Toyota Corolla. I <laughs> I enjoy Fargo, um, but I think that just in terms of pure filmmaking, I think it's got to be the sixth sense. Mm. Um, the thing is, like, still to this very day, when people are sat down to watch that movie for the first time, if they don't know what freaking happens at the end. Um, they tend to guess the plot twist, and sometimes I'll be showing it to friends, and I just won't tell them the plot twist, even if they guess it halfway through. I'm like, yeah, I just you just gotta keep watching, and then the plot twist freaking happens, and then they're like, you said such and such doesn't happen, and I'm like, well, yeah, because that would ruin the fun. So yeah, no six cents, <laughs> easy six six cents for Zach. What about you, John? I have to go Fargo. Steve Buscemi is amazing in that movie. Oh, I, yes. I love the dialogue. The dialogue is top tier. The Sixth Sense is good. It doesn't have a lot of rewatch value for me. Um, it, it's probably the best Shyamalan movie, I guess. But it doesn't hold a candle to Fargo, so I'm going Fargo easily. It's I, I love it. Fargo for John Austin. Personally, I think Unbreakable is tied with this with the Sixth Sense as Shyamalan's best. I I love Unbreakable, but yeah, like I mentioned, I Fargo is my favorite Coen Brothers movie. The wood chipper scene alone, come on, yeah, um, <laughs> dude, I, I love Fargo. It's easily for me that one. Uh, Fargo you for Austin. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, uh, Patrick. <laughs> Look, I love Fargo. I think it is, you know, one of the Coen brothers' best, like Ethan and Joel Cohen. But like, and it also has like some of the best performances from William H Macy, Steve Buscemi, and Peter Stormare, and a great performance from Francis McDormand. The but face. the Sixth Sense, on the other hand, was just something that I hadn't seen before. I watched it at a um, 
an older age than most would have. Um, but it's one of those films that I constantly show people. And, you know, if they guess the ending, I don't tell them because I think it's just one of those best endings out there with that big twist reveal. And, you know, my fr- it's one of those movies that whenever I introduce people to it, it's like the best fucking experience. So I'm going to have to go to Sixth Sense. All right. Patrick goes to Sixth Sense. And now it's up to me to break the tie. Yep. Uh, Fargo, I love Fargo. It's not my favorite uh, Coen Brothers. That would be No Country for Old Men. Oh, um, mm-hmm. So I'm going to go with The Sixth Sense here. Um, great movie. It's not my favorite Shyamalan. That would be Unbreakable, as someone said in the chat. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, I just love the plot twist, of course. In just Tony Collette's great movie. That too. Yeah, yes, Tony Collette is. was amazing. Um, Please do not but, overlook Tony Collette. She was great. Yeah, yeah um, mm-hmm. definitely The Sixth Sense for me. Haley Joel Osment. Yes. Amazing performance. All right. So the sixth sense does move on here. All right. I see you. Um, Next, we have John starting this next matchup. We have Total Recall from 1990 versus Tombstone in 1993. It's Um, it's easy. All right. John. I'm going to have to go Tombstone. It's just a better movie. I'll be your Huckleberry. It's just, it's just so many great scenes in it. I love Val Kilmer, Kurt Russell. Total Recall is great, but I think I could think of a couple of better Schwarzenegger sci-fi movies. So I'm going to go Tombstone. Yeah. I'll keep it short. All right. John is going Tombstone. Austin? Tombstone is great. I love Tombstone. I think it's one of the best Westerns out there, but I got to go Total Recall. Total, total Recall. Patrick? Mm-hmm. Give me a it's as simple as this. You choose the movie with the three-breasted woman or the Western. <laughs> I choose the three-breasted woman. I choose Total Recall. I, just I love the, that reason. Total oh, Recall for Patrick. <laughs> Why don't you stick at this? Why don't you stick at this up in your nose? It don't stop till you hear the crunch. I'm going Total Recall. One of my favorite Arnold movies. Tombstone's very good, too, but I, I could like, Fuck you guys. watch Total Recall. Well, Zach, well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I listen. I there are so many better Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, like yeah. that are better than Total Recall. And all, it's, don't, coming, don't, it's coming up. Don't don't get me wrong. <laughs> like hearing hearing Arnold just scream at the top of his lungs, like yeah, it never gets old. Um, I mean, Can this is it. kind of a moot point, but I'm gonna be voting for on Tombstone just because, again, oh. like John said, it's the better movie. It so is yeah. Tombstone for Zach. Is- but Great. Total Recall gets the majority vote from us. It does. Yeah. It does. That was close. Hello, as, um... on. Let's head over to the next matchup. Starting, um, who's next? I don't even know. Uh, I think it might be Austin. Oh, okay. it's Austin. Yeah. Okay. All right, Austin, here we are. We have The Silence of the Lambs from 1991 oh. versus The Usual Suspects. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh boy. Mm-hmm. Go okay. ahead, Austin. So here's the thing. Guys, I'm so sick. Both these movies, I love them. The Usual Suspects has one of the best twist endings oh, yeah. ever. Guys are so sick. But Silence of the Lambs, that has one of the best performances I've ever seen from Anthony Hopkins. Um, and the, the Fava Beans. Uh, and Jodie Foster. I, the, his I, I honestly have to go with Silence of the Lambs here. Um, it's one of my favorite movies, period. And The Usual, the Usual Suspects is amazing, but... God, I have to go Silence of the Lambs here. Silence of the Lambs for Austin. What yeah. about you, Patrick? I think they're both great films. Um, but I think Silence of the Lambs is, you know, more memorable. I also yeah. think it's more commendable as one of the only horror films to ever win Best Picture. Yeah, And also right. Anthony yeah. Hopkins won his Best uh, Actor. Well, Supporting Actor, I'll scare for that as well. Yeah. And the also follow-up. Usual Sus... Yes. And um, <laughs> what is it? The Usual Suspects also features... Um, Spicy. It's really um, tasty, so, hasn't it? Yeah. I ate, I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> Definitely Silence of the Lambs. And yeah. Buffalo Bill. We can't forget Buffalo Bill. Put the lotion in the um, basket. Put the fucking lotion in the basket! What a uh, crazy Zach, motherfucker. I mean... Yes, I, I for one. Silence would, of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. I yeah. for, I for one would love to forget about Buffalo Bill just because that's an image <laughs> that's always terrifying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the usual suspects is. 
The Usual Suspects <laughs> is a really great mystery. That's for damn sure. Um, yeah. And, you know, the big plot twist of the movie is one that a lot of people like to forget, unfortunately, because of who's involved. But uh, yeah. let's face it. Silence of the Lambs is one of the best movies ever. Yeah. You know, it won Best mm-hmm. Picture for a reason. Anthony Hopkins, one of the greatest performances of all time. Jodie Foster also won Best Actress that year, which was well-deserved. Um, right. Yeah. It's, I mean, Silence of the Lambs it has to be. Silence of the Lambs for Zach. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's it. Z- John, did you go? Um, I'll go real quick. I mean, it's pretty easy. I think they're both phenomenal films. I'm trying to go back in my memory before the whole Kevin Spacey thing and try to judge it that way a little bit. <laughs> oh, uh, I they're, both, they're both great. But at the end of the day, I do think The Silence of the Lambs is a better crafted film. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's more polished. The acting's better. Um, not to short chains of the usual suspects, but Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Silence of the Lambs easily from us. All right, great. Silence of the Lambs moves on. We're going to start with Patrick for this matchup right here. We have Hercules from 1997 and Dason Confused from 1993. All right, all right, all right. All right, right, Patrick. Look, I love me some insane Danny DeVito as a fucking half goat, half dwarf. (laughs) (laughs) So therefore, I'm going to go Hercules. Look, it's not the greatest Disney movie in the world, but it's, it's criminally underrated and it has some of the best music in that soundtrack it also has a very pure and heartfelt story in my opinion i really enjoy hercules and the go the distance number alone is just fucking zero to hero as well zero to hero hero. Mm -hmm. i fucking love hercules yeah hercules for uh awesome um Patrick. Sorry, Patrick. Yeah, for Patrick. Patrick. I'm um, definitely Hercules as well. Dazed and confused. All right, all right, all right. Matthew McConaughey. But Hercules was one of my childhood favorites too. All the songs are great. Hercules. Great. I'm going Hercules. What about yeah. you, Zach? Well, listen. It's not like my vote matters in this round because I know where Austin's going with this at this point. Oh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> let me just uh, let me just say this. I'm gonna. I mean, I'll just bite the bullet and be a martyr and say Days of Confused just because you <laughs> assholes voted out Beauty and the Beast. But, uh, you know I mean, what? yeah. So here's the thing with Hercules Welcome. <laughs> that I'd like to point out, guys. Um, it's definitely a very fun film, but there's not a lot of things that mesh together that really make sense to me. Like the Vegas style with the Greek mythology. I'm like, okay, this is kind can of you, weird but, stylistic I- choice. But can't you but, say the same thing about porn and it's still entertaining? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yeah, he's not wrong. But uh, <laughs> Dwayne Johnson is the real Hercules. Yeah, you yeah. wish. 2014 shitty Legend of oh, Hercules God. film. That movie sucks. Um, but, well, 2014 I mean, fucking yeah. Legend yeah. Days and Confused. Days and Confused for Zach. Uh, John? I'm with Zach. I think it's a better made movie. It's like the precursor for things like super bad and all these great films. It's just a great <laughs> hangout movie. And we don't get a lot of great hangout movies. It's a day in the life. And Hercules is fine. It's just, I love days and confused. So days and confused days and confused for John uh, and Austin. I mean, it's my, I think my, I think my answer is pretty obvious, but I will say this. I think days and confused is slightly overpraised. Always like mm. I, school of rock for me is my favorite uh, rich link later movie. Yes. Yeah. I agree. But man, yes. I can watch Hercules over and over and over again. I might be biased because I love because I'm a nut about speak clearly. I'm a nut, I'm a nut about Greek mythology, but God, is that movie so? It's my favorite Disney movie. It actually is my favorite Disney movie. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, Hercules for Austin. Yay. All right, Hercules moves on. Woo-hoo. All right, up next, um, we are going to who are we starting with here? Who's next? Me. You. Yeah. All right, Ryan, well, we're you're here. up for this first matchup. Here we have Batman Returns oh, from 1992 and Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. I know what John's going. Yeah, Pulp Fiction. I love love Batman Returns very much, but Pulp Fiction. It's Pulp Fiction. All right, Zach, what about you? Okay, so I'm going Pulp Fiction here, but I got to commend to Batman Returns on, you know, just how dark and brooding it was as like opposed to its predecessor Um, ended very much on a somber note. And I really love that. Um, But here's the thing. Pulp Fiction is not the best Quentin Tarantino film, in my opinion. I agree. It really isn't. I'm I'm going Unchained. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Django Unchained. I could watch that any day of the week. It's the best one. Pulp Fiction. Bastards. (laughs) 
Um, so pulp. Fiction I need a hundred Nancy scalps now. Pulp Fiction for Zach. Um, John. I love Batman Returns. Like Patrick was kind of leading me into that. I do. I will die on that hill. I think it's better than the first one in a lot of ways. I agree. I love the the, I the, agree. the messed up toxic relationship that Bruce yeah. and Selena have. Like when they're dancing together and she's crying. It's like you can take the Penguin out and it's an even better film. Mm-hmm. But it's Pulp Fiction. Like you had to match it up with Pulp Fiction. So, and I don't have to explain why Pulp Fiction is great. But God, this is painful. Pulp Fiction. Mm-hmm. Very painful for John, but he's going Pulp Fiction. Austin? I agree that Batman Returns is better than the first Timber and Batman. But to quote this movie, and to quote what I was trying to say in the previous round, English motherfucker, do you speak it? Uh, yeah, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> say what again? Yeah. Say What's what again? What ever heard of? Yeah, Pulp yeah. Fiction. <laughs> yes, Please, Pulp would be nice. Fiction. Yes, and Patrick. Batman Returns. I'm sorry. I oh, wow. I, I talked Batman to John about Returns. this a couple weeks ago when I first because I'd never seen Pulp Fiction until Ryan approached me for this, um, and I watched Where it. Where have you been? Um, <laughs> I just went. I don't get it. I didn't enjoy it. Didn't find it entertaining. And then John said to me, "Maybe you just need to watch it a second time." Blah blah blah. And I'm like, "All right, I'll yeah, give it another blah, blah. watch." Then I watched it again, and I'm still like don't get it i just didn't find it very fun it's not that there's anything wrong with the film i still think it's really well made and i think there are great performances i think it's well written i just didn't find it all that enjoyable it's how i feel about back to the future i think it's well made i just Mm. don't find it enjoyable and in that case preference wise i'd prefer batman returns for that reason Mm. wow you know what i'm changing my answer i'm going back to batman returns fuck it i'm with you (laughs) we'll go go down together moves on (laughs) home fiction moves on all righty and the next matchup we have here and actually the final two films we're gonna welcome into the tournament here are starting with zach on this matchup reservoir dogs from 92 versus the big lebowski oh Where's the money, Lebowski? I mean, uh, come on. Zach, 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 let's start with you, man. I mean, come on, dude. The answer's got to be on. obvious here. <laughs> uh, yeah, Big Lebowski is one of the best comedies out there. Uh, Reservoir yeah. Dogs was a great introduction to who Quentin Tarantino was going to be yeah. as a filmmaker and who he turned into, but you got to go with the dude here. You have to. Jeff the Bridges, one of my favorite performances of all time. Yeah. It's great. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, the Big Lebowski for Zach. John? Uh, I agree. The Big Lebowski. The same way that I was like all in on Days of Confused. It's a great hangout movie. It doesn't have to like stick to a plot. The characters are what really drive it. Um, John Goodman <laughs> is yeah, fantastic in this movie. Oh my god! Oh, no. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, I'll get you to <laughs> two o'clock. <laughs> it's Steve Buscemi, like all of it. Like, and I would like my undies back. No, but they're it fucks with the Jesus. It is such a great film. It is such a great film. It is so quotable. The, mm-hmm. the main three characters are fantastic. Not to mention all the characters they interact along the way. Um, oh, I, I like Reservoir it, Dogs. Um, I think Steve Samuel Buscemi is yeah. really good in that, but I have to go Big Lebowski. It's so great. It's mm. so much fun. Big all the dude Lebowski rug bash. John. Yeah. <laughs> um, Austin? I do love Reservoir Dogs, but again, Big Lebowski, the dude abides. <laughs> the dude does abide. He's yeah. going to Big Lebowski. Gonna, yeah. oh Patrick? I mean, come on. The Big Lebowski is one of the most quotable movies of mm-hmm. all time. Whenever I'm in an argument with someone or like I've had people owe me money, I literally send them fucking text saying, where's the fucking money, Lebowski? <laughs> I literally do that. Uh, Dude, the Big Lebowski is one of my most rewatched movies whenever it's on fucking Netflix. And I actually like always get recommended whenever it's back on Netflix for that reason, even mm. though I own the Blu-ray outside and I can just go grab the Blu-ray. But... Dude. You know, well, that's that's like I've, your I've also opinion. used like shut the fuck up Donnie with a lot of people too. The it's, fucking it's ashes yeah. scene is <laughs> the ashes oh, scene yeah. every time. Well, the funniest can we just eulogy talk about ever. John Totoro though as Jesus. <laughs> nobody nobody fucks with the Jesus. Anyway, guys That's right, man. <laughs> well that's right. Well that's your opinion, man. Uh definitely the big Lebowski for man, me. The fucking here. If you oh, could right. if you could call a eulogy funny, it would be in the big Lebowski. Oh yeah. I know those boys and numb. 
<laughs> All right, Cody, what's about? the chat saying? Uh, I mean, yeah, Big Lebowski swept that one. But now yeah. it's time to get into the semifinal rounds. Ooh. All right, so Ooh. we're starting with John here for this first matchup. All right, John's going Already first. Done. Unforgiven versus Scream. Oh, Scream. Damn it. Scream for John. Austin? Unforgi unforgiven. Unforgiven. Yeah. Patrick. That kills me. Scream. Right Scream. Scream. I'm going to go Unforgiven. Ooh, Zach. Oh, Zach, Don't let us down, man. Come on. Come on. <laughs> uh, I'm going with Scream. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Scream right. moved on. There we go. All right. I, I love Unforgiven, but come on. I can't go yeah. on All right. Starting with Austin for this matchup. Shit. Here we go. All right. Casino versus Independence Day. Casino. <laughs> be quick. Austin's casino. Patrick, <laughs> casino. <laughs> I'm casino. I'm casino as well. Zach. Casino. Oh, Obviously, sorry. Casino. Casino. <laughs> casino. Casino. Yeah. Casino. He's easily sweep. Casino. All right. Starting with Patrick on this matchup. Lockstock, two smoke and barrels versus the Green Mile. <laughs> Come Fuck on. Me. The you said lock stock and two smoking turn. barrels, and I got so oh, happy. Patrick's I got turn. so happy when Patrick. he said lock stock, and then I heard Green Mile, and I'm like, well, fuck. All right, it's Green Mile. <laughs> green Mile for Patrick. Uh, green Mile for me. Uh, Zach? Uh, what do I have more fun watching? Do I pop in the Green Mile oh. Blu ray? No, I pop in the freaking gun Blu ray. Lock stock. Easy. Lock stock for Zach. Uh, John? I'm gonna go Lockstock. I really enjoy oh. Hey, oh Austin, it's up to you, man. Austin, Austin. Come on, Austin. <laughs> All right, Lockstock, take a hike. Green Mile. Oh, yes. oh Green oh, Mile. I, I love Lockstock. I love Lockstock, but Green Mile takes it. Hang on, why is Phantom Menace? All right, we're starting with Ryan. For this <laughs> <laughs> All right, me. I'm gonna give okay. you a hard time over your matchup. The Sixth Sense versus Total Recall. Oh, the sixth sense for sure. Zach? Oh, yeah, no, that's got to be the sixth sense for sure. The wow. sixth sense, John? Sixth sense. Sixth sense, Austin. Bye bye. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say it. Sixth sense. Sixth sense, Patrick. Man. I'm always a fan of a woman who can breastfeed triplets. <laughs> <laughs> Total recall, but sixth sense moves on. All right. Starting Jesus with Zach Christ. for this matchup. Zach, oh my go. god. Silence of the Lambs Ooh. versus Hercules. Oh, okay. Okay. Motherfucker. Zach, I mean, I, I'm offended that this <laughs> isn't even a question. So um, you're talking about the best picture winner, 1991, and you're talking about a movie that has surpassed Beauty and the Freaking Beast at this point. <laughs> right? It's the Sixth Sense. Six, or, no, silence, easy. Silence, silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> silence. See, I'm so. That's a great Scorsese film. Silence the of, of the Lambs. Lamb. That's a good movie. Zach. John. Uh, yeah, yeah, again, Silence of the Lambs. I'm not, I don't even really like Hercules that that much. Silence, silence. of the Lambs. Amazing. Yeah, Fuck. Silence of the Lambs for John <laughs> Austin. Hercules, I made you this way to kill you. Silence, silence of the Lambs. <laughs> silence of feel? the Lambs. I How's it feel? To. I have to. Uh, Patrick, I know how it feels. Patrick, <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. Silence of, yeah, I'm Silence of the Lambs. We're both that Silence of the Lambs. Freaking sweep and a half. Silence of the Lambs moves on. You know All what, right. Zach? I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. John, you have this. Uh oh. <laughs> put some dirt in your eye. What's up? <laughs> All right, John, you have this matchup. I, have, first. I missed the part where that's my problem. What? John is first. John, okay. Pulp Fiction oh. versus. The Big Lebowski. Oh, come on. Are you? <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> no. Um, John is. John is. Uh, oh, God. Uh, you you remember the name? This is so You're... painful. Why are you doing this to me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not even showing my face. That's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you right. You need a laxative? <laughs> All right, John, Big Lebowski. Big Lebowski. Big Lebowski. I love Big Lebowski. I, 
Yeah. All righty, Big I'll Lebowski. Austin. Sorry, Come on, Lebowski. Austin. Join me on the road. Pulp Fiction. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 Big Lebowski. I have to. I have to. Patrick, I already know you're going to Lebowski. Lebowski. Big Lebowski yeah. for Patrick. That's all right. I'm going to go on Pulp Fiction. Zach. Zach. Oh, I hold the fate of a 1994 Best Picture winner Enjoy in it. my hands, Chad. Join us. Join us. Don't it doesn't do matter. It. You know Join what? Us. English motherfucker, speak it. <laughs> Royale <laughs> with cheese. No, boy, is boy, a, yes. Royale with cheese is a good way to go, but not tonight. Big Lebowski. <gasps> wow. Oh, no. oh, Austin no, is no. The dude of Big Lebowski. Wow. Yeah. Big Lebowski. You, you, you remember the salt? Almost and... everybody in the chat put Pulp Fiction. You, you yeah. remember the you remember the dirt in my eye that Patrick was talking about? It just went right in Austin's face. <laughs> All right, what's next? Okay, love it. Um, we are gonna start here with Austin. All right. Okay. Just want to make sure. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Austin. Oh boy. Scream versus Casino. Fuck. Hmm. Really? <sighs> you know what? Scream. Scream, Patrick. Scream, scream. I'll go scream as well. Zach. Yeah, I'm going off of rewatchability here. Even though Casino's great, very underrated. Yeah. Scream. Well, it scream. The horror scream. Genre. Scream. We're all screamed. All right. We'll we'll be screaming this week. Starting with <laughs> right. I will know. Starting with Patrick on, on this one. Let's see. Um, the Green Mile. Oh fuck. Versus again. The Sixth Sense. Oh, come on. Oh, Green uh, Mile. <laughs> Green, uh, next Green question. Mile for Patrick. I'm also Green Mile. Zach. Sixth Sense. Are you kidding me? Rewatch Sixth it. Sense for Zach. John? Uh, I'm going to go Sixth Sense, actually. Sixth yeah. Sense. Austin breaks Austin. the tie. Green Mile. Fair. Oh, oh, Green Mile. Payback Green Mile is a moves bear. there. Hey, John, you're <laughs> killing me. Payback is breaking my heart. More dirt Lisa. in your eye. <laughs> Carry me a pot, Austin. Green Mile. Right. <laughs> okay, Ryan, you're up first. Okay. Silence of the Lambs oh, versus yes. the Big Lebowski. Uh, you better go the right way. <laughs> Just saying. Um, I'll yeah, go silence either the, the lambs. right hole or the wrong hole. Zach. <sighs> God. Mm, I mean, you know, Lebowski, Patrick. I am just going off of what I think is the better film between these two now. Even though I love both of them, they revitalize the genre as Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs for Zach. 2 0. John? Hate this is where it gets tough. <laughs> yeah, it's, starting to get, it's not going to get any easier. I feel like it's not nope. going to win, but I'm going to die on this hill. I'm going to go Lebowski. Lebowski. I've it way more. Austin? Green Mile. Oh. No, no, Green Mile. <laughs> what? Oh, wait. That was the last Silence one. The Silence the Lambs of the Lambs <laughs> and Lebowski. <laughs> and the Green Mile is cashing in the money in the bank contract. <laughs> I am such a fucking <laughs> idiot. Jesus <laughs> You said it with such confidence, too. You like this just shows how time. <laughs> okay, can you repeat that one more time? I'm Silence so sorry. of the Lambs versus the Big, big Lebowski. Silence of the Lambs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. Patrick. Right, that oh, went down, care. guys. I don't care. I went the dude all the way. I'm a... <laughs> but Silence of the Lambs. Moves Sick on. impression. Okay. We have our final four movies here. One, two, three. Yes, we do. And uh, don't forget, y'all, here comes T2 Judgment Day. Yes! Ooh, here. There oh, it is. Oh, it's going to be up So we are going to start this one with John. All right. John. Yep. T2 Judgment Day versus Scream. Easy. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> John, don't you Come dare. on, John. Please. Do it, John. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it, <laughs> do it. I'm looking right I'm at you. Do it, on you. Do it, John. <laughs> John, no. do it. No. Hello, Come Sydney. <gasps> yes. No, John. Yes. I'll scream. Be. I'm going to scream. Be, I know it's not going to win, but I'm going to scream. No. Austin. <laughs> what did he go with? Hang on. Austin, he went scream. scream. Okay. Do it. 
Get it. Austin LaVista, baby. Get out of here. Screw yes. Oh, okay. Terminator 2 for Austin. Get out of here. I'll be seeing you tonight, Austin. Nice to meet you. Patrick oh, Scream. Terminator yeah. 2. I already, it already lost. Terminator 2. Wait, Zach didn't go. Yeah, I Zach didn't go. Zach didn't vote. Yeah. Zach didn't, no, Zach didn't go. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> I, I, I get a freaking vote. <laughs> you're voting Scream. Yeah, I, I know you're voting Scream. We're, we're not stopping the count here. How do you... <laughs> Wait, I just want to make sure. John voted Scream. Austin yes. voted T2. Patrick yes. voted Scream. You voted I T2. I voted T2. Okay, Zach, what's the what's the tech? And I'm voting T2 because it's the best action film ever yes. made. Oh! Okay. I thought you were going to vote Scream. <laughs> but T2 moves on. Oh, man. That goes <laughs> back. I understand. Right. It sucks, but He I looks so sort of disappointed over Austin. there. <laughs> Pipe okay. bomb. Right. Starting with Austin. All right. Now the Green Mile Austin <laughs> versus Silence of the Lambs. Oh God! This is oh my God! Oh, I should get this right this time. Um, okay, so, uh, so I made this clear: the Green Mile versus Silence of the Lambs, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So what's what's clear. the difference? No, it's T two uh, and Green Mile. All right. You know what? No, it's Scream. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> you know what? All Never right. letting it down. Baba Bean, Silence of the Lambs. I'm sorry. Silence of the Lambs for yeah. Austin. Patrick? You know what? If Scream can't make it as a part of my favorite genre, it's not success, will. by the way. <laughs> it's Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. Um, I'm going to go Green Mile here. Ooh. Hmm. Zach, uh, you know this one. This one is so ridiculously easy. You guys have no idea. I'm gonna go with um, the Sandlot. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, if if I, you know, if we're going correctly, we're gonna go Beauty and the Beast. But um, it's, no, shut up. I know, but no. I am gonna say. Um, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna want to suffocate some sheep on the parking lot. Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the lambs. Silence those lambs. Fine, I got one right for once for me. That's right. Uh, silence of oh. the lambs. <laughs> yeah. Silence of the lambs moves on. I finally got one right. I'm sorry, John. I tried. I have to scream. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Which means our final two movies in bracket four are Ooh. T2 versus oh, so Silence of the Lambs. I know land. now why you yes. cry. I'm very happy. Yes. And we'll start with Patrick. Patrick. This is like the easiest pick of my life. Bum, 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 bum. Silence of the Lambs. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Silence of the Lambs. I'll start a beast. Uh, baby. Terminator I'm going to waste your ass later, Patrick. <laughs> what was that story, Austin? I'm going to Zach... whoop your ass in Uno. Lambs. Lambs. Oh. <laughs> Silence of the lambs for Zach. John? Come on. Don't you T2. do it. Okay. T2. No, no. Don't you T2 no, 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 no. for John. Austin. T2. Austin. I'm, counting, I'm counting on you. Austin LaVie's the Silence of the Lambs. Austin LaVie. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> right. yeah, that's oh, one of the best oh, yeah. of all time. Austin. It's okay. Austin. Yeah. Austin Terminator 2. Who's on to the finals? <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna your ass. I I, you're gonna kick my ass in during Uno. I just, I just know it's gonna happen. <laughs> yes. Cool. All right, guys, we have made it. The final four movies have been selected. We got representing bracket one: Jurassic Park, uh, Shawshank Redemption, Schindler's List, and Terminator Two: Judgment Day. Two number one seeds have made it to the final four. This is a good lineup, I gotta say. Good lineup. And it's time yeah. to determine what the best movie is. All right. Alrighty. Um, let me just get these up on the screen. Fucking matrix. I picked that already. Oh, yeah, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, we are going to start with you. Oh, great. We are going to start with you. First matchup, Jurassic Park versus mm. the Shawshank Redemption. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, all it's right. Easy, many of these movies, many of these movies are some of my favorite movies of all time. Jurassic Park. Define blockbusters for sure. Steven Spielberg, 
incredible. But Shawshank Redemption, something about that film still sticks with me to this very yeah. day. The, get busy uh, living, it, the get busy living, or get busy dying. Is it the sisters the... that stick with you? Oh no, no. Or stick to uh, you. Definitely Shawshank. <laughs> In you. Um, I'm going. Aww. I'm going Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. Hmm. Zach, these two movies are masterpieces. Um, they really are. Even though Shawshank correctly did not win Best Picture, even it's great. It's great. Like should have. Um, it should have. It's a most piece on like Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, God, guys, this is this is where it gets really tough. I am just picking this based off of pure which movie do I want to watch right now? If I were to go five hours back to my house and then. Pick it up off the Blu-ray shelf. I'm going Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park for Zach. Yeah, John. This is very difficult. Jurassic very difficult. Park is fantastic. So is Shawshank. But because I think this movie is all about hope and friendship, and it nails so many things right, I have to go Shawshank. Shawshank for John. Austin. Yeah. Again, that's just tough because I love both these films, but I'm going to say what I've said earlier. I don't think Jurassic Park is the best Steven Spielberg film, but I do awesome. love it. Uh, I do love it. But Shawshank Redemption is literally a perfect fucking movie. I 100% I, agree. I can't see. I can't go against Shawshank here. I really can't. And should have won sure. Best Picture, too. Yes. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. Preach. Preach. Shawshank. Yes. For Austin and Here Patrick, because we all know it's Patrick's so, favorite movie of all so time true. is Shawshank Redemption. I'm Shawshank biased, Redemption yeah. goes on to the finals. All right, they made it to the final two. All right, but here we go. Going man. to face Zach, you're gonna help decide that first. Lovely. Choosing between Schindler's <laughs> List or T2. This is gonna Titanic fucking kill me. Part of this? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I can't right. Zach. Again, I'm going off of pure rewatchability here. Both of these movies are masterpieces, in my opinion, and they made it to the final four for a reason. Now the final three. Um, T2. T2 for Zach. T2, just because it's more fun. Yeah. John? I completely agree. It's it's so damn rewatchable. The effects are great. The acting uh, from... It's t yeah, T2. T2 for John. Austin? This is making me cry right now because I love this film, but I can't. I got to go with Schindler's List. It's literally Schindler's the most List important movie to watch. I have to do it. Schindler's List. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Patrick? It inspired me. It literally means the world to me, this film. And I watch it every year, whereas the other one I don't. Even though it's like one of the best action films of all time, I don't watch T2 every year. I watch Schindler's List every year, so I'm going to have to go Schindler's List. Schindler's List for Patrick. Ryan. It comes Austin, Patrick, I'm sorry. Terminator 2. Oh! It's one of the greatest films ever yeah. made. It's one of the greatest films ever made. Terminator 2. Well, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, okay. both films are masterpieces. Both what do you think? It's are. in my intro. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> I mean, you could Terminator 2. Yeah, but it'd just sure. be depressing. Patrick, we tried. I, just we tried. I couldn't save all of them. Wow. <laughs> no. Okay. That's how we feel about so, 98 other that, um, victims in this list. Our final two. We have our final two, guys. Shawshank Redemption versus Terminator 2 Judgment Aww. Day. Let us know in the chat who's winning. Let's are see. you guys are you guys happy with these final two? Let us know in the chat. Jeez. Well, Fuck. hopefully, because these are some two great films. <laughs> But now it's time to decide which one will be our your best 90s movie. Starting with John. Oh, thanks. Uh, All right, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Um, oh, my God. I love both of these movies. Yeah. Yeah. This is tough. Can I, can I phone a friend? <laughs> um, can I get a <laughs> one? Is, right, one um, is the number one seed, one isn't. Okay, can, yeah, can, call I use, can I use one of my lifelines? Sure. Scream. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. No, 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 no. Uh, I really love T two. 
I really do. It's a fantastic action movie. Arnold being like this like role model father for John Connor is fucking amazing. The ending still chokes me up. Oh my god! The, the, for the time and even now, the the special effects still hold up. I can rewatch this anytime. And then there's Shawshank. Shawshank, I think, is like apex mountain for everybody involved. Morgan Freeman, um, uh, Stephen King Tim adaptations, Robin. Tim Robbins. Frank Darabont. Shout out Frank Darabont. Yeah, man. no kidding. Frank Frank Darabont. Two masterpieces. Shawshank. Shawshank That's for rough. John. Shawshank. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one for Shawshank. Uh, Austin. Oh, God damn it. This is both these two films like are my are, are my they're among my favorite films ever um right, they're both two, top 10. I, yeah, i'm gonna try and talk faster don't i'm sorry um no don't t, worry no, fine. um with terminator day struck lighting in the bottle t2 they did it even more so everything about t2 is one it's a perfect sequel the shawshank redemption though doesn't have to bounce board off of another movie but with that being said fuck oh <laughs> Damn, it's hard. Only Linda Hamilton is so great nicely. too. <laughs> yeah, it's nicely. Um, I have to go with <sighs> Terminator Two. All right, Terminator Two for Austin. I know dude, it's it was fucking hard. I have to though. All right, Patrick. Look, one of these movies know. <laughs> one of these films is just incredibly inspirational, while the other one is a pioneer in regards to action filmmaking. And even though I'm not picking it, I can't just commend what Jim Cameron did with T2. It is a phenomenal film. Although I think the middle portion of it is really just eh. The rest of the <laughs> film, though, is fucking phenomenal. Oh, yeah. But The Shawshank Redemption, I think, is just one of the most important films ever made in regards to, like, yeah. hope and also always moving forward no matter how bad life gets it will get yeah. better and oh, yeah. that like it's a film that isn't just my favorite film because it's a great movie it's also because it's inspired me and it means a lot to me on a personal level as well can i change my vote to shawshank really quick <laughs> <laughs> well you already vote terminator yeah too, i but... know, I know. All right, but shawshank for time. patrick um yeah so guys can I just say, I'm incredibly happy these two made it to the final two. They're Same. both in my favorite films of all time. Me too. Like, no matter what wins, I'm happy. Terminator 2 <clears throat> Judgment Day, best action film ever made, without a doubt. Arnold Schwarzenegger's best role to date. And then I look at The Shawshank Redemption, a film that has inspired me to want to just be a better person. And just that scene with Morgan Freeman and Tim Robbins saying, get busy living, get busy dying. Yeah. I mean, for this one right here, Shawshank Redemption gets my vote. Zach? And there's your winner right there. Um, mm -hmm. Listen, I put all my joking aside that, you know, this, you know, the Academy made the right choice and yada, 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 you know, and everybody gets all triggered in the chat right yeah. there. I've had such a great time going through this. Can I just say oh, that yeah, right uh, now? Yeah, this guys, is, it's this is such awesome. a blast. Awesome. Um, but, I mean, picking between these two, if, if I were to do a retro review for either one of these on my channel right now, both of them would get my perfect A plus. Yeah. No question about mm -hmm. it. Um, yeah. T2, one of the greatest action films ever made. Um, Shawshank Redemption, Patrick said it best. Um, one of the most inspiring films ever made. Um, and it really just kind of speaks to me on a personal level. Um, first time I watched it, it was in a really... Um, it was in a really dark time in my life. Mm. Uh, and it just really inspired me. <laughs> That's the best I can really say about it right now. But, uh, yeah, yeah I'm going to go Shawshank Redemption here. It's well-deserved. Uh, and congratulations, Shawshank. Yeah. And there we have yeah. it, guys. Your winner for the best movie of the 90s decade, The Shawshank Redemption. And yeah, the, first, hard. the first one it... of my picks that actually won. I wish I, yeah. not man, I wish I had my uh, my title belt here with me so I could like present it to it. You know, yeah. here's your Inception, winner. <laughs> I mean, Inception, you are holding your mic like a dumbbell right now, so you can just give yeah. us your mic. Inception, <laughs> yeah. what? Inception won the 2010s. 
Return of the King, Lord of the Rings won last year for the 2000s. Damn right. And now Shawshank wow. Redemption has won for the like, 90s. The thing, Let us know in the chat, guys, if you agreed with this decision. I'm I'm sure I'm seeing everybody losing their minds for Shawshank. So uh, have last there year. you have it, guys. There you go. That was our best movie of the 90s decade tournament. Yeah. Thank you, guys, all of my guests for being here tonight. We Thank went through an epic me. four <laughs> hours and 40 minutes stream. We debated <laughs> 90s movies nonstop for you guys. If you didn't watch the whole thing, totally understandable. But, guys, I had a blast. Please go check out all these guys' social media links in the description box below. And we're going to give them their chance to shout out their pages and what they have coming out on their channels. Starting off with Zach Goler. Zach, thank you so much for coming on, man. Where can people find you? What do you have coming out on your channel? Thank you so much uh, for having me here, guys. This has been such a treat, honestly. You know, the, I mean, the treats are going to keep coming this week, you know, with me being on vacation and all. But, uh, you know, yeah, you can find me at Zach Goler on Twitter. It's right there on the screen, bottom left for you. Um, I'm on YouTube at Zach Goler as well. Um, I'm going to be looking at Scream after I uh, get back from my trip. Um, and I will be starting a Harry Potter series of reviews in the build-up to The Secrets of Dumbledore coming out in April. So lots to look forward to over there, guys. And uh, I'm very appreciative to have had this opportunity to work with such an epic panel here. So thank you, guys. Yes, thank you, Zach, for coming on, man. And Austin Putnam, thank you so much, man, for yeah. coming on. Where can we find you and what do you have coming out on your channel? Uh, first of all, I just want to say, Ryan, thank you for the invite. Patrick, John, Zach, it was an honor not only meet you guys, but it was great fighting with you guys as well. And my fuck up with the Green Mile. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. But no, nonetheless, it was a great time. I, I mean, honestly, if T2 or Shawshank want me, if T, either, either one would have been great as a winner. But thank you guys so much. Um, look out for a review of my least favorite movies coming up soon. Um, and not to mention, since I do talk about video games, my top 10 best games of last year. And I'll see you guys later. All righty. Thank you so much, Austin, man. And John, first time on the channel, man. First collab together. Thank you so much for coming on, man. Where can people Thank find you. you? Yeah, no problem. What where, where do you have coming out on your channel you want to plug? Um, we're actually uh, working on some uh, Nicolas Cage movie deep dives, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, we do a lot of these end explain videos, which are really heavily researched. that kind of go behind the scenes, uh, talk about the box office, how they were received. Um, and of course, we do a lot of uh, early movie reviews. I'm seeing Scream on Tuesday. I'll be talking about that very soon. Got some side by side videos, anything movie related. Um, we just try to put a lot of thought and research into them. So uh, you can find all my socials. They're all pretty much uh, Burns Reviews. Uh, Twitter, Letterbox, Instagram, you name it. They're all down below. Be sure to check it out. And thank you so much for having me. I've been having so much fun on this channel. I love the 90s. This was fantastic. And thank you. Yes, thank you, John, very much, man. And last but not least, Patrick Burrow. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on, man. Where can people find you? And what do you have coming out on the channel? No, Ryan, seriously, thank you so much for having me on. It was amazing being here, considering I couldn't be there last year for personal reasons. And although I wasn't born in the 90s, I love the 90s. I It's one of my favorite decades for movies um, of any genre, really. And um, it's been an absolute blast being here. Although I joke around, I throw shade, and I you know, am incredibly crude. That's just who I am. But I all do it in the sense of fun, like to John, Zach, yourself, and Austin. It's just all for fun, shits and gigs um and you guys honestly i've never met zach before but it was an absolute honor and a pleasure meeting you my friend and i hope that we continue to talk in the future but i've got multiple movie reactions and reviews coming up very very soon i actually this coming weekend have my sister's reaction to the human centipede which i tricked her into watching so that's going to be a very interesting one to have up um i've also got the hostel movies i've got more final destination stuff and scary movies multiple movie reactions i post a movie reaction every week and i try to upload another video if not a review throughout the week as well so expect expect more of that coming very soon as well as my review for scream 5 coming this wednesday as i am seeing it tonight and that review will be up as the embargo lifts very lucky all right lucky bastard. yes thank you patrick everybody please go check out their socials down below in the description box thank you guys for taking the time to take part in this epic collab and yes guys thank you for watching guys for you better that commenting liking sharing doing all that things for the algorithm cody do you have anything to say before we close off man this was fun all of you guys are awesome it was a great time my butt hurts um, <laughs> my <laughs> legs are killing me it was a good time and uh it seems like the chat had a good time too they're thanking you guys and 
Yes, please go subscribe to all these guys. They're great. Yes, as far as my channel, look forward to the Scream 5 review, that Rankin video, and tons of more reviews coming this week. Since Scream 5 is pretty much the only big release coming out, Morbius got delayed, so we got to find stuff to talk about. I mean, right? not like it yeah. not like it matters. Morbius is going to suck anyway, so. Yeah, very true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, guys. I'm look forward to more. Because it looks bad. Looks Look forward terrible. to more videos coming up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All my social media links are in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Have a good night, guys.